Do a little image training every now and then to make sure I don't get too rusty. Time to see what I can do. And you're just the guy to help me do that. you got.
<laughs> Not much longer before this planet's ours. It would have been ours much sooner if you'd actually done your job, Raditz. Uh, sorry. And that's why everyone calls you Raditz the Runt. Things will be different on the next planet. <laughs> Mark my words, if you screw up again, I will kill you. Wait, I, I just remembered something. I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides us. If he joins us, the rest of the universe will be ours in no time. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. What planet was he sent to? Uh, I think it's called Earth. But now that I think about it, I haven't heard anything about him taking control of it. Damn that Kakarot, what the hell is he doing? Attack of the Saiyans. Dad? Dad? Dad, we better head home or Mom's gonna be really mad at us. Sorry for getting a bit carried away, Gohan. I was fighting somebody super strong. Super strong? Yeah, a guy going by the name of Piccolo. Piccolo? Yeah, well, he used to be called Demon King Piccolo, and he was real bad to the bone. He's the strongest guy I've ever fought in my whole life. I don't think anybody's gotten me more pumped up than him. I want to fight him again, so I'm hoping to get stronger, and soon. I'd be afraid to fight someone like that. <laughs> you know, I bet you'd be just fine if you trained yourself up a bit. I don't think Mom would like that very much. Ah, that's right! I totally forgot that Chi-Chi asked us to get some ingredients for her. How could I not remember that? Ah, uh, think. What all did she need again? Oh, uh, I think she wanted some fish and apples, Dad. Oh, yeah, right. Let's just see if we can't find us some apples around this place. Okay, I'll go look. Gohan sure is full of energy. Get too excited and trip over your own feet. Now, where did that son of mine run off to? Safe to say he couldn't have gone that far. Dad! Over here! Let's try to find one more. What do you say? <laughs> Leave it to me. Hey, it looks like you found an apple tree. Johan looks like he's having a blast. Hey now, don't go wandering too far. Regular bloodhound. Yes. All right. This ought to be enough. Huh. 
Oh yeah, we've got plenty of apples now. Thanks for finding these, Gohan. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of tired now, though. I get it. And I don't blame you. Hang in there, I got an idea. We'll catch some fish and then head straight home. Okay. But first, we need to find a spot to fish. Okay. Don't walk too fast. You got it. Try to keep up, though. Gohan? I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. <laughs> Man, you get tired pretty easy, don't you? <laughs> I guess I can carry you if you want. Hooray! Hello! <laughs> Hey, you perked right up. Were you trying to trick your old man? <laughs> You're one spoiled kid, you know that? So, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Um, I want to become a great scholar. What? You're a weird one, aren't you? <laughs> well, I definitely can't help you with your studies or anything like that. But if you're ever looking to toughen up, I'm your man. Nah, fighting is too scary for me. Come to think of it, this is your first time fishing, isn't it? Yep, it is. All right, then let me show you how I used to do it back when I was your age. It'll be fun. We should be able to catch something here. All right, let's get started. But what are we gonna fish with? We don't have any rods. <laughs> Nobody said anything about a rod, did they? Who needs one of those pesky things when you've got a tail? M my... my tail? I can use that to fish? Yep. By dipping your tail in the water, you can feel the fish moving around. Pretty neat, huh? It's really easy once you get the hang of it. I mean, I haven't done it in a while since I don't have a tail anymore. But when I told my friend Bulma about it, she actually made me a makeshift tail to fish with. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> nice! Oh, okay. So what do you say? Let's catch us some fish. I'm pretty sure there's a good spot somewhere right around this place. <laughs> All right. Chichi will flip when she sees this one. Man, all this fishing is really working up an appetite, you know what I mean? Let's eat some of these fish. I mean, we got plenty. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little hungry too. <laughs> Let's roast our catch over the fire. What do you say? Okay, time to grill up some fish. I'm 
hungry for some grilled fish. better than some fresh fish in your belly? Ugh, I think I ate too much, though. Well, if you want to be as big as your dad, you're gonna have to eat a lot of this stuff. <laughs> right. I had fun today, Dad. You know, I had fun today, too. Thanks for your help. I'll teach you how to fish next time so we can do it together. Okay, I can't wait! I bet you'd be pretty strong if you trained. I, I don't think so. Oh yeah, Dad! I meant to tell you! I found this while you were fishing. I don't really know what it is, but here, you can have it. Really? Thanks, Gohan. Should we head home now? All right, let's head home. Right. Here goes. Flying Nimbus. All right, hang on tight. <laughs> Whoa! It's a dinosaur! Bye-bye! <laughs> Flying Nimbus is super fast! I've been riding this whole thing since I was just a little kid. Only those with a pure heart can ride it. That explains why you've got no problems there. Hey, Chi Chi, we're back! And we got food! Hi, Mom! You're late, Goku. It shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients. Yeah, sorry about that. We did some training, too. You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today. Wait, that's today? Of course! Ah, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. 
Forget it. What are you waiting for? Get in here! I need to get cooking right away! Now then, I'll just take these ingredients and whip you up something tasty. Master Roshi, my old master. His place is surrounded by the sea. It's loads of fun. Oh, yeah. me and Krillin used in our training. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> Dig in whenever you're hungry. Thanks, TG. Your stuff's the best. It really gets the blood pumping and the muscles moving. Right, Gohan? Yeah. Later, Chi-Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whoa, what a neat little ball. That little ball on top there? It's a Dragon Ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. But that's not all you got from him. You were also named after him. Really? Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Yeah, I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. I will, Mom. Bye! I want you both home by supper, you got it? It's said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. 
And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. Hey, Dad? What's Master Roshi like? Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Really? Though, it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. Yeah, he was my rival at the time, but now he's my best friend. Is Krillin strong, just like you? Yeah, seriously. Out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. There's also a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me, and we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Not too much longer until Master Roshi's place. I wonder what everyone's been up to. Goku! Goku! Yo! Oh, and who's this little guy? Meet my son. What? what? Your, your son? Yeah. Wild, huh? Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, n nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Goku, have you been training lately? Well, not as much as I want to. Chi-Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, uh nothing really. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment. What's this? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. your looks, but does he have your power, too? I'm betting that he's pretty strong, if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi-Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. What is it? It ain't no meteor! Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! Ah! Is this the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Kakarot. Huh. 
<gasps> what in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Not sure what this is, but I better check it out. Well now, this could be fun. It isn't Goku. Well now, this could be fun. But if it isn't him, then who is it? Guess I'd better look for more. Well now, I'll make quick work of you. after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk. I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. Let's see if you can make this fun for me. Just this that was pathetic. <laughs> Now, time to show you what real power looks like. 
<clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. <clears throat> Im impossible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then. Allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We Saiyans search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. Weak, snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. Uh, if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here! <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. Uh. Including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot! Think of the fun we'll have! Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look! Huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? 
Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> oh yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you! Uh, what the hell's with this guy? You're not my brother! You're nothing to me! What's wrong? You scared? Kakura, don't turn your back on your family! Your people! Do you know what? Well, is it half bad? I think it could serve as our next touch. <laughs> Your kid's in real trouble if this is the best you could do. What? Don't worry, Kakarot. I'll make sure to take good care of the boy. If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother says. Give him back. Don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> no! No! Bulma, you still got that dragon radar? Oh, I get it! That decoration on Gohan's hat was a dragon ball! All right, I'm off! It's now or never! You're as good as dead on your own! Piccolo! Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I'd finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. I guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely.
on. Just a little longer. Goku, get a move on. Quit messing around. You really don't recall anything about the Saiyans that Raditz clown was going on about? Nope. None of it rings a bell. It's crazy. I had no idea I had an older brother either. <laughs> I was hoping to milk some useful information out of you for our fight. His tail's probably his weak point. If we can squeeze his tail, he should be vulnerable. That's what happened whenever mine got grabbed. How are we supposed to grab his tail? Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. We're closing in on him. Let's head down and move in for the attack. No! He's using a device that tells him our strengths as well as our location. Safe to say he probably knows we're close by. Gotcha. I'm guessing that means we just gotta meet him head on. of 710. Where the hell? Kakarot's kid? No way! Damn, this thing must be busted! What? Another reading? And it's heading straight for me! There's one? No, oh, there's two. With power levels 322 and 334. They've come. So, what brings you chumps here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to get my son back. Where is he? You're hiding him somewhere, aren't you? His screaming was giving me a headache, so I locked him up in there. But forget about the rot. Don't tell me you actually think you stand a chance against me. You. Fool! You're not even fit to call yourself a Saiyan! Prepare to die! You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about strength. Oh, that gives me an idea! Man, he's fast! This will end it! Yeah! 
time before you're both dead. I think I'll start putting a little more oomph into my attacks. Your combined power, you're still pathetic. But considering you weren't smart enough to heed my warning, don't deserve to live. You gotta be kidding me! You know what? Since you're going to die anyway, I might as well tell you something. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier? They're even more powerful than me. If you've got a new attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku! <laughs> Sorry. I'm fresh out. Huh. <laughs> Lucky for you, I actually came up with a new technique while I was training. Really? A plan? Ha! It'd be easier just to lie down and wait for the sweet release of death! I'm just gonna need enough time to charge up the proper energy for it. <clears throat> gonna need you to keep him busy while I deal with this. Got it. I'll do what I can. Hope you're ready for this. Special Beam Cannon! Huh. You just don't know when to quit. Oh! <laughs> 
show you mercy just because you're my little brother. Yes! Yes, that's what I like to hear. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> Don't get comfortable. You're next. Damn, if I try to hit him now, he's just going to dodge it. Now's your chance! 
Special beam cannon! Possible. I, I can't be beaten by scum like this. I can't. <sighs> well, you just were. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe that. Kakarot would just throw away his own life. You idiot. Trust me, Goku won't be dead for very long. What? Didn't you know? This planet is home to the Dragon Balls. They grant wishes. Absolutely any wish imaginable. Even bringing someone back from the dead. Uh, damn it. Well, my comrades will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Everything you just said... ...was transmitted to them on the other side of the universe. Once they've learned that I've died, they will come here. How long until then? When, when will they... When do you think they'll get here? A year. Just one year from now. <laughs> Damn it. One year before even stronger warriors arrive. You two... ...have no hope of beating them. Enjoy what little time you have left. <laughs> I... I see. That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku! Hang in there! It's not like you to give up so easily! Krillin, you know... Dying... is a lot worse than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, but... Don't you worry! We're gonna bring you back really soon! <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Goku! What the? He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. Eh? Well, I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to life. Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. What? Uh, you, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year's time. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. 
Once Goku's revived, tell him he'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth. Raditz, the bastard went and got himself killed. He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. So they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring Raditz back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We could wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth. And that is why I brought him here as he is, to be trained further. Therefore, if it is agreeable to you, King Yama, I humbly ask that you allow him to meet with King Kai. Hmm, I see. So you intend to take this heaven-bound soul and subject him to the grueling 625,000-mile-long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Indeed. Very well. If you wish to see King Kai, then I suggest you be on your way. However, I should warn you that no one has ever, ever made it successfully, other than myself, of course, in over 100 million years. Must be one heck of a journey. I better get started. By the way, did a guy named Raditz come through here? Yes, we've got him marked down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of a fight? <laughs> he sure did. He definitely didn't go quietly, but I sorted him out. Whoa! You must be one heck of a strong guy! So, you were sent along with him, huh? I am the great King Yemma. I occupy a position above that of the Earth's Guardian. Do you know what that means? That means you're crazy strong, right? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Of course I'm strong! But it's not just my strength that serves me in this position. You need brains to do this kind of managerial work. Man a, man a what work? Now then. To help you better understand my work, let's give you a little quiz. Uh, well, um, actually kind of in a hurry. Well then, if that's going to be your attitude, then I guess you don't need to see King Kai. Oh, uh, what? No way! Okay, okay, I'll take the quiz. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Anyway, let's begin. I'll let you through if you can answer all of my questions correctly. That's right. 
he made a mess of enough planets to earn himself a place in hell. In fact, he's one of the biggest pains we've ever had to deal with. Right, next question. Correct, of course I am. I am much more powerful. Isn't that right, Kami? Ah, yes, King Yama. You are more powerful. Right. Next question. That's right. No matter where they're from, all who die come here. Like your brother. He wasn't an earthling. Next question. Not bad. That's correct. Those pesky Dragon Balls are indeed how you do it. I hate those things. It's like my job doesn't even matter. Who created those blasted balls anyway? Care to shed some light on that, Kami? Oh, uh, King Yama, I... Uh... Whatever. Moving on. That's correct. Woohoo! Huh? Uh, forgive me, but I do believe that was the fifth question. Really? Um, one, two, three. Hmm. Of course it was. I, I was just testing you. And you passed the test. Well, that was the true fifth question. There's that trademark denial of his. Hmm. I heard that, Kami. Maybe I'll send you to hell when it's your time. Oh. Please forgive me, your highness. Boy, he's got one hell of a sense of hearing. <laughs> oh, you think you're some sort of funny man. Hm. That's enough of all this. I will allow you to see King Kai. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch, Mr. Yemma. Don't tell me you've forgotten who you're talking to. No, 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 Mr. I, King Yemma, I haven't! <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go. Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck, Goku. Thanks. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm pumped to meet this King Kai guy. Time to wake up, kid. You've slept long enough. Huh? Who, who are you? Listen up. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? He sacrificed himself to kill the man who kidnapped you, in case you forgot. Dad's... 
If his friends are vigilant and able to find the Dragon Balls, they can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. Though we were able to defeat Raditz, it sounds like we've got two of his buddies to worry about a year from now. If that's really the case, your father and I probably aren't going to be enough to take these guys down. We need power. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the Earth. Gohan's Crash Course in Survival. Quit your whining! Once I'm done whipping you into shape, you'll be tough enough for anything. Got it? So, you're gonna train me? Okay, what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six months. If you're able to survive for that long, I'll teach you how to fight. See ya. Uh, wait! It's scary out here! Don't leave me! Uh! I I'm hungry. Uh, I need food. Little twerp. Didn't go and get himself killed already, did he? those things. That kid's probably got his hands full right now. Guess I'll have to take care of them myself. Yeah! 
more of these things are there. Time to check on that little rug rat. Hopefully throwing him to the wolves toughened him up. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry! Little brat. We still don't have what it takes to fight the Saiyans. His latent power is our only shot. <laughs> Fine. Just this once, I'll throw him a bone. Looks like there's only apples to eat around here. Oh well. Search this place. <laughs> One's probably not enough. Now, where can I find some? Just 
kid is proving to be a real pain in my neck. I hate this place! I'm hungry! I want to go home! Oh, apples! I found apples! Yay! Huh? Wow! It's kind of bright! For nighttime, at least! There won't be any Earth to protect if this keeps up! We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. That's right! The full moon! Who would have imagined a kid had such a transformation in him? Must be a Saiyan blood. Looks like he needs a full moon and that tail of his to transform. Better get rid of it now. Now that that's taken care of, here's some clothes and a sword. I've got my own training to get to, so you're on your own again. If you can somehow manage to survive the next six months, then you will have earned the honor of being trained by the great Piccolo. You're gonna wish you'd never been born when I'm done with you. Hope you're ready.
going to be hungry later if I only eat fruit. <sighs> I could really go for some meat. Hmm? Oh, something smells good. Myself some meat. I, I guess I could catch a fish or something. What I really want? Some of Mom's meat dumplings. Um, excuse me. Uh, what the? Huh? Yeah, the more I look at you, the more you look like Goku when he was a kid. You're definitely related. Wait a second. Are you... are you his kid or something? Y yeah My name's Gohan. Cool, I'm Yajirobe. You know, me and Goku are real tight. We go way back. Oh, uh... Man, must be pretty rough, huh? Having Piccolo on your back like that. I know the feeling. Bulma won't get off mine. She kept going on and on about how you were kidnapped and needed help. Or something. Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone about the whole thing, so that's why I'm out here. But you know, I, I kind of got lost looking all over the place for you. I was starting to get worried. I was just about ready to peace out and head home, so, uh, good thing you found me, huh? Uh, oh! I bet you're having some trouble getting food, huh? Yeah. Well, this meat here is mine, so, uh, can't just give it to you. Instead, I'll teach you how to hunt. Oh, so that's what you meant by help. Well, yeah. Look, little dude, if I just swoop in and take you back, Piccolo's gonna kill me. So anyway, uh, yeah. I'll turn you into a master huntsman. This is how you do it. All right, then, let's give it a whirl. Just follow my lead and you'll be a pro in no time. Check it out. You can find some deer near trees with fruit on them. Mr. Yajirobe said I should approach deer from behind if I want to catch them. Here goes. Aw, they run away if they see me. Sneak up on them from behind so they don't see me coming.
Yeah, this ought to do it. There, you should be good on your own now. Um, yeah, I guess. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, see, the thing is, I'm actually training under Kami right now. If I don't head back soon, that green geezer's gonna flip his lid. So yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna split it. Oh, okay. Boom! Take it easy, Squirt! That guy's really something. I'm, I'm sure I could find something to eat, but I really wish I could go home. What the? No way the Saiyans are here yet, but I'm sensing incredible power. Better go check it out. Goku can't possibly be back already. There's no sign of the Dragon Balls having been used yet. Piccolo. Huh. So the power I sensed was from you. Looks like you knew I was nearby. Not bad for a dead weight like you. You've got quite the mouth on you. Don't think for a second that I've started trusting you. To me, you're still the enemy. I'll defeat you here and now if I must. What? You think you actually stand a chance against me? I do. I did train under Kami. Huh. Is that so? He instructed me to return to the surface and further polish my technique by sparring with an even stronger opponent. And I can think of no better opponent than you. Let me show you how strong I've become. Sounds good to me. I could use the entertainment. I'll play along. Goku in the World Tournament, didn't you? That's right. I wasn't good enough to get Goku to fight me at his best back then. This will end it! Not bad, Piccolo. You have your moments, but... Is this all you've got? Nothing to get! Ah! This will end it! I think you've had it. 
and now. <sighs> You're better than I thought. At least you can dodge basic key blasts. I guess that training of yours wasn't a waste of time. You scum. How dare you! You may have the upper hand now, but not for long. I'm going to eventually defeat you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Ooh, the energy from this thing is incredible. Someone wants to die. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. Damn it. So that's all, huh? Hey! Whoa! Piccolo! Hey, you're looking stronger than usual. Uh, yeah, I trained at Kami's place. So, uh, um, you, you wanna see what I can do? You don't look too confident. I can tell this won't go well for you. Can you blame me? I mean, I was killed by a demon clan member once before. You guys freak me out. Huh, <laughs> pathetic. Guess I'll just have to beat that fear out of you. Come at me! Why, you? Here goes! I see. So you and I have fought each other before. Yeah, way back during yeah. the World Tournament. Let's see if you've gotten any better. What? Is that what you <laughs> You wanna stay a weakling your whole life? Come on, quit teasing me! actually held your own. Thanks, I guess. Looks like you're doing something right in your training. Okay, yeah, I, th I think I got this. If you don't want to die a second time, then you need to train more. Do that, and maybe I'll view you as more than just a waste of space. Hey, I'll show you! I'm a student of the great Master Roshi, just like Goku. Which means I'm gonna get stronger, just you wait!
Whoa, this power is amazing. You know, liars have a special place in hell. A, a guardian never lies! So the power I felt was coming from you, huh? Oh, 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 yeah. Krillin said you're fighting on our side now. W which is perfect. <laughs> that means you can really help me out. Let me try out some of my moves on you. You fight me? You're dumber than you look. <laughs> well, you're looking at the new and improved Yamcha, thanks to Kami. Huh. Is that so? Yeah, Kami says I gotta fight someone stronger than me now. But, you know, I'm thinking I could even beat you now. I'm not about to get left in Goku's dust again. Buckle up, buddy, cause you're in for a real challenge. Fine, but don't blame me if you die. It seems you know who I am. Of course I do! You're the guy who fought Goku in the World Tournament. I was there too. What? Damn it! This will end it! This will end it! Damn it! You're the loser that couldn't beat Kami disguised as a human. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be saying that. This will end it. Our difference in power should be obvious now. 
Oh, what's going on? I should be better than this. You're not too bright, are you? Did you just think I was sitting around doing nothing while you were training? Train all you want, but it's never going to be enough to beat me. Oh, man, maybe you're right. Huh. Don't feel too bad. You're still alive, aren't you? That's something. But you're going to need a different approach to your training. Come on. Don't count me out just yet. I've got what it takes. I better see how the little runt's doing. Hope he's toughened up since the last time I saw him. Whoa, this power is amazing. Seems like you managed to survive after all. Meanwhile, in order to begin his training with King Kai, Goku continued his arduous journey across Snake Way. After what seemed like forever, he finally reached his destination. Man, this is tough. Oh man, at this rate, it's gonna take me way longer than a year to get to King Kai's place. Wait a sec. Hey, that's the tail! Yes, I did it! I made it to the end! Uh, wait. There's, there's nothing here. Huh? Oh, what's that round thing up there? That must be where King Kai is! Hell yeah! Yep, no mistake about it! There's even a house! So if this is King Kai's place, where is he? Ah! Who... who are you? Hey, know what you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef! Huh? No, oh, maybe you were too starstruck and didn't hear me. <laughs> Man, you're hopeless. All right, let's see if this one tickles your funny bone. Hello? I've got a joke to tell. Huh? No one's there. Guess I better tell the phone. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Wait, huh? What's going on? Wh what's wrong with you? Why are you even here? Well, I... I was hoping you could train me. Train you? Get out of here! I can't train someone who doesn't have a sense of humor! Oh, come on, King Kai! I'm begging you! Well, I guess I could... if you pass my little test. 
If you can make a master comedian like me laugh, then I'll train you. Wait, you want me to tell you a joke? Mm. No legs, uh, is called ground beef. No, no, no. Those are the ones I just told. Again. Uh, have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> hey, you laughed. I saw it. <laughs> You're pretty good. I'll give you that. I will teach you the ultimate joke. Nah, I'm done with jokes. I came here to train. You came here to train? Well, why didn't you say so? I'm going to need to test you, though. I need to see what I'm dealing with here. Great, you got it. Ah! Who, who is this guy? Very well. I will train you. This guy just might actually have what it takes. He might be able to handle the Kaioken, and maybe even my greatest technique. Me, green, teaching machine. Whew. Wonder what I'm gonna do today. Maybe I can hunt some dinosaurs in this area. They can be pretty dangerous, so I need to be careful. Huh. 
Looks like the pathetic, whiny kid who couldn't get his own apples is long gone. Y you're the guy that left me here! The name's Piccolo. Don't forget it. P piccolo uh, Wait a minute. He's not the same Piccolo my dad fought a long time ago, is he? I'm gonna bet your dad told you about me. Which means you know just how terrifying I am, right? Oh! Uh... Yeah, I remember him saying something about Demon King Piccolo being a really bad guy. All right, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? First, you need to learn how to fly. I did it! There you go. You can finally start controlling some of your energy. <laughs> you won't be so happy for long. I'm going to teach you true combat. Now get ready to spar. Come talk to me once you're ready. Don't even think about trying to run away. You got that? I think I'm getting the hang of this flying thing, but I'm still kind of scared of sparring with Mr. Piccolo. Didn't run home crying, huh? Well, let's get right to it. Prepare yourself. Um, okay. Don't look. Feel. Think about what you need to do. Then do it. I, I am. We've only got six months left. I'm aching all over. There we go. That's enough. We'll call the day for now. Finally, it's over. I guess you're no longer the little crybaby you were six months ago. <laughs> hey, I was wondering. You fought my dad a long time ago, right? I did, and I've still got a score to settle with him. Once the Saiyans are gone, your dad's next. But you know, my dad told me something. He said you're not like the old Piccolo. He said, you don't seem like such a bad guy. <laughs> I think my dad's right. Even though my mom and grandpa are still scared of you. Just shut your mouth and try to get some sleep. I'm gonna put you through hell tomorrow. Uh, okay.
Ready when you are, King Kai. Now, let's see you form a spirit bomb and use it to destroy this extra fast brick. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Wow! I, I can't believe it! Well done, Goku! Thanks, it wasn't easy. It's like I keep saying. The spirit bomb is formed by gathering energy from everything around you and concentrating it into a ball. It's incredibly powerful. Screw it up and you'll blow the very planet you're trying to protect to pieces. And that's why you should only use it as a last resort, and only once for that matter. Hmm. Just as I thought, he very well might be able to go through the entire training regimen. This isn't break time. Remember this, you eat, sleep, fight. That's your life now. Don't you dare forget it. B but what if I just... That's enough. Unless you want to die, you have to get stronger. Stronger than me and stronger than the Saiyans. I, I know, it's just... Less complaining, more fighting. We'll eat for now, but then it's back to business. If all I do is train, when I'm not eating or sleeping, I'll die before I get very strong. There's no way I'm gonna be as strong as my dad or Mr. Piccolo. It's impossible. Wait, now's my chance. I can sneak home. Uh, all right. I, I think... I'll go looking for something to eat. <laughs> Mr. Piccolo's way stronger than me. If I keep up his training, there's not gonna be much left of me. I'm just gonna get in the way. I wonder how mom's doing. Huh? Is this someone's house? I wonder if anyone's here. Oh, hurry, Mr. Piccolo's gonna find out what I did. I, I think I can handle this. be hungry.
Don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, do you? I know! You're Goku's kid, right? Uh, yeah. I'm Gohan. Are you a friend of my dad? You bet! We've been on all sorts of adventures together! Whoa! I'm Quar! You may have heard about me from Goku! No, not a word! Well, that's Goku for you! But you must have heard about Yamcha, right? Nope! Nothing at. Of course you have! Wonderful! So, uh, what brings you here? Uh, that's right! I'm preparing a meal for Yamcha, and this place has the best ingredients around! So I'd better get back to work. I have a few more items to pick up. Sure. All this talk of food is making me hungry. I should get Mom to fix me something. A pork bun would sure hit the spot. No! Stop right there! <laughs> into them again. And when I do, I'll be ready for them. Uh, I can't thank you enough! And, and, you know, you really are crazy strong, Gohan! Huh? You think so? What? You don't think so? You remind me of Goku when he won the World Tournament! I'm like... Dad? Am I really that strong? Sure you are! And brave to boot! Like father, like son! I couldn't even handle those enemies! I'm totally useless! But you didn't run away, right? Yamcha is hard at work training! The least I can do is fix him a hot meal! Plus, Yamcha is always telling me... He can give 100% because I'm around. That's why I can't give any less myself. Everyone's working so hard. Look at the time. I'd better get back and start preparing. Thanks for the help, Gohan. See you around. <laughs> Piccolo's one tough teacher. But I am getting stronger. Maybe I can keep at this a little longer. I'm gonna be strong like Dad and Mr. Piccolo so I can protect you and everyone else. <laughs> I wouldn't be as strong as I am now. And if I keep up my training, maybe I'll get even stronger. All right, better keep that. too mad at me. Maybe if I just apologize, Mr. Piccolo will forgive me.
can handle this. I'm gonna take you down! Give me all you got. What? I want you to try and kill me. Come on! I thought you wanted to be strong like me and your old man. I, I do! Looks like you're finally starting to show some promise, kid. I mean, uh, Gohan. Th thank you, Mr. Piccolo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> My mom would freak out if she saw me like this. Then I guess you'll be needing a fresh set of clothes. What, you got a problem with it? N no, not at all. Thank you, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs>
Well, not much longer now. The Saiyans should be arriving on Earth sometime tomorrow. Ah! Oh no! How can I be so stupid? Uh, what? What's wrong? Uh, I totally forgot how long it's going to take you to travel back across Snake Way! Quick! Put your hand on my back and tell your friends to revive you with the Dragon Balls! Yeah, sure thing! Come forth, Shinron! Gone. That means you've been revived! Now go! Hurry! Right! Thanks for everything, King Kai! See ya! And so, the fated day had finally arrived. with a dangerous duo. So this is Earth. Not a bad-looking planet. <sighs> Guess we should go pay our respects to the little twerps, huh? things first. We'll seek out the highest power level. When we do, we'll likely find Raditz's killer. Or perhaps Kakarot's son. <laughs> Found you. All right, Nappa. Time to have some fun. What? A huge power is heading this way. I have to tell Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> Straight for us. Hey, uh, Piccolo, it's been a while. You're one of the people I saw at Master Roshi's. Yeah, I'm Krillin. Man, you really have grown up, haven't you? You look just like Goku when he was a kid. That's enough chit chat. They're here. <gasps> Well, well. Looks like you've been expecting us. You got that right. Huh? What's a Namekian doing here? Hmm? Namekian? Oh, I get it. It's been said that Namekians possess extraordinary fighting skills, as well as magical abilities. You must be the one who created those Dragon Balls we've heard about. <laughs> they know about the Dragon Balls? That's the whole reason we came to this puny planet. Now hand them over! You may be a Namekian, but there's still only one of you. This is gonna be like swatting away flies! Sorry to burst your bubble, but I didn't create the Dragon Balls or anything else. My specialty is destruction. And if I'm a fly, then just try and swat me. Very well. Let's see what the Namekian and his little friends are capable of. <laughs> Looks like you and me are thinking the same thing, Vegeta. Yeah. <laughs> 
These guys look pretty tough. <laughs> huh? It's the end, and Chaozu's with him. Hey guys, sorry we're late. Yamcha! Yamcha? You mean the person Bar was talking about? Yep, the one and only. He must be Goku's kid. Well, he definitely looks the part. Yeah, he's like a mini Goku! Um, nice to meet you. My name's Gohan. Look at that. A few more pipsqueaks have come to play. <laughs> Relax, we'll make this quick. Gohan, this is it. Show them what you can do. Right. Count me in, too. I've done my fair share of training. Make them suffer, Cybermen. to be something entertaining after all. Well then, who's next? Let me at him. I'll show him that I'm not messing around. Come on, let's do this. You green goons better give him hell. I guess those little monsters weren't as tough as you thought they were. I'll finish the rest of them off by myself. What? <laughs> what the? He 
he blew himself up. I believe it's time we end this little game. <laughs> Finally! I was getting tired of waiting. Which one wants to die next? So, who wants to die first? Gotcha! You gotta be kidding me! How are we supposed to explain this to Warren Fulma? Solar flare! No way! to cause some real damage. You all better kiss your butts goodbye. What? Jen! Say your prayer! Yeah. Chaozu! Chaozu, what are you doing? Farewell, Tian! Please don't die! No! Don't do it! Jutsu! Jutsu! <laughs> that kinda tickled. Jutsu... I will avenge you. I swear. I'm not going to let your death be in vain. Ah! Try beam! Ah, you think you're pretty tough, don't you? This... this can't be... This has got to be some kind of nightmare! Where are you, Goku? We need your help! Goku? Humor me. 
You wouldn't happen to be talking about Kakarot, would you? Y yeah So what's it to you? Ah, just as I thought. I guess the Dragon Balls revived him after all. Do you truly believe that he can save you? After all, he can barely handle a weakling like Raditz. He's gotten stronger since then. I'm sure of it. He's gonna make you beg for mercy. Do you hear me? He's gonna make you beg! Oh, I wouldn't underestimate Goku if I were you. <laughs> oh yeah? If he's so tough, then where the hell is he, huh? He'll be here. My dad's definitely gonna come. Then I guess we'll just have to wait for him, won't we? Three hours is all he gets, and not a second longer. Three hours? Ah, there ain't no point in waiting around. Screw it. I'm gonna have some fun. Nappa! Didn't you just hear me? S sorry, Vegeta. G guess I got a little carried away. The big oaf is shaking in his boots. The smaller guy's the one we need to keep an eye on. I'm sure of it. Come on, Goku. Quit making us wait and get over here already! Come on, show us just how much stronger you've become! Dad? Goku, where are you? All the times for him not to show up. Hey, you think we can make a break for it? These guys mean business. They plan on wiping out the entire planet. D Dad? Piccolo, you should get out of here if things start to get hairy. What do you mean? You die, Kami dies too, right? If that happens, then we can kiss the Dragon Balls goodbye! No. I don't need your sympathy. Just focus on winning. Right, yeah. Mr. Piccolo? We don't have much time left. Time's up. Too bad. I guess Kakarot was too scared to show his face. Finally. You twerps are in for a world of pain. What's with this energy? It's... it's incredible. And it's heading this way. Wow. You're right, it's huge. And it feels kind of familiar. Only Goku could have this much energy. Kakarot. Where? Hmm? Vegeta! Are these punks telling the truth? We'll find out soon enough whether this is actually Kakarot or not. Power level 5,000. No, no way! Y your scouter must be busted or something! Nappa, hurry up and kill the riffraff. They could be a real pain if they team up with Kakarot. But what about the Dragon Balls? Forget about them. I've got a better idea. That Namekian's home planet should have Dragon Balls even more powerful. We'll do far better heading there instead. Don't you understand? If Kakarot actually lives, then that legend has to be true. Huh? Get out of here, Mr. Piccolo! I'll handle them until my dad gets here! If you die, we'll definitely lose Kami and the Dragon Balls! <laughs> A runt like you can't handle them all alone. Handle me, huh? <laughs> this kid over here is a real riot! Do what 
I can to buy my dad some time. If Gohan's gonna be brave, then I will too. Either way, you're all dead. No way. Look at that little kid squeak's got some power. My arms all tingly now. You can make this fun for me. Now die! Now die!
Get out of here, Gohan! Mr. Piccolo! Why did you... Just shut up and run! No! Mr. Piccolo! Please don't die! All right, I made it! Goku! Kami! Quickly, grab hold of me! Thanks! Well, that young man, he, he actually made his way back from King Kai's planet! I'm off! I'm fully trained and ready to go! We're counting on you. about a sight for sore eyes. Let's go! Goku versus Vegeta. I'm sensing some crazy energy over there. I'm picking up two massive sources of power. There's two even bigger ones. And one small one, too. Those numbers don't add up. Wait, did somebody die? Close. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. How pathetic to think the great Demon King Piccolo would go down like this. Protecting a little brat like you, it's laughable. <laughs> I, I blame you and your dad. Your stupid softness rubbed off on me. But go on. I, I want you to know you're the only real friend. The 
only real friend I ever had. These, these past few months, they really weren't half bad. You, you better not die, Gohan. It appears I'm not long for this world. But, but at least it seems Piccolo has finally surpassed me. I, I can die happy knowing that. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> Wasn't planning on killing him just yet, but whatever. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Kakarot's face when he sees his little twerp squashed like a bug. to say I'm gonna pound you into a pulp there's no way a small fry like you stands a chance against the mighty Nappa but you're nothing special you think you're a good warrior like me what the hell you just say you Napa that's more than enough I'll take care of him since it's a direct order I'll let Vegeta handle you but I'm not done playing just yet oh no you don't guy okay I don't think he can fight anymore. Now take him with you and leave Earth this instant! Vegeta! Help me! What are you doing? Vegeta! I've got no use for a Saiyan that can't move! Who 
is this guy? He just, he just killed his own partner! You two, go! Get back to Kame House, now! What? Look, this guy seems a lot tougher than I thought he'd be. Oh, okay, Dad. We'll go. Goku, wait. Couldn't you just fight this guy somewhere else? Why? Look, I don't want anything to happen to these guys before we can bring them back. Bring them back? But Piccolo and Kami, the both of them are dead. Which means that the Dragon Balls are gone too. I hate to say it, but we can't bring them back now. Wait, Krillin? Are you... Huh? What is it? I'll explain later. Just you make sure that you send this guy packing, all right? Send him packing? Huh. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. I'll do what I can. Sorry to do this again, Goku. But we're all counting on you. Don't you dare go dying on us, buddy! You got it. Gohan, if I make it back, what do you say we go fishing again? Just you and me. Uh, okay. Change of plans. We're moving. Fine. Makes no difference to me. I need to move the fight somewhere with no other people. How in the world is Krillin planning on bringing everyone back? First, I'll take Vegeta down, then I'll ask him. Okay. This ought to be a good spot. No people or animals in sight. As Saiyans, our worth as warriors is measured and judged at birth. Those with no potential like you are sent to inferior planets like this. Thrown away and forgotten like the garbage you are. With enough hard work and training, even garbage can surpass the elite. <laughs> That's quite a sense of humor you've got. You're about to learn the hard way that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. Super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with a low class scumbag. Damn! 
The land, the sea, all creatures of the earth, and all living things. Please, lend me some of your energy!
I know you're tired, but we're headed for Kami House. Can you make it? Yeah! Hang on, Gohan! What is that? I'm not sure, but it's some really massive energy. I I'm heading back! It's my dad! He's in trouble. I can feel it. Behind you! Power struggle with the Prince of Sails. What on earth is that weird ball of light? What's going on? This weird huge energy is getting even bigger! Uh, I don't think it's my dad's power that's gone up, is it? It feels different. It's gotta be that weird creep's power! My dad's in trouble! Hurry! We're almost there! Uh, I think I can handle this! If we don't do something, my dad's gonna die! Krillin! What's that? Get out, Gohan! Don't let him see us! Hey! Yeah, yeah Jirobi! Did you forget what that furry freak is? He's a Saiyan! A Saiyan! We know. But if we can cut his tail off, he'll revert back to normal! Go on, Yajirobi. You guys get in front and distract him. I'll wait for an opening, and then I'll slice his tail off! Uh, okay! What? Distract him? Are you out of your mind? Look, man, even if you cut him down to size, he's still gonna knock you guys silly! Hmm? Seems I've got some unwelcome guests. Where are you? Over here! Let go of my dad, you monster! Well, well, well. If it isn't Kakarot's little brat! Now, my chance! Crypto guest! No way! <laughs> nice try going for my tail, but I can see right through you! Insignificant trash! You're all dead! Do you hear me? I'll start with you! You're going to wish you'd never been born! I'm gonna defeat you! Krillin, come here. I need your help. Goku, are you alright? Now's our only chance. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you... Uh, uh, all the energy uh, 
I gathered from the earth. What? Krillin, grab my hand. Like this? Yeah, you got it. And now, turn your palm up and concentrate the energy into a ball. Just trust me. Whoa! There it is. So this is the... That's a spirit bomb. You, you did it. Brilliant. You gotta hit him with that. You have to. Okay. I'll do what I can. Leave it to me. Come on. I, I can't hit him if he keeps moving all over the place like that. You don't use your eyes when throwing the spirit bomb. Seek out his evil energy with your mind and release the attack! Who's there? I am King Kai, the one who taught Goku the spirit bomb technique. Remember, that ball contains the hope of every person on the planet. Okay, seek out his evil energy. I can feel it. Man, I can feel his evil energy. We did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> You've really done it this time. I might actually die! How dare you! Your history!
How can I, the great Vegeta, be reduced to this? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> this ends now! Don't, Krillin! <laughs> Goku? I'm sorry, but just... Just let him go! Uh, wait, are you serious? If we let him go, he's just gonna regain his strength and come back and kill everyone! I... I know. Uh, th this guy killed our friends! He came here to massacre everyone on the planet! He's not just gonna pull a piccolo and just change sides. We have to stop him! I know, Krillin. But, but please, please, I know what I'm asking is selfish. Crazy, even. But do me this favor. Let him live so I can fight him again someday. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess if anybody's got the right to ask for that, it's you. I mean, if it weren't for you, this whole planet would be toast. But if we're gonna do this, then you gotta blow this guy away with everything you got when he comes back. You got it. You're going to regret this. You, you won't have another miracle to save you next time. <laughs> Enjoy this time, because it's all you have left. <laughs> there they are! Hey, over here! Oh! Uh, Goku! Are you all right? Uh, uh, Bulma? Yamcha, the others, they're all gone. We're, we're the only ones left. Piccolo's gone too. Uh, that means Kami and the Dragon Balls. They're all gone. So... so you mean... Yamcha can't ever be... <laughs> Bulma, don't cry. Actually... There might be a way for us to bring everyone who was killed back after all! What? Those Saiyans saw Piccolo and said something about him being a Namekian. They said the Namekian home planet, planet Namek, should even have more powerful Dragon Balls. Then, then that means if we head over to that Namek place or whatever, we, we might be able to get our hands on some Dragon Balls. It's me, Goku! You know, in the fight with Vegeta, we lost a lot of our friends. And with Piccolo gone, we can't use the Dragon Balls to bring anybody back! Wait a second! There are Dragon Balls on Planet Namek? Kami's homeworld? How are the guys gonna get there? Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! The legendary Super Saiyan versus the evil Emperor Frieza! Don't miss it! After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, Planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations 
for their long, arduous trip to Namek. the person I was looking for. Huh? What's up, Bulma? We're gearing up to go to Namek, right? I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there. But I'm short on parts. Oh, bummer. With Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages, you're the only one left for the job. Oh. No problem, Bulma. Leave it to me. That's the spirit. Here's what I need. Think you can handle that?
another one. Talk about speedy service. Does everything check out? <laughs> sure does. Great job. I'll have this spaceship up and running in no time. Thanks a bunch, Bulma.
The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan, just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. R right! So, you all set for the trip? Okay, I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone is gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Mom! Bye, Master Roshi! Write me every day, Gohan! Alright, time for takeoff! Watch out, Planet Namek, here we come! Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for Planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Nemec in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history. I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek! Hmm, this place... Kinda reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. No use waiting around, let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up, no doubt about it, it's a Dragon Ball! You're right! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright! Alright, we found we one! Found we one. found one! Huh? Krillin! Feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding. It's massive and it feels crazy strong. And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. 
The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> right? <laughs> Level. They'll know we're here. He, yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. Yeah! Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, then head back to Earth. Gohan, sound good to you? It, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. <laughs> Right. Two months. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. We found it, Lord Frieza. Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me. Lord Frieza, Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I'll make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? Krillin, someone's coming. Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No, it's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? Look. What the hell is that? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. 
Sounds good to me. No! That starship! <laughs> Sucks to be them. Guess that we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes. Right. Just like the Saiyans we fought back on Earth. Solar flare. You're kidding me. What's going on with that power level? <laughs> 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 Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500, is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Kui. <laughs> you hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Kui. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> <laughs> well now. <laughs> Realize how much of a threat I am. Good. I'll get rid of that waste of space in no time. <laughs> Easy prey.
<laughs> you must really have a death wish. Coming at me like this? <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Like how to control my power level. <laughs> no way! 19, 20, 21, 22,000! <laughs> Well, this must be some sort of error, but I set my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. <laughs> Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? <laughs> Die! We're supposed to be equal in power! I've grown stronger with each battle that I fought! The most recent one pushed me to the brink of death! Don't think for a second that a man who has me unlike you could ever be my equal! Believe it! Damn you! from before. That 24,000 reading, it was real. Oh, I don't believe it. He just took out Kui. I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget, Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defy me. Lord Frieza! The scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction! Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. I... I hate to say it, but that's it! We're screwed! There's no way we can ever get back to Earth now! Bulma? Let's... let's at least get away from this place! We're sending ducks out here! We should try to find a place to hide! Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something! 
We'll try to figure something out. I'm... I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. Here, it looks like it'll do the trick. So, how long do we have to stay in a creepy place like that? Huh? Grillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Boma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? It's them! and check the dragon radar, please. You said four of the dragon balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah, that explains it. They have the four dragon balls. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Y yeah. Power was incredible. Whoa, Th that small guy, he he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Uh, cool man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls? from those guys! Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Nemec in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some sensu beans, Goku left for planet Nemec. All right, I'm off. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Hey, 
Hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute! Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us! Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going too. Uh, wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right! Freezer's Horrible Henchman. <laughs> Namekian villages here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. <laughs> Go on. You know the deal, right? Yeah. No energy blasts are flying, right? That's right. We have to move undetected. guy and his friends I mean come on uh. what's going on down there they look just like Kami and Piccolo ah they must be Namekians first introductions I am Frieza I'm looking for the Dragon Balls and if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We... we don't have anything like that. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. Uh, the, that device... that must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Oh! <laughs> you know, the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing That's impossible! Well, they did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. Whoa. <laughs> Ha-ha-ha! Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. <clears throat> They're monsters! How terrible! W what do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. I, I suppose we have no choice, but promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. 
Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. Now, take this and be gone. Well, I have you. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Demechians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! R right! No! Our scouters! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! Those monsters! <laughs> it's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later! That's enough! What? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on! Even if we take them together, these guys are way out of our league! Your jets go on! No way!
our chance. Hurry! Huh? Right! After them, Dodoria! Don't let them get away! Punch it, Gohan! If he catches us, we're goners! Right! No use! They're faster than us! He's gaining! Wait, that's right! Here, go on, take the kid! Okay! Don't look directly at me! Take this! Solar Flare! Yeah! My eyes! I can't see! Alright, it worked! Go on, hide! What? Oh, wait! You little twerps! Where the hell you go? Uh. <sighs> We're safe! Alright, we need to head back to Bulma fast. Hey, can you fly? Oh, uh, um, yes. Th thank you for saving me. So, um, what's your name? I'm Dende. Hmm? One of Frieza's goons is on the move. This energy. Is that Dodoria? This is perfect. I can more than handle him all by myself. Taking on Frieza now would be downright suicidal. I have to plan my next moves carefully. For starters, I'll make short work of Dodori. <laughs> Easy prey. <laughs> Vegeta! Hey there! It's been quite some time, Dodoria. I've waited for you to foolishly leave Freeze aside. Knocking you around should be easy enough without Freeze here. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Do yourself a favor. Shut up and just hand over that scouter of yours. Do that and I'll let you live just this once. <laughs> Is that so? You went completely radio silent during your attack on the Namekian village, which can obviously mean only one thing. You've lost every single one of your scouters, haven't you? <laughs> How perfect! Now I can make my way over there unnoticed. You want this, don't you? I guess you're not as dumb as you look, Vegeta. <laughs> What are you doing? Why did you break it? You idiot! Don't you realize you're not going to be able to find the Namekians without it? I recently spent some time on a planet called Earth. Believe it or not, they don't require scouters in order to sense power. There was another Saiyan there as well, and he also knew how to use that technique. Which means an elite like myself should easily master it. That's it then, isn't it? Those little runts I was after, they were Earthlings. What are you doing, teaming up with those punks? What Earthlings? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way Earthlings could be out here. Enough of this nonsense. Stop wasting time and come at me already. I see what's going on here. You've come to realize just how much stronger I've gotten. And now you're too afraid to fight me. You saw my power level on your scouter before, didn't you? That number wasn't accurate. My scouter was busted. 
What are you so afraid of? Oh, I'm trying to attack you! Who do you think you are? You're not better than me! Don't underestimate me! Got a gun! a little secret, but it ain't so little. It's a big one. It's about the home of your people. It's about planet Vegeta. What? What is it? Spit it out. You've probably heard all this before. How planet Vegeta was destroyed by some huge meteor, right? But that's not the truth. What happened is a bunch of crazy strong Saiyans like yourself started cropping up all over the place. And the more powerful they got, the more they didn't see the point in following orders from anybody. Lord Frieza lost trust in you guys, and because of that, he felt he needed to lay down the law. And oh, did he! Lord Frieza ended up not just destroying planet Vegeta, but every single Saiyan himself. But you know, Vegeta, you should be grateful. Lord Frieza saw a lot of potential in you, too much to waste. So he made sure to destroy the planet when you weren't there. <laughs> I bet that was a lot to take in, huh? You're wrong about that, Dodoria. I couldn't care less about my planet, my comrades, or even my parents. But... What infuriates me to no end is how I let myself be used all this time by bastards like you! Thinking about it makes me sick to my stomach! <laughs> You're on freezer!
Freeze is terrified of the limitless potential of a Saiyan's power. If what I heard on the Scouter is to be believed, then all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish come true. First, I'll get my hands on the two remaining Dragon Balls. No, one should be more than sufficient. If I can hide even just one of them, Frieza and his lackeys won't be able to make their wish a reality! Then all I have to do is wait until their guard is down and steal the rest of them! We're finally back. Well, you guys certainly took your time, didn't you? <laughs> uh, took your time. <laughs> huh? Uh, who's the pocket-sized Piccolo? Oh, he's Namekian, isn't he? What's your name, little guy? Y yes my name is Dende. Huh. It looks like you guys have been through a lot. Oh, yeah, that's right! I've got great news from my dad! Really? That's great! Goku's on his way here as we speak. He should arrive in about mm, six days. And I hear he's toughening himself up. My, my dad's coming? Hooray! Yahoo! Six days remained until Goku would arrive on planet Nemec. Goku! Can you hear me, Goku? Wait. Huh? Where are you? Are you in space? Oh, that's right! You're heading to Namek. Good luck finding the Dragon Balls! Wait a minute. You mean you don't know what's going on? There's some crazy stuff going down on Namek. Crazy stuff? Well, we can talk about that later. I've actually got some guests here with me. In fact, it's four people you know quite well. Well, wait, you don't mean... They've asked me to train them even harder than I trained you. Hey, Goku, you hear me? We met up with Kami in the other world, and he told us all about this place. You said there's four of them there, right? So that's Yamcha, Tien... Wait, is Piccolo there too? Huh. I'm not about to let you be the only one that gets stronger in all of this. Chaozu's here with us too! Kami pulled some strings and let us have our bodies back so we can train here. Pretty cool of him, huh? That's awesome! Glad to hear it! <laughs> I'm doing, I'm doing a, a bit, bit of training of myself on the way to Namek. I had my spaceship customized to simulate 100 times gravity for some extra intense training. But if I don't get stronger in the next five days, I'm gonna be in some pretty big trouble. You mentioned that before. What exactly is going to happen? What? what Whoa, hold on. You mean there's someone out there that's stronger than Vegeta? Wait, you're not talking about Frieza, are you? Beats me. I didn't hear anything about a Frieza. You know him, King Kai? L listen, Goku. If it's actually Frieza, 
then stay far away from him! Get on his bad side and you're begging for trouble! I'm telling you, not just for your own safety, but for the safety of Earth, Namek, and every other planet in the universe! Is, is he really that strong? I kind of want to meet him now. Do not go anywhere near him! You hear me? I'm looking for some sort of elder. I'm here to retrieve the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Battle for the Dragon Ball. of energy just started disappearing. Really? M more Namekians are being killed! And the one doing the killing has a very familiar energy. Uh, it's Vegeta! Now it's not just Frieza we gotta worry about wishing for immortality, but Vegeta too! If we can find one of the Dragon Balls, and hide it. Neither of them will be able to make their wish. But, but they'll just continue killing Namekians until they find all the Dragon Balls. N no. Uh, who are you people? Where did you come from? And how do you know about the Dragon Balls? Please, if you can, save my people. Yeah, about that. Well, if you already know, I think... I think I understand what's going on now. Come on, follow me. I'll take you to see Grand Elder Guru. Huh? Uh... Grand Elder Guru? Why are we headed there? Those monsters that attacked our villages already have four Dragon Balls. Not only that, didn't you say that... There are more people being killed over there? Uh, yeah. I think I know who did it. Vegeta. Th their energy... It's all gone! There's no one left! Th then... Then that means there aren't many Namekians left on this planet. Ugh. Oh, man. Even if we find the Dragon Ball in the village that Vegeta attacked, that still leaves one! Wait. Does Grand Elder Guru have the last Dragon Ball? Y yes Not good! If Vegeta reaches him before us, he'll get his hands on the seventh Dragon Ball! We have to hurry and let Guru know! I'll go with Dende. Gohan and Bulma, you two wait here. There's no point in all of us going, okay? Right! Be careful, you guys! <laughs> so this must be a Dragon Ball. Fascinating. It must be kept safe. Time to hide it. No one could possibly find it as long as it remains at the bottom of this lake. If it's true that Frieza and his worms have five, that means just one is left out there. <laughs> this power... It's Zarbon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it would appear that he's finally off that leash of his. 
He'll be joining Dodoria soon enough. In hell. Zarbon is no match for me. All I need to do now is finish off the rest of Frieza's pathetic goons. Then the Dragon Balls are as good as mine. We wouldn't have to split up and find the villagers if we just had our scouters. Well, look at that! If it isn't Zarbon! You know, I ran into your friend Dodoria earlier. He's super dead. And soon you will be. What? You beat Dodoria? So that's why he never came back. I can't believe this. I hear you've lost all your precious scouters and had to split up to look for Namekian villages. Which can only mean Frieza's holding on to the Dragon Balls you obtained so far. Damn you. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on all of them. I'll make sure of it. I've already found one myself, and the others are as good as mine. What? Immortality. Good as dead. Fool. Immortality won't be enough to best Lord Frieza. The man I fought before he saw the greatest power. You still don't get it, do you? Lord Frieza's power is beyond anything you could ever imagine. He had a gun! I believe it! Oh. Damn you! You've improved. I'll give you that much at least. But you don't seem to realize the mistake you've just made. You have awakened my true power. You've got quite a sense of humor. Go on, show me your power. You are going to regret this, Vegeta. Prepare to be amazed by my glorious transformation. Pretty foolish. You went to all that trouble to grow stronger, and for what? Nothing. And here's something else you probably didn't know. Lord Frieza also hides his true power behind transformations. But... Oh, he passed out. 
I'm afraid I can't let you die just yet. I still have a lot to ask you. I can't believe I'm actually providing aid to a traitor like you. Once you're fully conscious, you're going to tell me where you've hidden the Dragon Ball. There it is! That's Guru's house! That's it? Hey, Nail! You're okay! I'm glad to see you're safe, Dende. Grand Elder Guru is aware of your situation. You two may enter. Grand Elder Guru will see you now. Uh, he's huge! Welcome, young Earthling. I understand I have you to thank for saving my little Dende here. My gratitude. Uh, well, I really didn't do much. It pains me that most of my children on this planet have fallen victim to such vile invaders. I had no idea the Dragon Balls, the very symbols of Namekian wisdom and power, could cause such strife. Uh, forgive me for cutting straight to the chase, but do you think I could borrow the one that you got right there? Look, I won't let the bad guys get their hands on it. I promise. I'd like him to have it as well. If the Earthlings get the Dragon Balls, they can wish for theirs to return to Earth. What? what? There are Dragon Balls on Earth as well. Is or was there a Namekian there? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing about one coming to Earth in order to flee some sort of crisis here on Namek. It must have been Kata's child. Truthfully, I'm surprised the child was able to survive the journey. If memory serves me, he was a gifted member of the Dragon Clan, the creators of the Dragon Balls. But how is it he met his end? Did he die of natural causes? Or was he killed? He was killed. By someone here on Namek, a Saiyan named Vegeta. Young Earthling, please step forward. I would like to look into your past. Huh? My past? My, my goodness! He split himself in two to combat the evil in his own heart? How foolish! To reduce such extraordinary potential is such a waste! If he had remained as one, he might not have met with such a horrible fate. Remained as one? Wait, does that mean if Kami and Piccolo rejoin, Piccolo will get his power back? Very well. I can see that your intentions are pure, and that you have exhibited great bravery thus far. I will entrust this Dragon Ball to you. However, you might not be able to make your wish. Uh, what do you mean? Unfortunately, I am not long for this world. I have perhaps only a few days left. Do you think you can reclaim the remaining Dragon Balls from those horrible fiends? As strong as you are, I fear that might prove impossible. Once I am gone, the Dragon Balls will cease to exist. Ah, uh, I see. 
Well, I guess we'll just have to do what we can. I'll keep the Dragon Ball, and I'll guard it with my life. I appreciate it. I must say, you seem to possess a great deal of strength for an Earthling. But much of it lies dormant and unrealized. How unfortunate. Allow me to release the power resting deep inside you. Wh what are you talking about? There's no way I'm hiding any more power. I mean, I'm already pushing myself to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Where did all this power come from? Yeah! I've never felt this kind of power before! This is incredible! Wait. Uh, would it be okay if I brought a friend of mine here to see you? I bet he's got more untapped power than me hidden inside of him. Yes, please bring him here. We could use another ally in the fight for justice. Okay, I'll be right back with him. Now, wait here, Dende. I'm gonna go get Gohan, okay? Uh, all right, be careful! According to the radar, the Dragon Ball over there is on the move! It's heading straight for us! Do you... do you think it's Krillin on his way back? I bet it is! But... um... what about this one? These five here are probably the ones that Frieza guy has. And hey, here's this one all by its lonesome! Wait... That's the village we heard Vegeta was attacking, right? But Vegeta isn't there. I don't sense his energy anywhere near it. Oh, I think I get it. He attacked the village, but he didn't find the Dragon Ball. Let me borrow the radar, Bulma. I'm going to go find that Dragon Ball. Okay, here we go. Hey! Actually... Thank you so much! Perfect. Now's my chance! I'm not sensing any scary energy in the area. That's good. here. Place like that. Maybe the villagers were in a rush to hide it. What? What was 
that explosion just now? It can't be. He's not in the recuperation tank. <sighs> Damn that Vegeta. Where could he be? Find him, Zabon! Find him now! Aha! The Dragon Balls! It looks like five of them are here. And I can't leave this place without all five of them. It looks like time isn't on my side either. Great! I'm going to have to buy myself some time here. Ha! <laughs> Now it's my turn! No, that filthy Saiyan monkey! Vegeta appears to be after the Dragon Balls! No, the Dragon Balls! Damn that Vegeta! This is inexcusable! You will scour this entire planet and find that traitor! After one hour's time, you do not return to me with Vegeta. Know that your death will be a slow and painful one! Oh, yes, sir. It pains me to say, but it appears Saiyans are capable of more than I initially thought. They seem to grow stronger with each battle they manage to survive. They can't hope to reach my superior level, of course. Still, it might prove prudent to finally rid myself of them once and for all. It would be quite bothersome if I had to deal with a Super Saiyan. It seems it may be time to call the Ginyu Force. <laughs> Here they are. Yes, yes, I'm untouchable! This is what you get, Frieza! Your Dragon Balls are finally mine! Now that I have these and the one that I hid underwater, that leaves just one to collect, then I'll have all seven! <gasps> This huge power. Is that Zarbon? This was great! I had no idea I had this kind of power! I bet I can make it back to Gohan in no time at all! Oh man, I bet Gohan's gonna get way stronger than me when he meets Guru! The little runt from Earth! Why is he on Namek? <laughs> and he's holding the very last Dragon Ball as well! <laughs> Seems Fortune is smiling quite favorably on yours truly today! Oh, damn that Vegeta! Where did he go? If I don't find him soon, Lord Frieza will have my head! Wait, that... Oh, I finally found you, Vegeta! A huge power level is on its way here! I guess Zarbon found me. Good! Once I get that Dragon Ball off the pike-sized Earthling, I'll finish him off once and for all! Zarbon's probably quite full of himself after the last encounter, which means his guard should be down. One thing at a time, though. First, I have to get my hands on that Dragon Ball. <laughs> Zarbon is as good as dead! I told you 
to hide. It's not safe for you. Is that a Dragon Ball? Wow, those things are huge here. Yeah, I got it from Guru. He's a remarkable person. Oh yeah, that's right. Where's Gohan? I want to take him to see Guru to increase his power level. He left to go look for the other Dragon Ball. The radar showed one in the village Vegeta attacked before. What? Really? What the... This power? No way! Vegeta! You're a long way from home, Earthling. Oh, no. I was so focused on my increase in power that I didn't notice him. He's not wearing a scouter. Then that means... He must have learned how to sense power levels without one. That's a nice Dragon Ball you've got yourself there. It would appear that you and I are after the same thing. <laughs> Fortunately for you, I have some business to take care of before I take it. But I'd think twice before doing something stupid like running away if I were you. Huh? There you are. Well, well. You've got some nerve, Vegeta. Thanks to your foolish actions, Lord Frieza has lost faith in me. If you don't give me the location of the Dragon Balls this instant, I'll just have to beat it out of you. You're welcome to try. <laughs> you never learn, do you? <laughs> He's let his guard down. There's nowhere to run, Vegeta! Damn you! Got a gun! Gotta get believe it! Got a gun! You're already running out of steam! Have no hope of beating me! Got a gun! Remember when I clung to life by a thread? I bet you regret healing me now, don't you? Something to keep in mind. We Saiyans grow stronger every time we're brought to the brink of death. Uh, oh yeah. That's right. Goku keeps getting stronger after each one of his fights. So, Baldy, what's it going to be? You forking over that ball, or am I taking it? Okay, if I give this to you, uh, do you promise just to take it and leave? <laughs> Fine, why not? There's no point in wasting my time with small fries like you once I have the Dragon Ball. 
Finally, I will be the one to rule over the universe, not that foolish Frieza. Immortality will be mine! <laughs> Just let him have all seven Dragon Balls. Come on, Gohan. We're counting on you. Whatever you do, don't let Vegeta find you. I hope Krillin and Bulma are okay. Better hurry. No one sees me, though. I'd better pick up my speed. Huh. This one has four stars. It's just like the one I wore on top of my hat. Someone's coming! Vegeta! I have to hurry up and hide. Where to hide? Where to hide? Where did this power come from all of a sudden? It's gone. What's going on here? Who's there? If you don't show yourself right now, I'll reduce this place to ashes! W wait It's only me! Well, if it isn't Kakarot's little brat... That's a Dragon Ball! Wait, where did you get that? It was a gift from that follically challenged friend of yours. G Krillin? You killed him, didn't you? No, he's alive. But I'd be more than willing to fix that if you'd like. Huh? And I think I'll let you live. Luckily for you, I'm feeling generous now that I've got all the Dragon Balls. All of them? Curious, uh, what's that you've got in your hand there? Oh, uh, this? It's a watch! <laughs> With such primitive technology, I'm surprised you Earthlings managed to make it to a remote planet like this. If you're here, then that must mean Kakarot's here too. No, he isn't! Oh, I see. That's too bad. When you get back to Earth, tell Kakarot something for me. The next time we meet, I'm going to turn him and his precious planet into space dust! <laughs> oh, that was close! Gohan, we knew you could do it! Great job, Gohan! We better get out of here, and quickly. Vegeta now knows where to find us. Yeah, I know. I ran into him not too long ago. What? Fortunately, I was able to hide this ball well enough that he didn't find it. Oh man, you're one lucky kid, you know that? That's enough, let's get out of here! It's not here! Impossible! It's a straight shot from where that brat was to here, and where the Earthling was before! But how? How did he find it? <sighs> that device he was holding... That wasn't a watch! Damn that little maggot! He took what is rightfully mine and will pay with his life! No! They're gone! Those damn Earthlings, they have no idea who they're messing with. It's only a matter of time before they come after the six Dragon Balls I have at my disposal. And when they do, 
I'll make them regret ever having crossed me! Krillin and the others were able to secure one of the Dragon Balls from Guru, but it was quickly stolen by Vegeta. But thanks to Gohan's quick thinking, they were able to prevent Vegeta from getting his hands on all seven of them. In order to avoid Vegeta's wrath, the trio had to find a new place to hide. Krillin then made his way back to Guru with Gohan in tow. Freezes ace up his sleeve. The Ginyu Force. <laughs> no way! <sighs> what? We gotta make sure that Vegeta and the others don't find us. Right! <laughs> Power is Vegeta hidden inside me? Well, this is all the power that I had. I bet you and your Saiyan blood are hiding all sorts of untapped power. Hang in there, Gohan. It's not much longer till we reach Guru. Right! Gohan! There it is! Huh? On top of that tall mountain. See it? <laughs> Go on. I'm sensing great power. What? It, it can't be. It's Vegeta. Go on. I'm going to buy us some time. You hurry on to Guru's place. Uh, okay. Do you have a death wish, Runt? Hand over that Dragon Ball with the four stars on it right now or face the consequences. What are you talking about? If you won't talk, I'll just have to make you. Hmm, astounding. Um, I heard you can unlock latent power. Indeed, and latent power is something you have in great abundance. However, I sense you also bear some resistance towards it. A full awakening will require some effort. Real sorry, but we're kind of in a hurry. Worry not. I need only time for a few questions. Then I will tap into the power buried deep within you. Now, calm your mind and answer. Uh, okay. My boy, what do you think of great power? No. That is not what you draw, then, what? my boy. No, now then, my boy. Yes, to you, power can be a frightening force indeed. But that is not all. I sense you feel its full potential as well. Let us move on. Tell me. When should power be used? Correct. Power must be utilized only when necessary. The final question. Upon gaining power, for what purpose will you fight? Yes. That is why you fight. Think only of this and relax. 
Okay. Now, I shall begin. What the? There's someone in there. That's where you've hidden the ball, isn't it? No! Wait, Vegeta! Don't! Get lost. There's no way I'm letting you inside. Do you want to die that badly? <laughs> A huge power level is inside. That must be Kakarot. So he is here after all. What the hell? It's you! How did you increase your power so much? Oh. Deadly, I have a favor to ask of you, my child. Please let the others know there is a large unknown power source approaching the planet. What? Uh, of course! Uh, everyone! Grand Elder Guru says something is approaching the planet! Hey, it's gotta be Goku! Goku's finally here! What? You really think so? It feels like there's more than one. More than one? Wait! That means... One, two, three, four, five. It's energy! Damn it, it has to be the Ginyu Force! I can't believe Frieza actually called the Ginyu Force! J you Give me the Dragon Ball right now! Are you insane? There's no way we're gonna give it to you! Just do it! I won't lay a finger on you once I'm immortal! You have my word! You think we're falling for that? Don't you get it? Each member of the Ginyu Force is just as strong as me! Maybe even stronger! And there are five of them! They'll hunt us down with their advanced scouters and kill every single one of us! There's only one way to beat them, and that's to give me the ball so I can wish for immortality! The Saiyan may be speaking the truth. There are indeed five evil power sources on their way. Uh, 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 but if we do this, then we came all the way out here for nothing! The Dragon Balls grant the user three wishes. You can still have your wish granted. Three? I thought we only got one wish! If I don't get my wish, then kiss your asses goodbye! Okay, fine. Follow us! This is crazy! Fly as fast as you can! So they finally arrived. I've been expecting you. Thank you, sir. Lord Frieza, we humbly await to carry out your orders. The traitorous Vegeta has stolen the Dragon Balls I've gone to great lengths to obtain. Make him suffer for his crime and then bring him to me alive. Consider it done! Scouters have already locked on! We have Vegeta's location! Lil Frieza! He's a scary yordy! Thank you. Now, time for our mission! Men, are you ready for this? No time to talk! We're taking the Dragon Ball! What? What's going on? Was that... 
Vegeta just now? Yeah, damn it, they're on the move. This isn't good. They're so fast. Oh, we can make it in time. isn't it? The five behind you? Plus the two you're holding? <laughs> that adds up to all seven! Yeah, and you're not getting your purple hands on them! Fine. We'll just have to take them from you then. Guldo! Sir! <laughs> How did he? <sighs> Damn it! So that tubby four-eyed freak actually does have the ability to stop time. Not good. And that's all seven of them. All that's left is to finish you guys off, Vegeta. Your suffering will be handled by me, personally! Hey, not so fast, Captain! You got to have all the fun last time! Yeah, that's right! Ugh. I suppose you're right! Fine! Raccoon, you take Vegeta! Guldo, you take the two kids! This should be interesting! Aren't I a great captain?! In the meantime, I'll deliver the Dragon Balls to Lord Frieza. And then he will finally be able to attain immortality! <laughs> so, Guldo, why don't you finish those pipsqueaks off first, huh? <laughs> this isn't fair! I'm gonna be done with this in no time! All right, here goes nothing. Release your power! There's more to you runs than I thought! Dora, let's make this quick! Ah! <laughs> 
Yeah! <laughs> 
Captain Ginyu's gonna have to come up with a new pose that the four of us can do. We did it! Yeah, if we can keep this up until Goku gets here, we should be okay. You two really are off on your own little world, aren't you? Guldo was nothing. He's the weakest of the bunch. The real suffering truly starts now. All right, Vegeta. Now. It's our turn to play. <laughs> you kids can play too if you want. <laughs> Heck, I'll play with all of you. Ooh, look at you, Vegeta. Oh, you're a lot tougher than you were before. You're going to regret not taking me seriously. Yourself. <laughs>
All right. That was a good warm-up. Now, let's see what you can really do. Simply magnificent, Captain Ginyu. I must admit, I'm impressed you were able to gather all seven Dragon Balls so quickly. There's no higher honor than such praise from you, Lord Frieza. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it is finally time to turn my dream of immortality into a reality. Let's begin, shall we? Dragon Balls! I command you to grant me immortality and eternal youth! Sir? Are you... are you immortal now? Uh, no. I suspect not. Ah, yes. There must be some sort of incantation to activate them. Perhaps some sort of secret phrase that only the Namekians know. Seems I'll have to hunt down more of those worms. Oh? Look at that. I'm picking up three Namekian power signatures. It appears a few of them survived. Lord Frieza, if you would like, I can force the phrase out of them. No, I think I'll ask them myself. You'll do well to remember that I have experience dealing with these primitive creatures. Captain Ginyu, you stay here and keep watch over the Dragon Balls. Understood, Lord Frieza. I won't disappoint you. are nothing but a bunch of pushovers. Well, might as well put the three of you out of your misery. Huh? What was that? Where'd that spaceship come from? It's Goku. He, he finally made it. Attention, we have arrived on planet Namek. I gotta find those three fast. Please be alive, you guys. Please be safe. Goku's heroic arrival. Huh? Go on? And Krillin? They're in trouble! They're hanging on by a thread. They're really close. Right where those three huge powers are. I'm on my way, guys. Hang on. Looks like it's time to show what I can do after training under a hundred times gravity. <laughs> well, that wasn't much fun. Ah! Say goodbye! Finally, show your face. Gohan, here you go. It's a sensu bean. Give some to the others, too. I'm gonna fight these guys on my own. Huh, you wanna fight me? What's a puny little guy like you gonna do? 
There's no way you can beat me! Finally, time to show you my best stuff. Raccoon! Ultra! Sorry, 
You were wide open, so I just went for it. You... You... you. <laughs> Sam, how is this possible? He's already gone beyond a Saiyan power level. But how? What kind of training has he put himself through to achieve this? Wait. Are the stories more than legends? Could it possibly be? Is he the legendary Saiyan warrior that appears once every thousand years? Is he actually a Super Saiyan? What about you guys? You gonna go back to your own planet or what? Or do you want to end up like this guy over here? Whoa! You hear that, Bert, huh? This spiky-haired whip must be out of his mind! Yeah, he actually believes that he has the power to take down Raccoon. Oh, he just got lucky. Raccoon wasn't fighting at his best, that's all. Yeah, that was a fluke. I mean, his power level didn't even go over 5,000. Give me a break. Here we go! Yeah! So, you won't go back, huh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
this fight! Uh, Crush out! Uh, oh! Ah! Ah! Who are you? rapidly increasing his power level at the exact moment he lands a strike. He, he must be trying to conserve his energy. That power spike is probably too quick for even their advanced scouters to detect. His power level is unbelievable. How can... Where is all this power coming from? Do you understand now? Just give up already! And leave this planet! Uh, this must be some sort of nightmare! How can we elite warriors be so p -p powerless against this guy? Your naivete makes me sick! Why would you let them get away with that? You may have grown stronger, but that doesn't make you a Super Saiyan. Far from it! Super Saiyan? I can see that you're proud of how much you've increased your power. But that won't be nearly enough to defeat Frieza. Frieza, huh? That's the guy King Kai told me about. Wait, so even after all the training I did, you're saying I'm still not strong enough to beat him? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Frieza possesses more power than you could ever possibly imagine. Yeah, maybe you're wrong. I mean... You saw what Goku can do, right? I mean, those guys couldn't even lay a finger on him. Goku is unstoppable. Then fight him and find out for yourself. But that's not all. Breeze has probably already used the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality. No, I, I don't think he's done that yet. What? How would you know? Well, if it's like using the Dragon Balls on Earth, the sky should get really dark and Shinron appears. But it's been bright this whole time, which means he probably hasn't made his wish yet. Shen what? What the heck's a Shinron? You mean something comes out of the Dragon Balls? Oh yeah, that's right. He probably doesn't know how to summon Shinron. That means we still have a chance to make our wish. Hooray! <laughs> Appears we've got some company arriving. Looks like Jace has brought Captain Ginyu along with him. Wait, where's Frieza? I thought for sure he'd be back at his ship with the Dragon Balls that Captain Ginyu brought him. I'm sensing some massive energy over there. That's gotta be Frieza. Uh, over there? No. Oh. We're in big trouble now! That's where Guru is! Oh no! Frieza's probably gonna force Guru to tell him how to make a wish with the Dragon Balls! Yeah... And once he's figured that out, he's gonna kill Guru for sure! He doesn't know that he won't be able to use the Dragon Balls if Guru dies! What? That settles it! Krillin and Gohan, you two get the Dragon Balls! Me and Vegeta will go stop Frieza. Right. And if we don't hurry, Guru is done for. We 
have to find Bulma and get the Dragon Radar. Yeah, good idea. Good luck, guys, and be careful. Goku, go get him! Come on, Vegeta, let's go. We're gonna go greet those Ginyu guys. Fine. You're probably a lot stronger now that you've recovered from a near-death experience. <laughs> so you know about that, huh? Wait a minute. If neither Frieza nor Ginyu are back in the ship, then that means the ship's completely defenseless right now. <laughs> Something wrong, Vegeta? <laughs> it's nothing. Some real guts, you know that? The captain's gonna make you pay for what you did. Really? So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around 5,000. Just like we said, makes no sense, right? Absurd! Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake. Don't be a fool! Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? Saints don't have that much power? Promising. This will be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time. All right, let's do this, Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, Maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Vegeta! Here I go! I can't believe Vegeta did me like that. I guess he probably thinks he can get his hands on the Dragon Balls while me and this guy fight it out. Mine. 
Vegeta said something about that, too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. S S Super Saiyan? You mean... You mean... The Legendary Warrior? No! This cannot be! Is, is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of? I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you... joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace! Take my scouter! What are you doing? That body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! going on what 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 am i doing all the way over there we've made a trade your body is mine now 
Hey, Captain, here's your scatter. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. <laughs> he seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. You must go, Dinde. And hurry. Those Earthlings need you. Okay, I understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. I suppose I'll let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them, though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, Understood my lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, very well then. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Where are the Dragon Balls? They're either hidden somewhere, or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runs summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. 
I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan! Looks like all seven of them are together in one spot! Right, now's our chance! I hope my dad's all right. Of course he's all right. He's Goku. Plus, Vegeta's with him. Yeah, that's true. The radar's showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. So, they actually buried them in the ground. Huh, we've got all of them now. Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Harunga appears. Well, here goes. Right. Come forth, Shenron! And grant our wishes! Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... Where's Shinron? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it! What the hell are those two doing? Quillen! Someone's coming this way! <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the? Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls. How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it. Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? And, and you're? <clears throat> Krillin, Gohan, <clears throat> that's not me. <clears throat> Wow, you actually made it this far. <laughs> That's correct. I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu! <laughs> no, it can't be. That's my dad? He swapped bodies. All this really complicates things. Go on, Trillin. I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool! The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! Let me join in a fight, Captain! I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Vegeta! We... When did you... Test 
this new body of mine out. him into a frog. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. D Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. He, he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? A little worm from before. You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? I, I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Force. No! All five of them couldn't have... They couldn't have all been defeated. No. Something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force. And the Dragon Balls! The almighty Freezer will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! This medical machine here, it should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. Whoa, this is crazy. It's super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shenron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay. Let's hope we don't run into him first. so hopefully not too long. No sense freezes power level close by. I hope he's not already at Gloom's place. collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. So we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. 
I knew it! This is perfect! Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry! Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Uh, right. Oh yeah, what about Vegeta? He said he was gonna rest up, right? Yeah, he's probably still sleeping. Good, we gotta make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. Made it. So how's Vegeta? Uh, he's still sleeping. Well, he's been in his fair share of battles recently. Now's our chance to leave him here and go make our wishes. We gotta grab the Dragon Balls and make our way out of here without waking him up. Even if Shenron wakes him up, we should still have enough time if we're far enough away. All right. It looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. Huh? Someone's coming this way. They're super fast. Yeah. It's Frieza! Hurry, did they? Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes! Right! Takarapto Popurunga! Puparito Paro! They're glowing! And the sky! It's getting dark! Just like the Dragon Balls on Earth! Seven Dragon Balls. Now, state your wishes. I shall grant you any three wishes that are within my power. Uh, whoa! That Namekian Shinron is one generous dragon! Hurry! Tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Frieza get here! Oh, uh, right. First, Ask him to bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans. Banda Parura, Ruti Mararu, Ban Paritsu, Kumera Tohero, Runchuro, Itash Kunchpa, Pontero, Rukche! I am unable to grant that wish. I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. They can only wish back one person at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. Hurry! Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. Gohan, can you hear me? It's Piccolo! Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good. Okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours, use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And as for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek. I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people. I'm a lot stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him. 
You have to warp me to Namek! Okay, Mr. Piccolo. Good! Do whatever you want for the third wish. Dinde, ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Hoto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Moposo, Patorate Morimpe, Kuri Pupas, Puya Kirigo! Oloteku Horoksa, Pero Pupo! Understood. I will grant your first wish. <laughs> Kame! Piccolo, what is this? What in the world are you up to? For our second wish, please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just brought back, and then warp him straight here to Namek. Okay! Tarumopura Akororu, Stenonipuro, Hikoloru Magaka, Tamakaroru! Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. So, this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. Not sure why, but there's something familiar about it. Now's not the time to get emotional. I need to find Gohan and the others. I'm sensing a mass of energy in the distance. Oh, it must be that monster, Frieza! I sense three huge powers near there. They've gotta be Gohan and the others! I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here, but what the hell is going on? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet. What the hell is that monstrosity? Those Dragon Balls and those twerps, they're gone. That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about. Ugh, I can't believe they took the Dragon Balls right from under my nose. Damn them! Your second wish has been granted. Now. State your final wish. Wait, he granted our wish? Then where's Piccolo? Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but... but you didn't say where. D did you want me to have him sent here? Oh no, now what are we supposed to do? Uh. Uh. Oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! Wait, we get three wishes. So that means there's still one left. W what are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal! Frieza's already on his way here! Hold on. Do you not have a final wish? Oh man, we're out of options at this point. Hurry, Dinde. Grant Vegeta's wish! I hate to admit it, but he's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes! Finally! Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes! <laughs> what the? The dragons disappeared! And the Dragon Balls, they're... They're stone! G Grand Elder Guru? He's gone. He finally... died. What do you mean? 
What about my immortality? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, oh no. It's Frieza! Well, you've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality in the most spectacular fashion. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have you to blame. I don't fully understand what has happened, but this is a rather surprising turn of events. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just as I was about to make my wish a reality? I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. This is a first, to be sure. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale. You... You worms will pay for this! I'm going to make your deaths long and painful! None of you will escape my wrath! Prepare to experience hell! <laughs> We're... we're doomed! <laughs> what is his power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? We can beat you! There's enough power between the three of us to take you down! The power level of those two keep rising. And the kid still has a ton of untapped power ready to go. Not to mention, I'm getting even closer to becoming your worst nightmare, a Super Saiyan! I grow tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's no myth. I'm strong enough now to take on even that freakish transformation of yours. Transformation? You say transformations? What are you talking about, Vegeta? A small number of people throughout the universe have the ability to transform when needed. Some camouflage themselves with it, while other beings use it to conserve their energy. My transformation serves another purpose, I'm afraid. You see, my power is so great that I struggle to contain it at times. Uh, what did you just say? He's bluffing! Relax! He doesn't have that much power! Oh, you think so? You know, I recall when I took over Planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. And your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. My father's strength back then pales in comparison to mine now. Ah, so it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet. Go on, transform. Show us what you really look like, Frieza. <laughs> Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige. You're in for a rare treat. Not many have had the privilege of seeing this form! His power level! It's insane! <laughs> Careful now. This won't be like before, and I won't be gentle. Perhaps you've noticed my massive increase in power. In terms of power level, I would say it's over one million. What? No way! Ah! Ah! Hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my, you look rather scared, Vegeta. What's wrong? You weren't expecting this? For me to be this powerful? Damn you, Frieza! Now then, who shall I send to hell first? How about you? Krillin! What have you done to him? Krillin! You hope to save him? Such foolishness. He'll be dead soon enough. Got a gun! Have to save Quillen! I got you now! I don't seem to know my own strength. It's rather difficult for me to control this much power. Whenever the brat loses his temper, his power starts skyrocketing. <laughs> 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 How surprising. That little attack of yours just now actually managed to hurt. But you are no match for me. All you've succeeded in doing is angering me further. Oh, it's no use. Damn it. So much for that plan of ours. The energy from before is larger now. Frieza appears to have finally made his move. <gasps> There's an energy nearby. <clears throat> Whoa, he looks just like me. Must be Namekian. So, you're the Namekian the Earthlings were talking about. They got their wish. <laughs> Good for them. You seem to know a lot about what's going on. You probably also know these Earthlings called me here to help them, not to talk to the locals. Sorry, but you're on your own. I don't know what kind of training you put yourself through, but your power, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Too bad it's not enough. You... you might have actually been able to take on Frieza if you recombined with your other half. What? You mean I could stand a chance against Frieza if I fused back together with Kami? Is that what you're telling me? That's right. I was no match for Frieza. But I... I got a sense of his power. There's no way in hell I'd join back with that dried-up dolt. Besides, I couldn't even if I wanted to. <laughs> then... Then fuse with me! If you do, you'll increase your power tenfold, maybe more. What? Fuse with you? <laughs> 
There's not much time. I only have a few moments left. <laughs> your mind will still be your own. Quickly! Place your hand on my body. <clears throat> Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Make Frieza suffer for what he did to our people. <clears throat> oh, I'm planning on it. This... this is unreal. This power, it's unbelievably incredible. So... so this is what he was talking about. I'm on my way, Gohan. Nothing can stand in my way now. I have just obtained the ultimate power! I am. There they are. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. What's wrong, Vegeta? Are you not going to save him? <laughs> him? But he... What? <laughs> How is that pathetic worm still alive? My attack should have been fatal! You won't be able to cheat death again once I've torn you into a million little pieces! Solar Flare! <laughs> My eyes! Now, Vegeta, attack him with all you got! <gasps> Thank goodness you're still alive! Here, let me heal you! He had that kind of ability? What are you doing, Vegeta? Why the hell didn't you tell me that Namekian Runt had the ability to heal people? Because we didn't know either. If we had known, we would have had him heal Goku. You really surprised me there, Dende. Thanks! Good luck! His power has increased rather significantly. I suppose it's because he has the blood of a Saiyan. It might not be much, but it should be enough to tip the scales in our favor. Impossible! That little cretin was on the verge of death, I'm sure of it! <laughs> Something's coming! M Mr. Piccolo! Sorry to keep you waiting. Of all the people to show up, it had to be the freak we killed back on Earth. The Dragon Balls were used to bring back this dead weight? What a waste! Sorry to disappoint you, but let's make one thing clear. I'm coming after you next. Once I take care of Frieza, that is. So another Namekian worm has come to die. Back off. I fight alone. What? What? <laughs> it's your funeral. You have no idea what you're up against, but fine. Go ahead. There's something to out of this one. No matter, it's a little consequence. He 
He's still far from a word. Time to take out the trash. <laughs> I must apologize for my attitude before. I've underestimated you. But I'm afraid you're still out of your league. Allow me to demonstrate my true power! Well then, guess I'll do the same. <laughs> it appears you don't fully grasp the danger you're in. Did you think what I've shown you was the full extent of my power? What? You simpleton. You're clearly unaware that I've undergone a transformation. Prepare yourself. You're about to experience dread like you've never felt before! Transformation? Now, that I have your attention, it's only fitting that I instill you with hopelessness as well! With each and every transformation, my power increases quite considerably. And still, I have two more forms beyond this one. You know what that means, don't you? You can't be serious! Uh, no! He, he's got two more forms? Prepare yourselves! You have the esteemed privilege of being the first to see my next form! Rejoice! Piccolo, I'm gonna fight too! Kidding me! No! You're wasting your time! I need you to beat me within an inch of my life, right now! 
<sighs> I apologize for the wait. Shall we begin round two? Ugh, you monster! Now, let's see, shall we? He's recovering from Mr. Piccolo's attacks! just how powerful we Saiyans can become when pushed to our limits. What are you waiting for? I can't get a power boost if I harm myself. I need you to do it. With that little Namekian's healing ability, I can recover from whatever you do almost immediately. I'd love to beat the snot out of you, believe me, but I can't. I mean, Goku's gonna be back any minute now. Kakarot isn't going to get stronger. He's a loser. Now. While I could snuff the life out of you in my current form with the most minimal of efforts, I wonder... Yes, I think I'll demonstrate to you just how truly terrifying my power is before I end your pitiful lives! <gasps> My people, I, 
I can't heal someone like you. Why, you insignificant little... I need to help the others. Are you okay? <clears throat> Thanks a lot, kid. Krillin, why did you attack Vegeta? Don't you remember? Saiyans get stronger every time they survive a fight to the death. That's why Vegeta asked me to attack him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dende, look, I get it. I know why you don't want to heal Vegeta, but we're screwed if he can't fight. But... Just heal him. I'm not strong enough to take Frieza on my own. What's going on? Is that Frieza? His transformation's complete. Dende, please! We need you to heal Vegeta! <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> Frieza should be no match for me now. Finally, feast your eyes on a Super Saiyan. He's coming into view. so small and compact, but it's intense. Guess it's true what they say. You can't judge a book by its cover. Still, I think I liked his other forms better. Sorry I couldn't help you guys out. I know you all went through a lot of trouble trying to wish me here. No, I couldn't help but notice that little Namekian had the ability to heal you. I'm afraid I can't have any more of that. <laughs> well then, let's begin, shall we? I made you a promise, didn't I? I said you would experience a dread like no other you felt before. His speed is incredible! So that's Frieza's true form. But I won't lose. Not as I am now! <laughs> Stand back and let someone with real power handle this! Seems your moves were too fast for the runs to catch, but I can see them clear as day. I admire your confidence, Vegeta. But I'm afraid your mind is so overcome with fear that you become delusional. You won't be laughing for very long, Frieza. After all, you're up against your greatest fear. A Super Saiyan! Freezer's final form. <laughs> you haven't lost your ridiculous sense of humor. There won't be a need for Kakarot when I'm done. I can see you! Got it, got it! 
Finished. I think I'll make the next move. I'll be gentle. For the very first time in his life, Vegeta had finally begun to experience true dread. Overcome with hopelessness and frustration, he was reduced to tears. The mighty prince of the warrior race had lost his will to fight. If you wish to save him, feel free to try at any time. with power it's actually kind of freaking me out whoa I better get going hang on guys I'm on my way all right they're not too far Frieza Gohan Krillin and Vegeta are all there. And there's someone else there, too. I don't know who it is, but their power is incredible. Hang on, guys! Hmm? Sorry I'm late. I'll take things from here. Dad? Goku! It looks like I still have some trash to dispose of. K Kakarot. <laughs> hmm. Kakarot. Oh, I see. So you're a Saiyan as well. I intend to rid the universe of every last one of you. <laughs> Different about Kakarot. Has he finally done it? Uh, is he a Super Saiyan? You actually countered one of my attacks. 
I'm impressed. <laughs> Frieza, I'd get serious if I were you. You're finally face to face with your worst nightmare. Uh, a Super Saiyan! <laughs> the, the legendary Saiyan warrior, the strongest fighter in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> You're finished, Frieza. <laughs> You're finally going to get what you. Did I not make myself clear before? I've grown tired of your pathetic jokes. Stop! Don't you see he can't fight back anymore? He's done. Just let him go. Kakarot, you're just as soft as always. Perhaps you're not a Super Saiyan after all. <laughs> you idiot. Stop letting your emotions hold you back. Stop being so soft and you can finally do it. You can become a Super Saiyan. Kakarot, listen. Our own planet, Planet Vegeta, wasn't destroyed by a meteor. It it was Frieza. We we Saiyans. We Saiyans were his enforcers. We followed his every order. Hmm. Your parents, my father, the king. They they were all murdered by that monster. <laughs> I beg you, Kakarot. Please. Please. Defeat Frieza! Please, I beg of you! He must die by saying hands! <sighs> uh. I was wondering when he'd finally die. Vegeta, it must have been really difficult for a proud guy like you to. Beg me for help. I hated you at first, but I began to understand over time you were a proud Saiyan warrior. Just know this, I'll do what I can to carry on that pride of yours. Hey, I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth. And to avenge those you've brutally murdered, the Saiyans and the Namekians. I'm going to defeat you! Utter nonsense. We're just in the way. We need to get out of here. Go on. Come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! Maybe. But I won't know until I'm 
This has been fun. It's been quite some time since I've exerted myself this much. Man, I'm in trouble. If he's serious about the half power thing, then even the Kaioken times ten isn't gonna be enough. I should be able to hold my own if I push it to times twenty, though. My body might not be able to handle it, but I've gotta try! What's going on? It, it barely, it barely did a thing. My dad's energy, it's a lot weaker than it was before. I can't believe someone's actually that strong. Guess King Kai was right. Can't believe I'm saying this, but we shouldn't have picked this fight with Frieza. Where has all your energy gone? 
What? Have you exhausted yourself already? I can't watch anymore. I'm gonna help him! Wait, seems like Goku's got something in the works. Legendary Super Saiyan. The Spirit Bomb! All things living on Namek, and all planets that can hear me, lend me as much energy as you can! Give me the strength I need! What are you doing? Don't tell me. Is this another one of your pathetic attacks? What can you possibly accomplish by just standing there? <gasps> well, he's made a spirit bomb that huge? Frieza doesn't appear to know what's going on right now. I don't understand why Goku doesn't just attack him. He's probably thinking that he needs more energy so that he can take Frieza down for good this time. Man, I wish this thing didn't take so long to get ready. I have to make sure he doesn't figure out what I'm doing. Come on! This is getting ridiculous. How much longer do you intend to keep that up? <laughs> Not sure. As long as I have to, I guess. <laughs> Say, uh, you're not in a hurry, are you? You dare mock me! I do not understand, you Saiyans. Your kind has been a thorn in my side for as long as I can remember. Once I've destroyed that Saiyan child and this entire planet, the Saiyans will finally be no more. The legend of the Super Saiyan will remain just that, a legend. That's not the sun. What the? Oh, we saw it. Stay here. No matter what happens, do not leave this spot. What is that? Is that some sort of ball of energy? No use. If I launch the spirit bomb at him right now, he's just gonna dodge it. Besides, it doesn't even have enough power to take Frieza down. Ah, damn it! You were planning a sneak attack this whole time. How pathetic! But all of your idiotic planning and effort has gone to waste. You're finished! <laughs> Piccolo! Hurry up and finish that spirit bomb already! Thanks, Piccolo. You vile, insignificant pests! How dare you interfere in this! <laughs> So there are more of you, are there? <laughs> you certainly know how to test my limited patience. It ends now! I will reduce you and this entire planet to nothing but ashes! All right. It's done. Release it!
ruin! <laughs> hey, you made it. Y yeah! But where are my dad and Piccolo? Th they were right by the impact, weren't they? You... you don't think that they... Hey, it's Goku and Piccolo we're talking about. They wouldn't go down that easy. Krillin, the energy's faint, but I feel it. Right, come on, let's go. Okay. Dad! Goku! <sighs> you did it! <laughs> Let's go home, you guys. Uh, what is it, Krillin? We totally forgot about Bulma! Don't scare me like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't be. It's Frieza! Mr. <laughs> Piccolo! You worms. I'm going to eradicate every last one of you! Krillin! No! Let him go, Frieza! Go, go! <laughs> and now for the little brat. You and head back to Earth now! Uh, uh, Hurry, Gohan! Before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! Uh, uh, okay! What's going on? What's happened to him? <laughs> it can't be! I, I think I know what's going on. My dad finally did it! He's become a Super Saiyan! I've had enough! Now I'm mad, Frieza! You will know your place, you filthy Saiyan! You're responsible for the deaths of so many innocent people! Like my friend Krillin! You have some nerve! Your friends? You act as if Saiyans don't have just as much blood on their hands! Thanks! Exterminated them like the best they were. Now it's your turn to be exterminated! Ah! Ah! No, Saiyan! Give it up, You're finished! Ah!
You can destroy entire planets, but you can't take down one single person? Wh wh what are you? You mean you haven't figured it out yet? I'm the Saiyan who's come all the way from Earth to defeat you! I am the warrior you've heard of in legends. I am pure of heart and awakened by fury, that's what I am. I am the Super Saiyan, Son Goku! <laughs> I stand corrected. I suppose the legends were true after all. I hate you! I hate you! It's over, Frieza. Is it now? I won't let it end this way. I would rather take my own life than be killed by scum like you! Fine by me. But the one that's going to die isn't me. It'll be you! <laughs> I can survive in the vacuum of space. Let's find out if the same can be said for Saiyans! <laughs> this planet will die! No! Restrain myself too much. But the core has been completely destroyed. In five minutes' time, this planet will explode and become nothing more than debris floating through space. Five minutes, huh? Well, that's all the time I need. I'll avenge Krillin by defeating you, then find my friends and get out of here. Defeat me? Impossible! You are giving me no choice. It's time to show you. Prepare for my full power! Frieza. You know, the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. As a warrior, I wouldn't have it any other way. Besides, you want to test out your full power too, don't you? My apologies for the wait. As requested, this is my full power! Goku's struggling. At this rate, he might not be able to make it off planet Namek before it explodes. No way! There must be something we can do. Wait, that's it? Yes, that should work! Guardian of Earth, Kami! Can you hear me? Yes, King Kai. I can hear you. Will you be able to summon Shenron right away? I have a wish to make. Ah, yes. I've already had Mr. Popo gather all of the Dragon Balls. We were planning to use them to revive those currently in your care. Right. Because Earth Dragon Balls can revive many people at once. But can they revive those who died naturally? I'm afraid those who died of natural causes cannot be brought back. But what about those whose lives were shortened as a result of an encounter with a villain? Hmm. I suppose such people could be revived, if only for the brief time that was taken from them. All right, then. Here's the wish. Ask Shenron to bring back all those that were killed by Frieza and his men. What? I'll explain. We don't have much time, so I'll make this quick. First, we'll use the Earth Dragon Balls to revive all those killed by Frieza. 
that should mean all Namekians, including Grand Elder Guru, should be revived. We've only had two of the three wishes granted with the Namekian Dragon Balls. How very strange. With Grand Elder Guru back, we should still be able to make one last wish, right? With that last wish, we'll transport everyone on Namek other than Frieza to Earth. Oh, I get it! You've really thought this through, King Kai. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Now hurry! Planet Namek won't be around much longer! Whoa. Oh, I see. I'll summon Shenron right away. Now, state your wish. I shall grant you any wish that you desire. To the world of the living? Grand Elder Guru of Planet Namek, this is King Kai of the North Quadrant of the Galaxy. Please listen closely. Why won't you just die? <laughs> this is it. I'm going to blow you to a million pieces, just like that Earthling. What are you talking about? Are you talking about Krillin? <laughs> Don't you dare talk about Krillin! Planet Namek is about to explode! There should be one wish left with the Dragon Balls there. I need you to summon Shenron! For the last wish, ask him to send everyone there except Frieza to Earth. I understand, King Kai. I appreciate your concern, but wishes must be made directly. I'm afraid. I will contact whomever is closest to the Dragon Balls and tell them your wish. Wait! Don't make that wish! Listen to me. Ask him to leave both Frieza and me behind. Come on, ask him! Uh, you heard us, Goku? I... I understand what you're trying to do, but... Listen, King Kai. If you don't let me finish things with Frieza, I'm never going to forgive you! Fine, fine. I understand. If that's really what you want... This is Guru. Grand Elder Guru? Please save your questions. I would like you to ask Porunga to grant one final wish. Dende, 
Were you asking to transport all those on Namek except for Frieza and the Saiyan Goku to Earth? Okay. Is something wrong? Do you not have a wish? Here... Here is our final wish! What? That's... The... The Dragon Balls! No, wait! Hopurunga, Frieza, Pipoto, Goku! Make me... Understood. It will be done. However, all except these two will be sent to Earth. What? My children, this huh? is a planet called Earth. My time is once again at hand, I'm afraid. But before I leave this world once more, I wish to explain what has just happened. The battle against that fiend Frieza still continues back on our home planet. Would you look at that? You need to speak the local language in order to make a wish. It's just us now, Frieza. Me and you. Finally, I've been waiting for this. How very curious. It would seem you're willing to pay the ultimate price to settle our conflict. Very well.
done! This fight is over. There's no point anymore. I can tell you're afraid. I don't need to defeat you anymore. You... you dare mock me? I will not let! You brought this upon yourself, Frieza. Though I have to admit I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cuz you saying? Uh... I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I beg you. Please have mercy. Please have mercy. I beg you. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? How many? I beg you. I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. Greatest being in the universe, and that is why you, you must, you must die by my hand! You fool! What? No. Goku survived his battle with Frieza. However, planet Nemec had finally reached its limit, exploding in spectacular fashion and leaving Goku nowhere to be found. Back on Earth, Vegeta and the relocated Namekians resolved to stay with Bulma for the time being. Not much time had passed before Grand Elder Guru once again passed away. This time, surrounded by his people. With Mori as the new Grand Elder, the Namekian Dragon Balls would be ready in one Namekian year, or 130 days on Earth. Though the Namekian Dragon Balls were only capable of reviving one person per wish, they could revive those that had died multiple times. Upon making their wishes to bring Goku and Krillin back, everyone received some shocking news. Goku was alive, and he was on his way back to Earth. To prevent Krillin from being brought back to life on the now destroyed Namek, his soul was brought back to Earth with the first wish, and then revived with the second. 
no longer needing to revive Goku, next in line to be brought back was Yamcha, whom everyone was more than happy to see. Then, another 130 days had passed, and two of the three wishes had been used to bring back the beloved Chaozu and Tien. Then, with the third and final wish, the Namekians were transported to a new planet. Along with their legendary Dragon Balls. Hey, it's me, Goku! What's that now? You're telling me Frieza's alive? And right now he's making his way to Earth with his father? They're probably gonna do something awful while I'm not there, aren't they? You're not gonna get away with this, Frieza. Huh? Who are you? Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! The fight for the future against the android terror! You don't want to miss it! Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza. But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived, as a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet. not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! over there it's Frieza it's gotta be I can't believe he's still alive no, hold on I think there's someone else with him do not fly there got it we can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them you, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power you, you gotta be kidding me what are we supposed to do once we get close to him? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! world did Frieza survive? Damn that Kakarot! Why didn't he finish that bastard off? And to think we're going up against him again. First we'll move in. On foot, of course. Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? It, yes!
So this is Earth. I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Fraser? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The mysterious savior from the future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! Well now, it seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got! Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you! Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Prepare to die! The only one dying is you.
impossible. Those two huge powers! They're both gone! What in the world is going on? <laughs> One way to find out. Goku, you're more than welcome to join me. What? what? How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So what do we do? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna follow him. Yeah, me too. I'm going to find out who this creep is. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. Um, so how do you know my dad? Well, I've only heard about him. I haven't had the privilege of actually meeting him yet. Oh, uh, really? So, hey, how do you know when Goku's coming back? Well, um, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. So, can I ask... You were a Super Saiyan when you beat Frieza earlier, weren't you? How did you do that? Unfortunately, I can't tell you that either. Sorry. What's your name? Uh, that too. You can't even tell us your name? Well, what about your age? I'm 17. So you can tell us your age? But that's all I can tell you. I really am sorry. Hmm. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You saved the Earth after all. It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. Huh? Goku! Dad! How'd you guys know I was gonna be here? This young man here clued us in. Who is he? Y you mean you don't know who this is at all? Nope, never seen him before. That reminds me, who took care of Frieza and the others? That was some crazy energy. We've got him to thank for that as well. He made quick work of them by becoming a Super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan? Goku, I need to speak with you. In private, if you don't mind. With me? Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, what's the big deal? You gonna keep us in the dark? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just hang tight for a bit, okay? Yeah. 
guess I'd better go talk to him. Okay, let's see what he has to say. I need to know something. Are you able to become a Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first, but I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan 2. Whoa! And I'd like you to fight me. And I won't go easy. Fine by me. Just as good as I'd heard. No, better even. Okay, I'll tell you everything. But please, it's important that you make sure not to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your secrets are safe with me. It might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm gonna be born two and a half years from now. But 
That's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now, on May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giraud. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh yeah, when I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giraud survived and continued his research. So what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. Wait, uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight, three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used. Meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The android's unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome, thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes, she's right over there. Whoa! Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's got to be the craziest. I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta, of all people. I mean, it just makes no sense. P please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, 
Well, I, uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we going to see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive! What a great new goal! Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years! Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku! We just saw that guy take off! Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey. Isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Uh, androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot! Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah, for a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. <laughs> That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called Instant Transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, Instant Transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? 
the androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at nine. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right, see you guys soon, or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first, right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I'd better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine, but don't waste too much of our time. Chi-Chi, I'm home. Hi, Mom. G Goku, H is that really you? <laughs> of course it's me. You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried. Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> what? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? No, uh, it's. I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on, let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Chi-Chi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi-Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses.
All right, since that's settled, let's go train. Goku! Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice. It's Kami. Yep, reading you loud and clear. How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies, but would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry, I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Wanna come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. All right, there it is. I think there was something off about Kami. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Lucky! Kami, Mr. Popo! Long time no see! I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh... If you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. I'd better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. Thank you. 
Goku! Kajirobi, what's up? Let me guess, you need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah, what is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. You shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy is so easy. Th that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. All right then, take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep, see you later. Well, Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. This is divine water, isn't it? Well, it's called that, but it's just normal water. I was supposed to take this from Corrin as part of my training. Man, that was tough. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him, he cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. Corrin does help me out a bunch with his sensu beans, so I should help him out once in a while. All right, this looks like it's it. I wonder what Yajirobe does up here all day. Train, maybe? Nah, he doesn't look like he trains. What's this? But he's definitely good with a sword. I remember when I first met him, he cut that monster clean in two. I bet he'd make a really strong fighter if he actually trained. Hmm? 
Something's there. Want a tango? I'll take you on. Found some tasty looking food. See why Yajirobe was reluctant to do this himself. Well, I can't complain. It's good exercise anyway. Check and check. I got what you wanted! Awesome! I knew you'd pull through, Goku! Just wait right there! Hey, Corrin, look! I got the stuff for you! You nincompoop! You can't pull one over on me! Goku's the one who got it! You're slower than a freaking sloth! Hey, where, weren't you sleeping? I was meditating, you idiot. All right, I've had it up to here with you. Let me teach you a thing. Your punishment will be very creative. Oh, come on, man. I appreciate the hard work, Goku. I'll split these sensu beans with you once they're ready. Thanks a million, Corrin. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Some trouble, Link. Best to deal with this now. I feel kind of bad. The whole time I've been gone, Piccolo's been looking after Gohan. He's even been training him. But it sounds like he really toughened him up. So I'm grateful for that. All right, time to train. about that. Now what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Go on. 
You and I are strong, too. Paper, scissors! Ah! You return a year just to make an entrance. Hey, you guys are pretty good. I'm impressed.
enough training for today. <laughs> Fine by me. Need to work harder. Man, you've gotten stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys train. Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at? There he is. There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? You'll see, Kakarot. 
I'm going to push myself further than you and become a Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan, whose power is far beyond yours. <laughs> Easy prey. I can think of no greater humiliation than constantly being in your shadow, Kakarot. I'll do whatever it takes to become stronger. Damn it. <laughs> Easy prey. On this rock, I got a business proposition for you. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman, too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die!
Utter waste of my time. I got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait here. All right, it's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity. So I'll have to triple that and train under 300 times gravity. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. That Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! Uh, Vegeta, what are you doing? Shut up, woman. Leave me be. Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? I... I am the Prince of the Saiyans! Sheesh. There's just no getting through to you, is there? You're insane! Have you been at it this whole time? <sighs> You're not going to make any progress if you keep this up. <laughs> Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I'd die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah, then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan Prince, right? I guess that settles it, then. Good luck! And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not Woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? D damn that woman! This place, this is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot, which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn that blasted woman! What the hell is her problem? You're about to leave the hard work. Effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. If that's your limit, then you're more disappointing than I thought. What the hell? Don't tell me this is all you've got. Oh, I'm only just getting started. Ha! Ha! Galaxy, 
got it. Tell me more of your power. You haven't used it all up, have you? You're in your crate. I have begun to tap into my power. Damn you. Prepare your spot. I will surpass even myself. I will punish myself for lagging behind Kakarot. Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You... You really know how to piss me off. Oh, come on. I was just messing around with you. More. Huh? You're right, it wasn't enough. You're going to make me a stronger opponent. Don't you take that tone with me. I'm going to get stronger and use that strength to crush those androids. You have a problem with that, Bulma? Fine. You're a real pain, you know that? Wait. He just called me Bulma for the first time, didn't he? I will surpass you. Just wait. You'll realize that I'm number one.
Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Hi, Mom. Man, we really worked up a sweat today. Goku, do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi, but can it wait? I'm starving. Don't you? I'm starving me. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? But Chi Chi, we don't have a car. And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. You need to get a driver's license. You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic. Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Then you need to go to driver's ed. Think of it as training to become normal everyday people. You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no. What? What do I have to? The next day, after catching an earful from Chi-Chi, Goku and Piccolo reluctantly made for town to enroll in driving school. Now then, shall we begin the driving lesson? <laughs> if this is how it's gonna be, then I'm all in. Listen up, Goku. Whether it's in battle or on the road, I'm not losing to you. All right, I get you. This is a different type of training. It's on, Piccolo! Um, there's no need to view this as a competition. Are you all right? I bet this thing can go even faster! 
<laughs> How was that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my! All right, looks like I'm the winner, Piccolo. Oh wow, who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku. Wait, I said wait. A license isn't some prize for bragging rights. It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly. Like I care about that. I will not accept defeat from the likes of him. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo. Come on, let's do this thing. Uh, excuse me? With pleasure. It's on, Goku! Oh yeah, Piccolo? Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Goku, so how'd it go? <laughs> Handled it like a complete pro. I beat Piccolo, no problem. <laughs> you what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually. There's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so, so you, you didn't actually pass the test? Well, well, at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test, and I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Thanks, Gigi. Y you Well, now that that's done... Let's get back to training! Yeah! M Mom? Whoa, Chi Chi! You alright? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku. I'm proud of you. Now all we need is a car. A car? Do we? Well, not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license. I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku. Oh, right. I see. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, why don't, why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. Good idea. Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that. Thank you. 
Goku. What brings you here? Well, it's not a big deal, but I was hoping you could help me with a little problem. Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Find me the stuff I need, and I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right, then. So what do you think we need? It's all on this list. Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent! Thanks a lot, Bulma! Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life! I'm home, Chi-Chi! Well, did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. Really? That's wonderful, Goku! Then you'd better get to finding those materials! I'm sure it'll be good training, too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try! All right, what should I do today? Dad! Mom's calling for you! Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least... <laughs> Fine. Goku? I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Oh yeah? Talk about a blast from the past! So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi! Just head over there and hear them out! Oh... Yeah, you're right. Guess I'll make my way over there. Be careful! Well, better get going, I guess.
Well, better get going, I guess. All right, not too much longer now. I wonder how Master Roshi and everyone are doing. Ah, there you are, Goku. Would you mind listening to what Launch has to say? Launch! It's been a while. Someone forget about you? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tien, all three eyes is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Being that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been back time and time again with no luck. Apparently, the oaf's out traveling the world, training. Hasn't been back since. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging ya. Hmm. What? You can sense energy, you dolt. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien. Tien. All right, got him. Hey, he's near my house. What? You found him? Already? Yep, if that's all, I'll be on my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet! I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll be quick. Sheesh! You try to be nice to people. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. All right. Goku, a rare pleasure. So someone asked me to find you and... Let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm actually done training here. But it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well, perhaps we can strike a deal. How's this sound? Let me test the results of my training. On you. Is that all? Shoot, I'd do that for free. <laughs> it's been far too long since we went toe to toe. Here I come. Yeah! 
Cease to amaze me. Likewise, Tien. You've gotten a lot stronger. Apparently not strong enough, but learning that is a milestone in itself. As promised, I'll wait for this mystery guest. Through my sparring with you, I discovered a few things I need to improve. I think I'll train here for a little while longer. Do you mind? Go for it, Tien! Thanks. By the way, who is it that wants to meet me? Oh, crap. I left that part out. It's launch. Uh, oh. You have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. But a promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet! Hey! I'm so glad you're back! Well, did you find Tien? Sure did. Listen up. So, just go to the place I told you about, and he'll be there waiting. Ah, uh, reunited at last! This has been a long time in the making. Thanks. Here, this is for you. I fixed some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks. You know me. I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you.
I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh? Go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. Interesting. I might have to give this thing a try now. We should have room for a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> Just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Hello? Um... Goodbye! Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training.
have no idea what to expect with these androids. But I really want to test my moves on them. Hi, Dad. Welcome back. Hey, buddy. Sorry I'm late. I see Piccolo's got you hard at work. Yeah, Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict. <laughs> I know. Glad to hear it. You're late. What have you been doing? Sorry. Ran into a few hitches. <laughs> but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against Tien. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. How's the training coming along, Goku? We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. It's probably nothing. Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. 
all except Goku, were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. The androids? Could be, but there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Th that's it! They're androids, which means we can't sense their energy. Y you're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, and we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know, got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go. Jeez, where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. Yep. I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. Talk about a pain. Trillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? me you're after, then show your faces already! Yep. Maybe one of the other guys found them. Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. Where are you? Come on, show yourselves! Tian Shenhan! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's gotta be some place we haven't thought to look. Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha? Y Yamcha! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death. Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go!
How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. But they know about all of us as well. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So, before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you. Goku, I have been observing you for quite some time now using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army, so that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giraud remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giraud himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giraud is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah?
Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. He absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks! They can absorb them with their hands! <sighs> absorb the attacks? <clears throat> Give me a break. <sighs> what? What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me. Not some junk puppets like you! Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Gohan! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the sensu bean. I've got more sensu beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. Somebody needs to get him out of here. And give him that heart medicine right away. I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us sayings. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power, and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror.
Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this!
I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going anywhere! I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplify Android Terror.
That android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. Etienne, got anything? No. I still haven't caught sight of him. Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. There's no sign of him having left this rocky area. He's more than likely hiding somewhere. Well now, this could be fun. Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! Gohan, you find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. <laughs> Go on! Androids! Get over here! Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead! <laughs> How did they find me? <laughs> Thanks, Gohan. Krillin, give Piccolo a Senzu bean! Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me at him. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Taking your energy. I will eliminate. I will eliminate. I will eliminate. I will be 
taking your Weakling like you hope to accomplish. I will eliminate you. Your energy is mine. Weakling like you hope to accomplish. I will eliminate you. Your energy is mine. I will eliminate 
androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Trunks? Trunks? Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So... Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, it's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what did they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army, that's crazy. That settles the matter then. 
We'll find the location of Dr. Giroux's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the Prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay. Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? Tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. Hurry, we've got to find that lab before the androids are activated. So if Android 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. If this Dr. Chiro built a lab in such a remote location, he must not like people very much. He wasn't exactly a well-respected scientist. No surprise there. Well, are we close to where the lab is? There it is, up ahead. over there! If this Dr. Giroux was working for the Red Ribbon Army, well then, he's definitely not a good guy. It's close. What just happened? <laughs> How dare you! I created you! You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. 
Do you hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not gonna follow a single one of your orders. We're just gonna take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one! What in the world is going on in there? Let's go! I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so, so those are the androids that Dr. Giroux was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least I haven't seen him in my time. So what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giroux? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giroux wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku! I couldn't give a damn about that! How dare they! How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Kill Kakarot? Ha! Don't make me laugh! They're going to pay for not recognizing my power! It's a highway, huh? Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours, it's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, Sixteen. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you alright? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and Eighteen are about to fight. So back off. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. 
I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. How do I guess since you're an android, you're not Out of my face! Let's go! Don't ah. underestimate me! much in you. Does that mean that that Goku guy is even stronger than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal. Either of you. How dare you? You're done! Let's go! You're done! Let's go! Ah! You're done! Ah! 
Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman. Now you've done it! Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Don't worry, they're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But, aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <gasps> See ya. Bye. I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win! Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. 
He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. Overdo it, huh? Yeah, of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? Uh, <laughs> I was, um, I was just wondering, um, these, uh, androids, uh, are they, uh, are they really as evil as you say that they are? They're heartless, bloodthirsty, unforgiving killing machines. At least in my time. Why do you ask? Yeah, um, I was just uh, hoping they might not be in our time, that's all. When it comes to these androids... Yeah, you're right. But, uh, you can't blame a guy for hoping, huh? <laughs> hey! Goku's house. Uh, hello? Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey. Chi Chi, uh, pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine. And now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. 
First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh no, that's not good! All right, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is. Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did, did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giraud tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. You know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Aw, oh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin? You're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, oh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss, and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might... 
might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Um, Trunks? Yeah? I, I was wondering, is... Is the future really all that bad? It is. Humanity has been reduced to only tens of thousands of people. That's terrible! See it like this. They look weak. No cause for concern. It should be in this area. Let's start looking. Trunks, that's it over there, isn't it? That's a time machine, all right. Hi, Bulma! Hey, you're both here! So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it... doing in the time machine? This is... some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here 
four years ago. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku and the others fought, were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this, it's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. <sighs> Wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just, I was wondering what that is. sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of... I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then, and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, hey! You guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then we'd better hurry up and get out of here! You guys are gonna be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, Filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio Android Fiend from the Future. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. I hope you're ready for this, Kami. Kami, I assume... That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. 
All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? What do you mean? Wait, is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. W what I shall ask you once more, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me! I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Well, Kami, 
Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right. I'm off. Ginger Tim. This thing that's killing all these people. Who or what could it possibly be? All right, monster. You're in trouble. It feels weird to be reunited with my other half. At the same time, it kind of feels right. Hmm. There aren't too many people left in or around Ginger Town. Damn that monster. Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> What's going on? I can sense Goku's energy from this creature, and Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. <laughs> 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 Hit! 
Why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Shiro created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Shiro again? Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow, and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? 
Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Trunks, what's he doing here? He used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well, but know this, Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So <laughs> No! He's gone! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Piccolo? Talk! What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here, too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here! Good. Here's what's going on. Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him. Or we need to find Androids 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. 
We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan! Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. Go beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? I'm guessing we can't just go back into the past and scrap the androids there, right? Right. It's likely that anything we do in that timeline won't affect this one. Man, there's no easy way out of this, huh? Dr. Giroux's computer and cell are down there somewhere. They look weak. No cause for concern. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Did it. Right. Now, Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now, we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Androids 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right. But sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot, at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck! Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father, Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma.
to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Giroux's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others, using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. A monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on, too? Great so. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> huh? Goku! Hey! Are you feeling better? Yeah. I'm all better now. Oh, thank goodness! Sorry to worry you, Chi-Chi. And you too, Master Roshi. Ah, we're just glad you're better. By the way, it looks like everyone left. Are they after that cell guy? Uh, yeah, but how did you know about him? I heard everyone talking while I was asleep. I think I got the gist of what's going on. Oh. I think I've got a train too. To fight? Uh, no way! You're in no shape to fight! You need more rest! Relax, guys. I'm not gonna fight anyone just yet. I mean, if Vegeta can't handle him, then there's no way I can. I'm gonna have to train and reach even higher levels. Higher than even Super Saiyan. Uh, a level even higher than Super Saiyan? Chi Chi, I, I want to take Gohan with me when I'm training. Is that okay with you? You're kidding, right? Oh, I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you if I say no. Fine. If you're going to train him, then make him strong. Thanks, Chi-Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. And you're going to get a job. You got it. Thank you. All right, time to go. If we approach Cell in this thing, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels, don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! <laughs> Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. You're back to 100% then? Yeah. But I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo! <laughs> You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm going to take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait. No one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. 
<laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. Where do you think Vegeta and Trunks are training? Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. Vegeta's energy! And Trunks! Yeah. Goku! So, how's your training going? Not very well. My father's treating me like an obstacle rather than a training partner. He's been like that for three days now. Just standing there. That's Vegeta for you. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably thinking about how to go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't bother me, Kakarot. Get lost. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a great place to train. It's called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. You can get a year's worth of training there in just one day. It's up at Kami's Lookout. Are you serious? Seriously, come with us. You don't have to train with me or anything if you don't want to. Just so you know, two people can use the room at once. So to save time, you're gonna have to go in with trunks. Fine, but we're going in first. Got it. Sure. I used the room once before when I was a lot younger. It was beyond brutal in there. I could only stay in there for about a month. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Please, let me train with you this time. I promise I won't hold you back. Do whatever you want. Man, you guys really don't get along, do you? So, we'd like to train in the hyperbolic time chamber. Is that okay with you? Very well. This way. The room comes equipped with a bath, toilet, bed, and food. Good luck to you. Are you sure you want me to train harder, Kakarot? My end goal is to take you out after all. It's probably going to take more than one of us to take this enemy down. Go for In the future, you may very well regret this. If it's okay, we'll head in first. Good luck, guys! And play nice.
It's so hot. It's kind of hard to breathe, and the increased gravity makes it hard to move. And there's nothing here. It's just empty white space. Good. This is all I need. I... I have to spend a year in here with my father? Hey, you did want to train with me, didn't you? Then let's see what I'm dealing with. Show me what you've got. Huh? Right. Come at me full force. Don't hold back. Out you're going easy on me just because I'm your father. No, it's not that. It's just... No matter who your opponent is, you come at them as if you intend to kill them, understand? You are a member of the proud warrior race of Saiyans. And on top of that, royal blood runs through your veins. My blood! I... I'm... not like you, father. <laughs> you coward. You're about to learn that nothing stands in my way! Oh, goody. It looks like I found my next meal. I'm coming for you, Android 17 and 18. Once I gather enough energy from these filthy humans, I will absorb the both of you. <laughs> and then, I will finally become the ultimate life form. <laughs> soon, soon I will be complete. <laughs> Almost a full day had passed since Vegeta and Trunks had entered the hyperbolic time chamber. The world is gripped with fear as the death toll has now reached several hundreds of thousands. There's no way that we're gonna find him. There's too many places for him to hide, you know? 
We're running out of time. Cell's powered himself up quite a bit already. Well, we might have to rely on Goku and the others for this. Let's just hope they can go beyond Super Saiyan. Hmm? What? Hey. Cell's fearsome evolution. Damn it. Why did it have to be now? So, is Goku here? He wasn't back at his place, so we thought he might be hiding here. Just beat it, would you? You're not going to find Goku here. Oh, then tell us where we can find him. Do you honestly think we're just going to tell you? Your choice. You can either tell us, or we can make you. Fine by me. There's a deserted island not too far from here. We'll settle it there. Man, you guys aren't making this easy on yourselves. Sorry, but you're going to stay right here. You'd only be getting in the way. Get... If I can manage to just take one of them out... If there's one thing to be happy about, it's that Cell still hasn't absorbed those two yet. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. shouldn't have made his way here yet. Now that I'm powered up thanks to my fusion with Kami, I might actually be able to do so. Well now, this could be fun. Hm. Looks like someone wants to die. Hm. Looks like someone wants to die. Whoa! This power is amazing! Whoa! The energy from this thing is incredible! That spot ought to do. What? Got nothing to say? I'll just have to kill you then. Fine. <laughs> this isn't going to be as easy as you think. Well, come at me already. What, you're the only one that's gonna fight? Of course. Why not? I'm more than enough to handle you. This could work. If I can scrap even just Android 17, Cell won't get his perfect body. Things might go well as long as he doesn't figure out how to power this Tactic! Now for the finisher! Terrify you! Terrify you! Terrify you! I just don't have enough weight behind them. Well, I'll you a little bit. Not bad. Durr! Why you? Hot! 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 Hot!
for the fear of honor! Goodbye, you! Now for the finish, here it comes! Now for the finish, here it comes! No way! Not bad! I'll find you! Not bad! I'll find you! Not bad! I'll find you! We might be evenly matched in power, but when it comes to stamina, you've lost. I've got infinite energy reserves, after all. <laughs> Cell! Damn it! I was so focused on the fight, I didn't realize he was on his way here! I'm so pleased that this day has finally come! The day I absorb Android 17 and 18 will be the day I achieve my ultimate form! What? You powered yourself up this much? Damn it. Just how many victims have you gone through? Victims? That is such a short-sighted perspective. I prefer to call them donors. They're the ones I have to thank for my power, after all. <laughs> Get out of here right now! He's going to absorb you, Seventeen! What? Absorb me? What are you talking about? I'll make it simple. That there is Cell, a monster that was created by Dr. Giroux's computer. But apparently is incomplete and needs to absorb you and Eighteen to achieve his final form. What? Rejoice, my fellow hand. Once I have absorbed you, your energy will feed my rise to true perfection. <laughs> I will finally evolve into what Dr. Giroux spent his life trying to achieve, the ultimate warrior! What are you talking about? You're looking at the ultimate warrior right here. Whether you desire it or not is irrelevant. You will be absorbed all the same. Having trouble shutting that mouth? Here, let me help. No! Get out of here, Seventeen! The enemy's power level far exceeds your own. <laughs> Jeez. You finally start talking. And you're just telling me to run away? Give me a break! Damn it! Yeah, uh, you're kidding me. Cell's power level is through the roof. That's it, isn't it? It's over. There's nothing we can do now. on the phone. Hello, Krillin? I figured it out. I know how to take the androids down. What? Really? Yeah. Androids 17 and 18 are equipped with emergency shutdown circuits. If you can activate those to immobilize them, they'll be sitting ducks. And I've already made a remote control that can do that. Uh, thanks, Bulma. Can you bring that thing here? One step ahead of you. I'm already on my way and I'll be there soon. Awesome! You're the best! I'm going to go help Piccolo. I might not be able to do much, but it's better than doing nothing here. Your nose, Ian! Wait! Come back! 
There's nothing I can do. I feel so powerless. I sure do miss the days of being the world's greatest martial artist. So this is the remote control, huh? Remember, you need to be within about 10 yards for it to work. And that's not all. I've prepared battle outfits like Vegeta's for everyone. Goku and the guys could use those. They're at Kami's lookout. Could you take them there? Sure thing. Good luck, Krillin. Make sure you blow those androids to pieces. Blow them to pieces? Huh. <laughs> this freak's more powerful than I thought. You bore me. Are we done playing around? Get. with just one attack? I, I can't believe it. He's just too powerful. There's nothing I can do. It's hopeless. Maybe. Maybe we should try to get out of here while we can. You should leave. I will stay and destroy Cell. Stay behind and destroy Cell? Are you crazy? He'll kill you in an instant! You are good people. You did not harm innocent humans or animals. I have enjoyed our time together. So, Sixteen was hiding this kind of power all along. No! You must leave this place. Hurry! He is still alive! You're joking, right? I'm not just gonna run away without giving that monster his just desserts. If anyone's gonna finish you off, it's me. Come on, show yourself! D Looking for me? Here I am. No! No! <laughs> I might not survive this. You're a fool if you think I'm just going to let you get away. My speed is even more impressive than I thought was possible. And I have Android 17 to thank for it. He wasn't a waste after all. Now, let's check my power, shall we? Six! 
16! Don't worry, Android 18. I haven't forgotten about you. It's time to create perfection. Hmm. Neo Tribeam! Ha! <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of here! Stop this now! You're gonna die if you keep firing tri-beams, Tien! Give up before it's too late and get out of there! <laughs> Hang in there, Tien! They're still alive! <sighs> Fools! I will not be stopped by a weak, pathetic fool like Tien! Goku... So you're Cell! Wait! That energy! Piccolo's still alive! I don't know what you're doing here. But I'm not letting you get away. This is a serious energy. Here goes!
Man and Piccolo out of here right now! Where'd he go? How did he move that fast? There's no way around it. I'm no match for you, I know that. But give me just one day. Do it, and I'll give you a good fight. I promise you that. <laughs> You've got to be joking. What do you think that you could possibly accomplish in just one day? You gotta hang in there for me, you two. I'll get you guys some sensu beans once we're back at Kami's lookout. Leaving so soon? I don't think... <laughs> he's, he's gone. That's an interesting technique Goku is using. When did he learn that, I wonder? As soon as I get my hands on Android 18, he will be of no concern. Now that pile of scrap 16 and her couldn't have gotten very far. Cell has reached untouchable levels of power. Nothing can stop him now. Hey, everyone! Vegeta and Trunks are coming out of the hyperbolic time chamber. Really? Hey, everyone. Sorry for the wait. My father broke through the Super Saiyan barrier in about two months. But he still wouldn't... Trunks, that's enough now. Sounds like you did it, Vegeta. You could say that. You can go in next if you want to, but it would only be a waste of your time. I'm more than enough to clean up this mess. Cell and the androids don't stand a chance. Well, I went down and fought Cell myself. He's super strong now, a real monster. you are. Krillin said you'd all be here. Huh? Wait, what's going on here? Trunks, is that you? Uh, yes. What's with your hair? Are you wearing a wig or something? There's... There's this room here where one year passes inside while just one day passes out here. Father and I were training in there. Oh... What the hell are you doing here, Bulma? Here. Vegeta's battle suit has great defensive properties. So, I made some for everyone. Whoa! This stuff's a lot lighter than it looks. Did you not hear me, Kakarot? Your services aren't required. Because you're gonna beat Cell, right? I heard ya. That's fine by me. All right, Gohan. Time for some quality father-son training. Right. Be warned. Training in the chambers, no cakewalk, Gohan. Uh, I'm ready.
training to surpass Super Saiyan. Wow, it's nothing but white space. My body feels heavy, and it's so hot I can barely breathe. That's not all. This place is as big as the Earth itself. Get lost out there and you're a goner. Be careful. So, we're gonna spend a year in here? Let's get right into it. After all, it's not like we're here on vacation. First things first, we're gonna make you a Super Saiyan. Me? A, a Super Saiyan? I don't know if I have what it takes. Of course you do. Don't forget that you got Saiyan blood running through your whole body. All that said, any real type of training we need to do isn't gonna happen until you're a Super Saiyan. Aren't I just gonna waste your time and, and get in your way? Well, yeah, at first. But don't get me wrong. I'm planning on going completely beyond Super Saiyan when the time is right. I've got plans for you, too. I want you to get even stronger than that. I know you can do it. What? Me? Stronger than you? Yep. If anyone can do that, it's you. Man, I... I hope I can. <laughs> Relax! It's gonna take some time, so no rush. We'll take it nice and slow at first. Now that's enough talking. Let's get warmed up. This may be just a warm up, but don't go easy on it, okay? Okay. Yeah! <laughs> 
hard to fight in a place like this. It is. But your techniques and movements are pretty great. I'm betting you've got Piccolo to thank for all that. <laughs> Guess that means we can move straight on to Super Saiyan training. What do you say? <laughs> yeah. doing is raising your energy. That's not enough. You need to get angry to become a Super Saiyan. Get angry! Let out all your rage! I'm trying. I can't get angry, though. It's not gonna come to you right away, and that's okay. Me and Vegeta had to go through a lot before we got it. There's no need to rush, Gohan. R right. All right, time to go. I'm coming too. Very well. Find Cell. Keep your hands off him. He's mine. Hmm. I don't see 18 anywhere. She's got to be hiding somewhere on one of these islands. Very well. Listen up, 18. You better make your presence known. If you don't, I'm going to start destroying these islands one at a time until I find you. So she won't come out. She's not making this easy. You, you're Vegeta. So, your cell. That's... Vegeta! And what is it that you think you're doing here? Don't tell me you think you can stop me! I didn't come here to stop you. I came here to tear you limb from limb! Tear me limb from limb, you? <laughs> That's hilarious! Oh, but I'm getting so tired of hearing you talk. <laughs> Take a good long look, Cell. I'm going to beat that stupid grin right off that annoying face of yours. Yeah! 
I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? <laughs> How is this happening? You're Vegeta, right? I mean, Vegeta? Wrong. I am Super Vegeta! Oh, that power level is huge! Uh, amazing! So that's the new and improved Vegeta, huh? So, is Trunks that strong too? I don't see Goku or Gohan anywhere. Uh, it's the androids! They were here the whole time?! Cell, Vegeta, Trunks, they don't know they're here, do they? Uh, I've got to be within ten yards of them for the remote control to work. Uh, here goes nothing. You've used up all your power, and still you couldn't muster the strength to fight me. Very disappointing. Oh, this can't be... <laughs> this can't be happening! If, if I could only gain the energy I need to fight you with my perfect body! What's that? You actually think getting that perfect body of yours would be enough to defeat me? <laughs> of course! I wouldn't lose to the likes of you! <sighs> okay. Uh, now, I should be within ten yards of them. Uh, I gotta make sure I shut 18 down, then destroy her. Otherwise, Cell's going to absorb her. This is my only shot. Better make it count. See ya. Shutdown remote control. Why does he have that? Uh, sorry, Bulba. Huh? 
Go on, get out of here while you still can. Avoid Cell and live your life! Why did you... Why did you destroy that? That was your only chance! It's... Uh... If I could achieve my perfect form... Power, speed, technique, intelligence... I would be perfect in every way! The computer told me as much! Is this true? Could achieving this perfect form of yours actually close the gap between us? How many times are you gonna make me repeat myself? You... you would have no hope of defeating me. At least not as you are right now. Hmm... Uh, father, don't tell me you're... You say and say you're warriors through and through. I would think you'd want to at least test your metal against my perfect form. Fine, I'll fall for your little ruse. Go ahead and get this perfect form you've been babbling on about. Go on! Father! <laughs> My father may be willing to let you go, but I'm not! Hey, Vegeta! Do something about this guy, would ya? Huh? It's Tatine. So she was hiding there the whole time. <laughs> I'm so close to perfection, I can taste it. Father, what you're doing is wrong. We can't let him absorb 18. <laughs> Where's your sense of pride? Don't you want to see how much stronger he can get? No. I've seen enough bloodshed and destruction in my future. My eyes! No! Stop! Eighteen! No! We're finally going to see this perfection of his. It better not disappoint, that's for sure. No! He's... So there it is. Cell had finally absorbed Android 18 and achieved his perfect form. In a fit of rage, Krillin launched himself at Cell, but was effortlessly sidelined by Cell's newfound strength. Krillin, having been brought back from the brink of death thanks to a Senzu bean from Trunks, was overwhelmed by the power of Cell's perfect form. Vegeta, excited by the prospect of fighting a more worthy opponent, taunted Cell into continuing their fight. Cell calmly accepted Vegeta's challenge and prepared to engage him in battle once more. Achieving Perfection. <laughs> Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. The 
From the looks of it, this perfect form of yours doesn't seem like it was worth the wait. Is that so? <laughs> This gap between us you've mentioned is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> Whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I get that, but still! If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you've got left. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell. Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin, take my father and get him out of here. Right, you got it. Trunks' power level is taking a massive dive! Cell's power level is through the roof! Uh, did he overpower Trunks? Uh, not good! Vegeta! Come on, Vegeta, wake up! But I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. 
If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. A... a tournament? Let's make it... Mm, ten days from now. Say, twelve o'clock? That should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. Uh, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time, and if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me, and then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules, and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell! What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness, and plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits, destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is... to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. Ah! <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us. Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way. I will be the one to enter that room and finish this! Uh -huh. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please, take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay. I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin. Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. Gohan, you've gotten so much stronger than I thought you would. It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. You've got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? 
Yep. Come at me with everything you've got. And don't hold back. Try your... Well... I can't do that. Come on, Gohan. Let's see what you've got. Show me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Not too shabby, Gohan. Now it's my turn. to learn to control your power. I think so, too. Yeah. Try this! Incredible. Don't ever forget what that felt like. Right. Uh, but, Dad, we're probably gonna need more time before we go beyond Super Saiyan, don't you think? I mean, come on. I just learned how to become one. So I have no clue what I would even do to go further than that. I think I just might know what to do about that. Huh? We just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What are you staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. Do you understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. 
I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, uh, okay. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose, as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long-forgotten memory. Damn that Cell! This is just a game to him? No way! I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone! If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth. And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. He looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait. Something is different. They seem... calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh... Right. Here's what happened. The Cell Games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo! You still got my uniform? Oh, yes. I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo? I'd like some new clothes, too. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo! So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? 
Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. Hmm. There we go. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person, got it? We're gonna have a great match. Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not gonna be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah. Me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well. Look at that! Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you, Gohan. Let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games Tournament. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. 
Goku! I need you to come back to the house! Huh? Chi-Chi? Yep, there's no place like home. Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. Time to get collecting. Fought the Red Ribbon Army not too far away from here. I need to hurry and gather ingredients. <laughs> All right. Looks pretty tasty. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, get a load of that. <laughs> this one looks pretty tasty. All right.
against me now! need to catch some fish next. I hope this brings me closer to my dad. All right. Looks pretty tasty. All right. Enough fish. Great. This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. All right, happy hunting.
Titi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. <laughs> Can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I'll fix this something nice, so hold your horses. Ta-da! Finished. Oh, wow! It smells delicious. I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man, I can't wait! You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going! All right. It's been ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun! I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier! Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hey, Goku, remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Boncho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? Ah. <sighs> Such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry, I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so, shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan. Hmm. What should I do now? Hey, someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks! Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Got it. I'll have these in a jiffy. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. 
isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. This must be what Bulma was talking about. to take this back to Capsule Core. Everything? Looks like it. Great work, Gohan. I really appreciate it. All that's left is to build the chip. Uh, uh, hey, what's with that look? Uh, are you really Gohan? I am. Honest. Uh, it's a long story. I'll bet. I mean, look at you. your father's son, and Saiyans are weird, so I guess this isn't out of the question. No use applying logic to you guys, anyway. She's being surprisingly calm about all this. I guess living with Vegeta's kinda numbed her. Thanks for being my delivery boy. You're the best. Uh, you're welcome. And sorry I surprised you. By the way, now that you're here, do you want to watch me fix the android up? I'm pretty sure he's safe, but you know, you can't be too careful. So do you mind staying for a bit? Oh, uh, no problem. So, this is an android. These things were built to kill Dad. There we go. It's done? Mm-hmm. Almost. 
The chip you helped us build was successfully integrated. It may be tiny, but it's what gives the android life. Now, we stick it in the cranial chamber here and... <laughs> Voila! Mm. Analyzing situation. He's online. Uh, hey, you! Got a name? I am Android 16. Scanning memory logs. I was brought here by Krillin for repairs. His memory circuits are functional. Oh, good. He's back! You did it, guys! Are you the ones who repaired me? I am grateful. Oh, <laughs> no need to mention it. If you want to thank someone, thank Gohan here. After all, he helped us fix you. Gohan. H Hello? Searching. Data profile found. Gohan, son of Goku. Hey now, mister. Just because he's Goku's son doesn't mean you have to terminate him. He is irrelevant. My target is Goku, not his offspring. That's so. Okay, I guess I can live with that. Mm. He's staring at me. Why? Doctor. Yes? I wish to run a field test in the nearby forest to gauge this body's functionality. Hmm, well, I don't see a problem with that. Come with me, Gohan. Your assistance may be required. Uh, really? Um, okay. Sorry, kid, but humor him. He should be all right. But we just restarted his systems, and you never know what could happen. Sh sure thing. I will go on ahead. Find me in the forest. Counting on you, Junior. R right. How's that body of yours? Mm. Satisfactory. Diagnostics indicate 100% functionality. I'm glad to hear that. Um. Animals? Affirmative. 
they put me at ease. I like animals too. All sorts of things interest me, actually. I'm hoping to be a scholar someday. A fine goal. I am certain you will make an exemplary scholar. By the way, are you really out to k kill my dad? Affirmative. That is my only directive. I have no other use. As a result, I was declared defective and stored away. Huh? I loathe conflict. Therefore, as a weapon, I am defective. That's no reason to shut you down. Dr. Giraud once said, he made me in the image of his deceased son. But he was bold and daring. I am not. A war machine that shuns war is nothing but a failure. D don't say that. It's the truth. Ha <laughs> ha! So this is where all them cuddly critters been hiding. H who are you people? They're just folks looking to make a gosh darn fortune off of pelts. What? <laughs> Looks like we hit the jackpot. Can't believe we fight all these furs in one spot. They're poachers. Go on. Way ahead of you. Let's send these jerks packing. Neutralized. Yeah. Go on. I am grateful for your assistance in protecting the animals. As well as for assisting with my repairs. My apologies for not thanking you sooner. Oh, it's no big deal. Hmm. <sighs> The real reason I asked you to accompany me is a discrepancy between my data and your current appearance. I intended to personally reevaluate your potential in combat, but thanks to the altercation with the poachers, there is no longer such a need. Your power is immense. It far surpasses all your records in my system. I foresee you becoming the deciding factor in the outcome of the Cell Games. Me? But 
My dad's way stronger. <laughs> we are not so different, you and I. We aren't? Let us return for now. The doctor will be worried if we take too long. Right. Let's head back. How are Sixteen and I alike? How'd it go? Exceptional. I am fully operational thanks to you. <laughs> nice job out there, boys. I heard you rounded up some poachers. Bet you socked him something fierce, huh? What morons going up against the son of Goku and a giant android, ha! <laughs> it was nothing, really. <clears throat> I know! Why don't you stay for dinner? It's the least I can do to repay you for your help today. Honestly, I haven't done anything. Ah, oh, don't be silly. Make yourself at home and spend the night while you're at it. I'll phone your mother for you, okay? Okay, sure. Oh! So, Gohan's at Bulma's? I was wondering where he'd run off to. Yep, she just called and said he's staying the night, too. Her family's loaded. Gohan's probably having the feast of his life right now. Aren't you jealous, Goku? Well, sure. I love myself some good grub. But nothing beats your home-cooked meals. And if we're being honest, I'd choose them over any spread in the world. Really? Thanks. Even if it's just flattery. Uh, oh, I'm getting so embarrassed. Shortly after Gohan had returned home. We've just received breaking news. After having been dispatched to defeat the monster known as Cell, the Royal Guard has been utterly decimated due to one of Cell's attacks. I repeat. H how terrible! Those were innocent people. <clears throat> that monster! <clears throat> Chi-Chi, I need to talk to Piccolo about something. I'll be right back. Goku! And he's gone. What does he need to talk to Piccolo about? I I'm not sure. Yo! Goku, what is it? You don't think you'd be able to go back to how you used to be before merging with Kami, do you? What? 
Well, merging with Kami made the Dragon Balls disappear, right? And I want to use the Dragon Balls to wish all the people back who were killed by Cell. Sorry, but it's not like flipping a switch. We're stuck together forever. Exactly why I needed to think so long and hard about it before coming to a decision. Wow. That must have been a tough call. Hmm. I know. Maybe I could ask one of the Namekian survivors to come to Earth. If he agrees to stay here, we'd have a new guardian. And you know what that means? The Dragon Balls would come back, baby! That's a wonderful idea. Wait here. Fingers crossed. With King Kai's assistance, Goku managed to zero in on the Namekian survivor's new home world. Upon arriving via instant transmission, Goku was given a hero's welcome by the planet's residents. Goku explained Earth's predicament and asked the new Grand Elder Mori if he knew any candidates suited to becoming Earth's new guardian. As luck would have it, Mori knew just the person for the job. It was none other than... Dende! Piccolo! It's been too long! Wait one sec! I'll have Gohan and Krillin here in a jiffy! Let's see... What? <laughs> Guys, meet Earth's new guardian! Uh, is that really you, Dende? It's been ages! Hey, can you believe Blondie here is actually Gohan? Krillin, go on! It's great to see you two! Are... are you really gonna be the new guardian? That's right! I'm really glad our paths could cross again. Dende, is it true that you can restore the Dragon Balls? Yes, I can. Making a new set would take about a hundred days. But if we use the inert set already on Earth, I should be able to have them working in no time. Really? That's perfect! We would then get three wishes, right? Same as on Namek? Yes! So, would we be able to wish back multiple people like last time? I... suppose that could be possible. I mean, I'd have to make the proper adjustments. But if you did that, it would count as two wishes. Oh? Is that all? Fine by me. Let's do it. All right, I'll begin right away. The Dragon Ball should be restored now. Wait, what? Already? Incredible. Looks like this little guy has some serious power. All right, I'll round up all the Dragon Balls then. Gohan, consider your training complete. Kick back with Dende until the Cell games start. Huh? But... Hey, don't worry. It'll be fine. Later. Well, time to get looking.
Whoa! This one seems pretty tough. Yeah! You Stars. It's the seven star Dragon Ball. There's one. Wow, Dende was right. Star Dragon Ball. All right. One star Dragon Ball.
two-star Dragon Ball. The village over there looks like it's got some shops. The Four Star Dragon Ball. Boy, am I glad to see this. Even though we knew the androids were coming, we still couldn't stop them. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Looking at this mango is making my mouth water! Just looking at this mango is making my mouth water! Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Whoa! This thing looks pretty rare! This is great! <laughs> we got a keeper! Found some tasty looking food! This one's got one, 
two, three, six stars. Cause some trouble lately. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble lately. Best to deal with this now. Looking at this mango is making my mouth water! Found the three-star Dragon Ball! And that makes all seven! Whew! I was kinda hoping to do this without the Dragon Balls, but Cell's way too strong for that. I'm not powerful enough to beat Cell on my own. This way, we'll have a backup plan if something goes wrong. Looks like they're back in working order. I'll say. Thanks, Dende. Just to be on... Yeah! So, are you ready for... That's great! Good luck! Everyone was focused on the fight ahead, and before they knew it, the fated day of May 26th had finally arrived. All right, time to go. Don't you dare die on me, Goku! Don't worry, I won't, Chi-Chi. And my little Gohan better not fight! What? Well, uh, um... Promise me, Goku! Promise me Gohan won't fight! Look at the time. Bye! Hey! My little Gohan's going to fight. I can feel it. Hey! There you are. It's almost time. Wait, where's Vegeta? Don't tell me. Is he in the hyperbolic time chamber again? He went on ahead of us. Gotcha. Man, he's really raring to go. Uh, yeah. Well... Whoa, why is everyone so down in the dumps? Goku, 
We've got some bad news. We can bring back a lot of people at once using just one wish with the Dragon Balls. Just like before, we can't bring back anybody that's died once already. I'm sorry. I should have told you sooner. What? That's all? Relax, Dende. We just won't die. It's as simple as that. W won't die? Uh... You do know that we're up against Cell, right? Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's get going. We're gonna be late. How are you this calm? You're starting to freak me out. Come on. You want to get left behind? So, are you coming too, Krillin? Uh, yeah. Only 20 minutes left until the Cell games begin and the fate of the planet is decided. Cell can be seen standing motionless in the center of the ring. The vile monster, Cell, is threatening to wipe out all of humanity. Only one man can stand against such evil. The World Martial Arts Champion, Mr. Satan! That's right, Mr. Satan has come to save us from certain doom! Listen up there, Cell. I got you all figured out. You use a bunch of light shows and trick bombs to destroy the city and the military. But let me tell you, those toys won't work on me. <laughs> Who is this clown? Vegeta, I'm surprised you've got the guts to come here and show your face. <laughs> well, looky here. You're still alive. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like you've had a little bit of work done. They flew too, right? Just another trick, that's all. Do you think we can really beat Cell? Beats me. Won't know until I fight it. Hey, uh, Gohan. Has your dad got something up his sleeve? Not sure. If he does, he hasn't told me. You're finally here. I've been waiting for you, Goku. I've been waiting. The Cell Games begin. That should be everyone. Welcome! They all... they all just flew, didn't they? <laughs> I guess uh, uh, that trick's uh, pretty popular these days. Sixteen! Looks like you're back in working order! I owe you my thanks, Krillin. And you too, Gohan. Glad to see you're better now, Sixteen. Let's give it our best! Goku, I was created with the sole purpose of killing you. 
Do not forget this. Man, this guy's nothing but gloom and doom. It's time. Let us begin. I don't care who's first. As the World Martial Arts Champion, naturally that would be me. That guy? He's dead meat. I say we let him go for it. If, uh, well, when he dies, we'll just bring him back with the Dragon Balls. Jeez, guess we're gonna have to. This is it, folks! The battle to protect the planet is finally underway! The Cell Games have begun! Take this! And that! Oh, you're irritating. <laughs> Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan has been knocked out of the ring! He's lost the match! Well then, let's begin the Cell Games, shall we? M mr Satan... lost? But 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 how I, uh, I just lost my footing. I'm gonna take a break, uh, and then I'm gonna mess him up real good. He still doesn't have the slightest clue what he's dealing with. World champion my ass. So, who's first? Well, I guess I'll go first if that's okay. Well, well. In the interest of transparency, I was hoping to save you for the end. Bring it!
warm up here, shall we? Fine by me.
with you. I must say I'm rather impressed. I wasn't expecting to have this much fun. <sighs> you better eat one of those sensu beans, Goku. I'm having way too much fun to stop now. If we give Goku a sensu bean and all of us team up on Cell, we can take him down. That's enough, Trunks. You don't have any pride as a Saiyan, do you? And you don't know him at all. He would rather die than beat his opponent in such a way. But if we just let this go on... He can do it. I'm certain of it. I hate to admit it, but no matter what I do, I couldn't go beyond Kakarot's level. He's some sort of genius. But even as powerful as he is, Cell is still one step ahead of him. So what are we supposed to do? He's got something planned, I can tell. Let's just find out what that is. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? I don't want the fun to stop here. You win. I'm dropping out. I've got a good idea how strong you are now, so... I think I'm done now. What? What? He's forfeiting the match? What? What the hell is he thinking? Goku, you do know what you're saying, don't you? You do realize that once you've run out of people to fight me, every last person on the planet will have breathed their last breath. You got the wrong idea. You still have plenty of people to go up against. Can I choose who goes next? Would that be okay with you? Are you seriously going to forfeit? I got a feeling about this next match. It'll probably be the last one. If your next opponent can't beat you, then it's safe to say that nobody can. But just based on what I was able to learn while fighting you myself, I'm pretty confident this guy will have no trouble taking you down. What? Get it now? That's why I'm fine with dropping out of this thing. <laughs> All right, you've piqued my interest. Just who is this mythical fighter you won't stop going on about? The next one up to fight Cell is... He is the only one who's capable of taking down Cell. Dad? All right, Gohan. You're up! What? Huh? Wh what did he just say? Gohan, you ready? You... you want me to fight Cell? Goku, you're being completely ridiculous. If you couldn't handle Cell, then what makes you think Gohan can? Gohan's hiding way more power than any of us realize. It's downright unreal, you guys. He started tapping into that power while in the hyperbolic time chamber. I never could have imagined this. Here, you gotta check this out. So you know I've gotta ask, Gohan. Did you have any trouble keeping up with my fight with Cell earlier? Well, no, but that's because you two weren't fighting at full power, right? I can't speak for Cell, but me? I was fighting at my full power. But it seemed like I was holding back to you, am I right? <clears throat> Gohan, is that true? Y yeah. <laughs> Do it, Gohan. You want to be a scholar, don't you? Then save the world, otherwise you'll never get the chance to become one. Uh, okay. I'll do what I can. So I'm going to fight Cell. Yep. 
Well, well, if it isn't Gohan. That's Gohan? A calm and reserved Gohan? How in the hell did that little brat increase his power by so much? I can't believe it! Hmm. It seems like your father wasn't bluffing about your power after all. But I'm afraid you still don't have what it takes to defeat me, Gohan. Prepare to die! You're up against me! I can follow Cell. So.
This is surprising. You're tougher than I thought you would be. P please please stop. I, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to kill anyone, even a bad guy like you. <laughs> you! Kill me! That is some kind of joke. Now I've heard everything. I was told that ever since I was a little kid, I'd release an unbelievable amount of power whenever I got angry. That's why my dad thinks I can beat you. He's probably begging on me getting angry. Do you really think that little bedtime story is going to scare me? If anything, it just makes me want to kill you by whatever means necessary. Hurts, doesn't it? Is it enough to make you cry? You don't want to die like this, do you, Gohan? Goku! Gohan needs help. I'm going in! Wait, Piccolo. We just need to wait for him to get angry enough. If we want to beat Cell, we need Gohan at his full power. And his anger is the key to everything here. That's where you're wrong, Goku. Can't you see Gohan isn't like you? He doesn't like fighting. Do you have any idea what he's thinking right now? He isn't angry at all. Gohan's over there wondering why his father isn't stepping in to save his life. It doesn't matter that he may very well be the most powerful fighter out of all of us. He's just a kid. Uh, Krillin, give me a sensu bean. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. It's so stubborn. It seems your own pain isn't enough to push you over the edge. What's it gonna take, kid? I wonder, what about the pain of your friends and loved ones? Wh what are you gonna do? I'm ready to do whatever it takes to anger you and draw out that true power of yours. <laughs> My apologies for getting you involved. I will self-destruct and take Cell with me. Even you can't recover from a blast at this distance. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Why? Why did I not explode? Uh. Because you can't, 16? Well, you see, when he was repairing you at the Capsule Corporation, uh, Dr. Brief found a huge, uh, bomb inside of your body. He... he said it was too dangerous to leave in, so he removed it. <coughs> <laughs> Too bad, Android 16. <laughs> and now it's your turn. Wait, what are those things? Go forth, my little Cell Juniors! Make Goku and his friends suffer in pain! Watch out, guys! These things are scary strong! Be careful! 
You have to stay on your toes or it's game over. <laughs> Now or never! You messed with the wrong guy! Stop! Stop! 
I didn't think things would end up like this. S stop it! I said stop it! Playtime's over, my little babies. Time to finish the job! Kill them! Kill them all! They're... they're all gonna die! If I'm really hiding a lot of power... And I want to unleash it! But... but how do I get angry enough to tap into that power? What? What's going on? Things aren't looking too good. Perhaps... perhaps we should fall back. <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> Before you retreat, please take me to the child over there. I... I beg you, please do it for the Earth. Uh, are you crazy? You see who's right next to the kid, don't you? It's Sal! You... you... you want to help, do you not? I know you do. You are the World Martial Arts Champion, after all. Oh, but Mr. Satan is the champion of the people, not monsters like... like you! All right, I'll do it! Don't do it, Mr. Satan! You'll be killed! Put a sock in! Uh, I don't know these guys, but they're giving it everything they got. A true champion can't just turn tail and run away. So, uh, I just need to get you close, right? Yes, thank you. Man, it's scary out here. You can throw me once you are close enough. Huh? You, you serious? Uh, here goes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Android sixteen. Go on. It is not a sin to fight <clears throat> for what is right. <clears throat> Give in to your anger. Let it flow through you. <clears throat> There's no need <clears throat> to hold it in any longer. The plants <clears throat> and animals that I love. <clears throat> Please, protect them. I'm counting on you. You've prattled on long enough. 
you factory defect. confident, aren't we? Then please, allow me to show you just how terrifying my true power is. Is that all you've got? for you now. This can't be! This is not gonna happen! What? What is he up to? 
Not good! You finished! In about one minute, I'm going to explode! If I'm going down, then I'm taking you all with me! You and the entire planet! What? Well, did he just say he's going to explode? I won't let you! You better watch it. <laughs> Hit me and I explode! <laughs> Only 30 seconds left! No! No! What are we gonna do? We gotta do something! There's nothing we can do. We're done for. Just ten seconds left. <laughs> well, I guess this is the only option we've got left. I can't really think of any other way to save the Earth. Uh, Goku, wait. Uh, what are you doing? Later, you guys. Go on. You did great. I'm so proud of you. D Dad! Tell your mom something for me. Tell her I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, King Kai. This was the only place I could think of to bring him! It's gone. Goku's energy is gone. Where'd he go? Where's Cell? It's over. You and your dad did it. Good work, Gohan. But... but... my dad! Your dad did what he did with a smile on his face. He was proud of how much you've grown. Come on. Gohan, let's head... This power! It's him! Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I hit trunks. You're probably wondering why I'm still alive. Allow me to explain. I have a small mass inside of me. As long as that mass remains intact, my body can continue to regenerate. Once regenerated, I not only regain my perfect form, but my power also increases, not unlike Gohan's. This must be due in part to the Saiyan cells I possess and their impressive ability to increase one's strength and resilience with every near-death experience I have. I was also able to learn Goku's instant transmission, which, I suppose, makes me even more perfect than, well, perfect. You see, Goku thought he beat me, but instead, <laughs> he's only made me stronger. You... you're going to pay for what you did to Trunks! Hmm? You're dead! No! Vegeta!
<laughs> so much for the Prince of Saiyans. You're next, Gohan.
Goodbye, Vegeta. <laughs> this little game ends here.
amounts of power you've got into that Kamehameha, just like Cell's doing! You can do this, Gohan! You have the power! But... But... I can only... use one arm, and I'm not even at full power! You'll be fine! You can still win! Believe in yourself, Gohan! Release it! Release everything! Give him all you've got! Show me, Gohan! Show me our combined power! I... will... This is the end for you, Gohan! Oh, that was incredible, Gohan! You did it! I can't believe it! Cell's gone! We're saved! Well, we don't have any sensu beans, but Dende will fix them up in no time! Let's get him to Dende! All right, let's go! Hey, Vegeta, you need a hand? I don't need your help, understand? You better stay away from me! <laughs> Fine. That's it. Kakarot and his kid are finally out of reach. Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you die on me and in such a pathetic way! I'm... I'm done fighting. <laughs> what the... What are those guys? Mr. Satan! What? Where is Cell? Huh? Uh... uh Cell? Uh, well, uh... Uh, he's, uh, uh, he's gone. Uh, yeah, uh, I beat him. What? Well, those freaks are just uh, prancing around with their flashy magic tricks. So I told them uh, enough was enough, uh, you know, and uh, I went in there and uh, I showed Cell who's boss. Oh, but where are the others? Uh, they uh, <laughs> thanked me and, uh, and they went home. Incredible! So, so you mean the Earth has been saved from Cell's reign of terror? Well, that's right! <laughs> you heard it here first, folks! Earth! Earth has been saved! And it's all thanks to our hero, Mr. Satan!
It's okay. You're at Kami's lookout. It's over. Gohan took care of Perfect Cell. Everything's gonna be all right. Gohan? Yeah, he was unbelievably strong. Even you wouldn't be able to touch him. You owe Krillin your thanks. He risked his life to save you once Cell spit you out. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I... Uh, I couldn't have just left you there. Oh, I think I get it! You like her, don't you, Krillin? You like 18! Don't blurt it out like that! <laughs> so what, little man? You want me to hold your hand or something? Is that what you want? Hey, what's your problem? Is there any way to treat the guy that saved your life? Huh? Calm down, Yamcha. We need to focus. We have to get all the Dragon Balls and use them to revive Trunks and everyone else who was killed. Uh, right. Uh... Why did it get dark all of a sudden? Uh, what is that? Uh, please bring back all the people who were killed by Cell! Hmm. <laughs> Consider it done. Uh, 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 wh where am I? Interesting. I still can't sense Goku's energy. State your second wish. Wait, wait! Can't you bring back Goku? I'm afraid not. Goku has already been brought back from the dead once before. State another wish. Well, there you go. He can't do it. No. There's got to be a way. We can figure this out. Hey, hey guys, guys! It's me, it's Goku. Goku! Goku? I'm, I'm talking, talking to you from, from Otherworld. Other Listen up. So, I was talking to Bulma earlier, and she mentioned the fact that I've always got all these bad guys coming after me. And when you really think about it, it sucks how right she is. All that's to say, I think it's probably better for the Earth if I just stay here. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make a heroic sacrifice or anything. I'm actually getting some special treatment here because I saved the Earth so many times. Normally when you die, you turn into a spirit. But I'm getting to keep my body. Plus, I've got plenty of super strong people from the past to keep me entertained. Which, I'm not gonna lie, is cool. That doesn't mean I don't feel marginally bad for Chi-Chi and Gohan. But you guys don't need to bring me back. Gohan's already way stronger than me now anyway, so you'll be fine. Uh, Dad! That's not true. Gotta go. Bye. Okay, and make sure to look me up or whatever when you die. Bye-bye. Uh, you know, if you ask me, he seemed awfully happy and upbeat for a dead guy. I grow tired of waiting. State your second wish. Do you not have a wish? Uh, that's right! So what should we do? Are we going to wish for something? <laughs> uh, Shinron! Can you make Android 17 and 18 human again? Oh, 
<sighs> that cannot do. The androids are far beyond the reach of my power. Uh, well, I guess it was kind of a long shot. Why Android 17? I thought he was dead. No. He was just brought back with the others killed by Cell, so he's alive now. Well, then can you at least remove the explosive devices that they have implanted in their bodies? That I can do. There. The devices have been removed from their bodies. Farewell. Why would you wish for something like that? Well, I felt bad for them, you know? I mean, who wants a bomb inside their body? But why remove the device from Seventeen's body, too? Well, uh, I thought Seventeen and Eighteen might be good for each other. I don't think I'm ever going to understand it. This whole love thing. You idiot! Uh -huh. Seventeen and I are brother and sister. I told you to leave me alone. And don't think I'm going to thank you for removing the bomb. Ever. Later. Hey, she said later. Maybe that means she wants to see you again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'd be a lot happier, uh, I guess, if it weren't for the fact that Goku's not here. Well, I think I'm going to head back. Chiaotzu's probably worried about me. Right. I'm gonna get going, too. So, Trunks, when are you heading back to the future? I think I'll stay one more night and get some rest before leaving tomorrow. All right. We'll see you off tomorrow, then. Mr. Piccolo, are you gonna stay here now? Yeah, that's the plan. Would it be okay if I visited you every now and then? Of course. Bye, Mr. Popo. Bye, Dende. Stop by whenever you want. My... father? Oh yeah, trust me. He was pretty upset when you were killed. He flipped out and went all berserk on Cell. Wow, my father? He did that?
I'm off. Goodbye, Trunks. Good luck in your future. Go on. Thanks. I'll do my best. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a safe trip back! Take it easy! Later! With Cell totally gone, Earth is finally at peace once again. Hard to believe that was seven years ago. I can't help but wonder what everyone's up to. Well, look at that! Gohan's as tall as me now. I'd love to go a few rounds with everyone again. Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z Galactic Showdown with the mighty Majin Buu. You really don't want to miss it, trust me. Gohan, how long do you intend to keep that look? Since Dad died, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Trust me, Mom, I have my reasons. Well, suit yourself. But for the record, I much prefer your normal look to this gaudy Super Saiyan business. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, you'll get bigger with each passing day. And you look more like your father, too. Y you think so? Your fashion choices are yours to make, provided you keep up with your studies. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm not sure where to start. Maybe Piccolo can give me some good advice. Hello? Uh, um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure, yeah. But why are you still a Super Saiyan? 
Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now, so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So... What should I do? Hmm... You might not like this suggestion, but... Why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. All right, better find Vegeta so I can ask for his help. Yep. What do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger. So something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd. You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat. Huh? B but I... Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you! Don't underestimate me! That all? Uh. 
Powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I, I need to do some serious soul searching. I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it, though. Greetings! <laughs> Thank you so much! There's a lot of energy in this thing. What do you think? Thank you so much! Right! Excuse me! What? <sighs> hey! 
Huh? Yes. Hey. Let's see. What? Sure. Right. Yes. How's that sound? <laughs> what? Oh ho ho! You! Hi! Very well. Indeed. Ship that large sink. I got it. Ah! What? 
Right. <laughs> hey! Gohan, ready to come home? Finally got your priorities straight, huh? That's my boy. While you're at it, how about losing the wild hair? Fine. I'll tone it down. Around the house. You'll be going to a respectable school one day. We can't have your classmates thinking you're some renegade rock star. Okay, okay. I'll limit it to my training. School, huh? <laughs> That'll be something. Thanks to Gohan and his father, the planet was freed from Cell's evil clutches. The people of Earth were finally able to live in peace once again. However, during times of peace, people have a tendency to foolishly grow complacent. Such is the fate of mankind. About seven years had passed since the confrontation with Cell. This is the quiet settlement of Satan City. Here resides Mr. Satan, the man mistakenly believed to have saved the planet. The city was renamed after him for his heroism. Gohan is now 16 years old. With no schools anywhere near his country home, he had no choice but to do homeschooling and correspondence courses. But eventually, his mother, Chi-Chi, decided to send him to a high school in Satan City. Armed bandits began appearing so frequently in Satan City that Gohan began to run into them on his way to school from time to time. To combat the crime in the city, Gohan would transform into a Super Saiyan and make short work of those that disturb the peace. To protect his identity, Gohan made sure to leave the scene as quickly as possible. The mysterious hero came to be known as the Golden Fighter and rumors quickly spread about his true identity. The Golden Fighter again, huh? Who the heck is this guy? From Super Saiyan to Superhero. That took way too long. I need to hurry. Oh, man. I'm gonna be...
be late. I have to hurry. Yep, I'm definitely late now. You're the new guy. Gohan, is that right? I'm Erisa. Nice to meet you. And this here's Videl. You won't believe this. Videl's dad is none other than the legendary Mr. Satan. Really? M uh, Mr. Satan? See, I told you you weren't gonna believe it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. You were late today, weren't you? Did you happen to see the bank robbery in town? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. The Golden Fighter took out all the bandits. Uh, uh, okay. Why are you so interested in bank robberies? Well, you see, Vidal's a bit of a crime fighter herself. Makes total sense, though, right? She is Mr. Satan's daughter. She's really tough. The police even sometimes ask for her help. Wow, you don't say. You know, you've got the same build as the Golden Fighter. Huh? Huh, I need to do something to mask my identity. Maybe I'll ask Bulma for her input. <laughs> Look who you're talking to. This pushover's no match for a bunch of robbers. Hmm. We've got baseball practice up next, right? We'll find out if you're really tough enough to fight crime soon enough. You've got no hope of getting a hit off my pitches. <laughs> Gotta make sure I hold back most of my strength. Mom and Bulma both warned me to keep my power in check to avoid causing a huge uproar. Man, it sure is hard living a normal life. <laughs> Let's see how you handle my ultra fastball. I've got to take this nice and easy. You're not getting a single hit off me. What? You actually hit my pitch? I, I just got lucky, that's all. Yeah, 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 you're right. Your stance was way off, too. Wow, so even that was too much. I'll head to Bulma's place later and ask her for some advice. Something's up with him. I need to talk to Bulma. 
Hopefully Bulma can help me figure something out. Hi, Bulma. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, hey, Gohan. What's up? Hmm. You need some sort of disguise to hide your identity. So, do you have any idea how I can do that? Of course, I am a genius, after all. Really? Please, whatever it is, I'll take it. No problem. It'll take some time, though, so sit tight. Thanks. You have no idea how much this will help me. Oh, yeah. Do you know where Trunks is? I'd like to talk to him while I'm waiting. He's probably getting whipped into shape by Vegeta in the gravity chamber. Vegeta mentioned something about making him stronger than you. Oh, yeah? Wow, he sure is intense. The gravity chamber, huh? Where was that again? Gohan! When did you get here? Not too long ago. The word on the street is that your dad's putting you through some grueling training. Yep. He promised he'd take me to the amusement park if I can land one hit on him. Really? Vegeta said that? Keep at it, then. I know you can do it. Yeah, I'll make sure my dad keeps his promise. Guess I should say hi to Vegeta while I'm here. Hi, Vegeta. Sorry to interrupt. Go on. Look at you. You're out of shape. Even in times of peace, you should be training. R right. Speaking of training, I hear you're teaching Trunks how to fight. I am. He's more than old enough to prepare himself for real combat by now. And he'll soon surpass you if you keep sitting on your ass like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I gave Trunks some words of encouragement earlier. He's looking forward to going to the amusement park. <laughs> He's only going if he can manage to hit me. But that's not going to happen. Timing, Gohan. <laughs> it's ready. Not fair. Make me one, Mom. Whoa! <laughs> this is great. This will definitely work. I know, right? Thank you so much, Bulma. I'm gonna use this right away. Oh, never mind. I don't want one. All right, I'm heading to school now. You must really like that thing, what with you transforming all the time in the evening. Watch out for airplanes. Right. Good luck today, Gohan. You're so cool. <laughs> I know, right? 
make this Goku look-alike is Gohan's younger brother, Goten. He is Goku's second son, who was born after the defeat of Cell. Good thing I'm dressed as the great Saiyan man. Now, I can fly without worrying about being seen. Plus, I'll be on the lookout for evildoers. be a cinch. This one might be tough to take down. This will be a cinch. Flying sure makes the commute easier. This will be a cinch. I wonder what's going on in town. Huh? What's happening? More robbers? Still want more? We ain't done yet. Kiss your butt goodbye, little girl. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. She really is pretty strong. She's gotta be way stronger than her dad. Come on, get up! Don't tell me you're done already! Uh, why, you little... <sighs> oh, what the... Who the hell are you? Hmm? Me? I'm the vanquisher of evil, defender of justice! <laughs> the great Saiyaman! Nailed it! Those two hours of practice last night paid off. How lame! Resistance is futile! Now then, Videl, let's apprehend these fiends. He knows my name? I knew it! There's no way in hell I'm letting this bozo take me in. Sc screw this guy! Let's pump him full of lead! Yeah, he's dead meat! Fools! Justice will always prevail! He, he's some sort of monster! About these ruffians... Would you mind escorting them to the police, Videl? They're fine here. I'll make a call and have them picked up. You're pretty strong. You don't want people to know your identity, do you? Oh, uh, yes, that's correct. But are you sure you want to keep this going, Gohan? You're going to be late. Exactly. That's why I have to hurry. I knew it! Huh? You're that Gohan guy from my class, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> Oh, no. B -b busted H How did you figure it out? I hit the perfect disguise and everything. Your voice, mannerisms, plus you knew my name. Uh, oh, y yeah. Why are you wearing that ridiculous outfit anyway? Well, it's just... My friends and family just want to live normal lives. I was told to hide my strength, so... 
Hmm. Uh, uh, um, please don't tell anyone about this. You know, the World Tournament's in about a month. You're going to enter, right? What? The World Tournament? You don't know it? It's a competition to determine the best fighter. They're bringing it back. My dad's the previous champion, and before him, it was some mysterious guy named Goku. Huh. His name's kind of similar to yours. And it's probably not just a coincidence either. You know, I bet that Goku guy is your dad. Am I right? Huh? Well, uh... Jeez, this girl sure is smart as a whip. That's what I thought. So, what do you say? You're gonna enter the World Tournament, right? Uh, well, no. I'm gonna stay out of that. I'm not really interested in competitions like that anyway. In that case, if you don't enter, I'm gonna tell everyone that you're the Great Saiyan Man. What? Aw, oh, come on! We have a deal? Just enter as the Great Saiyan Man. No one'll know it's you. <sighs> Fine. I'll enter the tournament. Great! Then it's settled! Finally, some competition! I was afraid I'd be up against pushovers! I've really gotten myself into a mess now. I did not see this coming. Look! We're almost at school. Oh, also, you need to teach me how to fly. It's not fair if you're the only one who can do that. Oh, uh... Okay, sure. All right, I'll head in first. Man, I never imagined anyone would find out my secret this fast. And now, I have to deal with the World Tournament. Great, I'll ask Bulma for advice after school. World Tournament, huh? Not gonna be allowed to wear a helmet or any protective gear. But I need to cover my face somehow. Welp, time to head to Bulma's. This is great! Look at all of this energy! Huh? Wait, that's Launch, isn't it? What's she doing over there? Are you okay? Oh, and you are? It's me, Gohan. Oh, Gohan. What's up? Why are you wearing that outfit? It's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Just think of me as a defender of justice. A defender of justice, you say? Anyway, <laughs> What are you doing here? Oh, right. Yes. I've kind of got a little problem here. I was hoping to get some advice from Bulma. 
Maybe she could help. But it looks like she's not here right now. I'm not sure if I should wait for her to come back or not. What do you think? I see. Well, maybe I could help you. Oh, that would be wonderful. Would you, if you don't mind? Of course. I actually wanted to talk to Bulma about something. But seeing as she's gone, I'm free. The Great Saiyan Man, Defender of Justice, will do whatever he can to assist you. Oh, how perfect! A Defender of Justice such as yourself is just what I need right now. Oh? Huh? So, Tien asked me to look after his farm while he's away training. You know, doing chores and whatnot. But some terrible monsters showed up on the farm and started to attack the village nearby. It was awful. That's not good. So, you just need me to defeat those monsters? Yes, please. That would be wonderful. Look, here's where the village is located. Got it. I'll head over there right away. You should be safe as long as you stay here. Oh, okay. I'll be here then. Be safe. Off to save the village. So, Tien asked Launch to look after his farm, huh? Huh. I didn't know those two were so close. So, wait, I remember Launch transforming into a really scary version of herself whenever she sneezes. Probably shouldn't have left her on her own. I hope she's okay. This one might be tough to take down. Monsters are back! Someone help us! All right, monsters, where are you? <laughs> That's one of those creatures that comes out of seeds planted in the ground. <laughs> Your village attacking days are over, evil fiends! <laughs> I am the vanquisher of all evil! Defender of Justice, the Great Saiyan Man! Nailed it! Here we go! Here goes! Yes. Face the power of justice! Yeah. New creatures 
don't belong here. That should be all of them. <laughs> Thank you, stranger. How could we ever repay you? Ha ha ha. It was all in a day's work for the great Saya man. Where are the little freaks? Uh, uh, launch? If you're looking for the monsters, <clears throat> they're not here. I took care of them. What? So I'm too late, huh? Man, I was hoping to mess them up real good. Now, now, they're too dangerous for you to fight. One of them actually killed Yamcha a long time ago. Whatever. Looks like those things caused you some trouble, that's for sure. Well, I'm fine, but uh, I think a lot of the villagers are hurt. Yeah, those things made a mess of our supplies and businesses. Ah, that reminds me. I found some vegetables when I took care of the monsters. Those are probably from Tian's farm. <laughs> you know he likes farming. Uh, hold up a sec. Uh, 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 oh my, where am I? Uh, lunch? Oh, those are some rather tasty looking vegetables. Well, if you don't mind, I could use them to make something delicious and nutritious for everyone. What do you say? That'd be great! We'll need the energy to rebuild everything those monsters destroyed! I'll go pick some more vegetables from Tien's farm then. Gohan, would you mind helping me? We can get them cooking in no time. Oh, sure thing. I, uh, I mean, uh, who is this Gohan? Hmm, I'm the great Saiyan man! Oops, that's right. <laughs> Oh, man! Your cooking's the best! Yeah, the veggies were super fresh. This stuff would be a huge hit at my restaurant launch. It's the best I've ever tasted. I'm so glad you feel that way. I love for the dishes I make with Tian's vegetables to be enjoyed by others at a real restaurant. <laughs> I do enjoy cooking for everyone. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> I need to find a way to talk about it with the other me, though. Maybe you could do that some other time. Well then, <clears throat> I'm off! Okay, thank you again for your help, Mr. Great Say a Man. Hmm.
Balma should have been back by now. I need to get to Capsule Corporation. Gohan, you here to see my mom? Sure am. Is she here by chance? Yep, sure is. Come on in. <laughs> wow! You're going to enter the next world tournament? Why? Well, you see, one of my classmates is Mr. Satan's daughter. Mr. Satan? You mean that blowhard who embarrassed himself in the fight with Cell? The World Martial Arts Champion. Has a daughter and she's your classmate? Yeah, she's a good person. And tough, too. She helped me fight off some bad guys in town. Unfortunately, she figured out who I am. I guess my voice gave me away. She told me she's gonna tell everyone I'm the great Saiyan man if I don't enter the tournament. Well, that was pretty clumsy of you. No matter how hard you try, you'll always have that in common with your father. So, what do you need me to do? Want me to modify your helmet to mask your voice? No, not that. I won't be allowed to wear a helmet or any other protective gear during the tournament. The rules are pretty strict about that. So, I was wondering if there was some other way of masking my true identity. Hmm. So you can't wear anything that'll significantly reduce damage, huh? Hmm. Piece of cake! We just need to make sure that people won't know it's you, right? This is great! It's simple, yet effective. Thanks! What do you think, Trunks? Pretty spiffy, right? 
No comment. But you know, even if you hold back a lot, you're still gonna clean house. Sounds kind of boring. Oh, we'll see about that. If you're going to enter that tournament, then perhaps I should as well. What? There was a considerable gap between us before, but I do wonder how it is now. While you have been slacking off, I've been continuing my training non-stop. Uh... Yeah, and instead of training, you should have gotten a job. He's just like your dad. I swear, you Saiyans are just a bunch of lazy bums. Whoa! You and my dad are gonna fight each other? Count me in, too! <laughs> dad? That's my dad's voice. Dad! Is that really you? Kakarot? Yep, long time no see. I mean, here. King Kai is helping me reach all of you from Otherworld. Sounds like- Dad, how have you been? Huh? Ah, not too bad. I'd say I've been doing okay. For a dead guy. Right. But can you really enter the world tournament? Yeah, most definitely. Fortune teller Baba's gonna let me come back for an entire day. You and Vegeta are gonna enter, right? Then I'm in too. All right. Huh? Hooray! I'm looking forward to that. You'd better be prepared. I've gotten a lot stronger. Same here, Vegeta. All right, guys. See you at the World Tournament. That's great news, Gohan. You should go tell your mom. Goten, Krillin, and the others. Right. <laughs> this should be interesting. Oh. Vegeta, you'll need to wear a costume like this to hide your identity. Hell no! I have no need to hide who I am. <laughs> All right, I'm off to go tell everyone. First on the list is Krillin. I hope he's at Kame House. All right, I'm here. Hmm. 
I wonder if anyone's home. Goku's gonna be there? No way! Well, now, it's been ages since I've seen him. The World Tournament, huh? Uh, I guess I could enter. Yeah, but if you, Goku, and Vegeta are gonna be in it, then I've got no hope of winning at all. You should still enter. Even fifth place gets a cash reward. How much cash are we talking? Oh, uh, uh well, the champion gets 10 million zenny. Second place gets 5 million. Third place gets three. Fourth place, two. So fifth place gets one million, I guess. We're entering the tournament, Krillin. Both of us. Uh, okay. Mommy and Daddy are going somewhere? That's right, Marin. Mommy and Daddy are gonna work hard and earn a lot of money. Hooray! Good luck, Mommy and Daddy! Uh, right. Daddy's gonna do his best. Hey, don't tell Piccolo, okay? If he enters, then my chances of getting fifth place are shot. Uh, you know I can't promise that. By the way, uh, what's with the super lame getup, huh? Hey, it's not super lame. It's cool. You've lost your sense of style, Krillin. Bye. Yeah, later. Sorry, Krillin, but... I've got to tell Piccolo, too. Better hurry to Kami's lookout. I wonder if Piccolo will enter. Who knows? Maybe Dende will too. I see. Well, oh, that sounds interesting. Right? Fine. Count me in. What about you, Dende? Oh, I won't be entering. I'm not a warrior type Namekian. <laughs> so, Gohan, what's with the strange outfit? Aw, you too, Piccolo. What? You don't think this looks super cool? Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. All right. I'd better get back. Right. Okay, see you later. I'm sure Mom will be really happy to hear Dad's gonna be back. Even if only for one day. Mom will let me join the tournament. It'd be really nice if I ended up winning. I'd better take a break from school and focus on my training. What? Goku's coming back from the other world to enter the world tournament? Well, how come you didn't tell me sooner? This is great! Goten, you'll finally get to spend a day with your dad! Huh? Oh no, I bet Goku hasn't aged at all, but I look so much older! You don't age there, right? Uh, uh, so... Mom, d uh, do you think it would be okay for me to enter too? 
champion gets 10 million zenny, and the runner-up gets 5 million. 10 million zenny? You're entering, Gohan. If you and Goku both win, we'll get 15 million zenny, right? Well, that's if we win. We can't say for sure whether we will or not just yet. What are you talking about? Of course you two will win. Oh, this must be a blessing from above. All of my father's money was just about to run out. So, Goten, you want to help your big brother train? Yeah. Thanks for waiting, Goten. First, let's start off with a little sparring match. Okay. First, I'll turn into a Super Saiyan. Ha! Come at me. Hey, that's not fair. Can't I go Super Saiyan too? Huh? Super Saiyan? <laughs> I don't think you're ready for that just yet, Goten. Goten! Whoa! Nice! When did you learn how to do that? Um... I forget. Unbelievable. But hey, this works in my favor. Now I've got a better training partner. All right, let's do this. Yeah! Bring it on! Yeah! 
on you going Super Saiyan, Goten. You know, you're actually helping me out a ton. Great job. <laughs> Hold on a second. So, does that mean Trunks can become a Super Saiyan too? Yeah, just like me. <laughs> you know, your big brother really had to struggle to become one. Well, anyway, I think that's enough training for everyone today. you're not here to ask my Gohan out on a date. I said that's not why I'm here! Oh! <laughs> hey! Uh, looks like you found the place pretty easy. Yeah, I just looked in the school directory. But enough of that. You promised you'd teach me how to fly, remember? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Of course, I'll teach you. <laughs> hmm... 
You'd better not try anything naughty with my Gohan. You hear me? I'd never do anything like that! Ew, no! <laughs> well, so much for a simple training session. You did it! You're airborne! You're floating! Phew! That was incredible! You learned how to float in just one day! Yeah, well... Your little brother's been flying circles around me in the same amount of time! Well, that's because he was able to learn how to control his energy early on in his training. But once you get the hang of that, You'll be up and flying in no time at all. Trust me, you're doing great. I'll be back tomorrow, then. Huh? I want to learn more about this energy. Or is my coming back a problem? N n no way. It's not like that at all. Then I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. What? Uh, about your hair. I think, uh, you should cut it shorter. Huh? So, you prefer girls with short hair? Is that it? What? N no! I, I just thought having shorter hair would be advantageous in, you know, in a fight. Business. It's my hair, so I'll do what I want with it. Why, why did she get all angry like that? <sighs> Beats me. Okay, let's pick up where we left off yesterday. Yeah, I don't understand this girl at all. Don't overdo it, Trunks. You should still get out while you can. 150 times gravity is too much for a kid like you. <sighs> yep, that's what I thought. I better become a Super Saiyan before I get crushed! What the? <laughs> piece of cake, piece of cake! W when... when did he... You've got to be kidding me! He was able to transform into the Super Saiyan of Legend that easily? Trunks. Yeah? Can Gohan's little brother also become a Super Saiyan? Tell me! Yeah. What is this? Some sort of Super Saiyan bargain sale? Damn it! What the hell is this world coming to? Wow, Fidel's really something else. She's flying like a pro now, and she's only been at it for 10 days. Ah, <sighs> now that that's taken care of, I can finally get some serious training in with Goten. 
Not too much longer now until Dad comes back and the tournament starts. With the tournament fast approaching, each bright-eyed and hopeful participant poured all of their energy into finishing their training. All right! At last, the day had arrived. The day of the long-awaited World Tournament. It's finally the day of the tournament. I need to stay focused if I want to win. Naturally, I'm looking forward to the tournament, but I'm honestly more excited about seeing my dad. I've grown a lot since I last saw him. I bet he'll be really surprised. This'll be a cinch. Gotta make sure I go unnoticed at the tournament. That means I can't go Super Saiyan either. Better make sure Vegeta's in the loop as well. something truly special about being able to fight. Let's see. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? Yeah, I should be good to go. Okay, where is everyone? Oh, there they are. <sighs> hey, Gohan! Took your sweet time, didn't ya? <laughs> Sorry about that. Man, this place sure is packed, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Pretty annoying, huh? Oh, yeah! Wow. It's Mr. Satan! Look! Mr. Satan's here! Mr. Satan, huh? <laughs> Looks like Earth's Heroes has shown up at last. <laughs> Hello to all my touring fans around the world! Are you ready? Sure is popular, huh? Uh, it's Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! Have you seen my dad anywhere? No, no sign of him yet. Gohan, uh, I have to ask, are you really going to wear that? What could be taking Goku so long? Maybe he's already in the waiting room. <laughs> hey, guys! The evil wizard Babidi's machinations. Goku! Hey! <laughs> wow, you guys sure have changed a bunch. How have you all been? G Goku! It's good to have you back. Goku! <laughs> G 
Goku! Goku! Dad! <laughs> huh? Look, Goten, it's your father! Whoa! That's my son? Wow, he looks just like me! <laughs> What's wrong, Goten? There's no need to be shy. His name's Goten, huh? I like it! You've got 24 hours. That's it. Thanks, Fortune Teller Baba! Well, this is as far as we can go. Break a leg out there, guys. Thanks. We'll catch up with you later. See ya! Hey, Goten, want to do some exploring around this place? Yeah, that sounds like fun! Let's go! All right, let's go check out what's going on over there! Check it out! Look at all the places we can buy stuff! Yeah! We should buy our mom something! Good idea! Let's check out what they've got here and then figure out what to get them. Yeah, let's go! Whoa, what's that? Hey, wait up! We could fight everyone, too. Yeah, but we wouldn't be able to beat my brother or Vegeta. <sighs> but I bet we'll totally be able to beat them when we're older. Let's check that out over there! might be looking for us. They're not gonna let us buy anything if they're angry at us. Uh, I know. We'll say you got lost and that I was looking for you. Yeah, that should work. What? I'm the one that got lost. That's how it's gotta be. It'll be more believable for me to look for you since I'm older. All right, peace. <laughs> hey, that's not fair, Trunks. Separated. Oh, really? Don't you mean you were both wandering around? W what? Uh, how'd you know? Goten, you just gave us away! That's what I thought, Goten. It's rude to lie to people. That's right, Trunks. You're older and you should know better than this. We're, we're sorry. sorry. All right, that's enough of that. Let's head to the arena. Right. If we don't hurry, there won't be any seats left. You ready, Goten? Yeah, I'm ready. All these people! 
Attention all World Tournament participants! We will soon begin the selection process. It looks like this is the biggest turnout we've had in years. But only the best 16 of you will have a chance to compete. Since the returning champion, Mr. Satan, will automatically be allowed to compete, that means only 15 of you will be advancing. Let's find out who that'll be. To keep things fair, we'll be testing everyone's strength with this punching machine. Those with the 15 highest scores will be selected to fight in the tournament. Punching machine? What the heck is that? Let's see if any of you have what it takes to beat our champion, Mr. Satan's high score. We're expecting some great scores. Now, let's begin the World Tournament Selection Round. Good thing we did all that training and made it through, huh? <laughs> Not like there was any worry there. Hmm? Greetings. You must be Goku. Huh? How do you know who I am? I've heard of you before. May I shake your hand? Sure. Nice to meet you. Just as I'd heard, you have a good spirit. Huh? Now, if you'll excuse me. What? Who the hell was that? I'm not sure, but, you know... I'm starting to get the feeling that this tournament's not going to be a walk in the park after all. Everybody here looks like a pushover except those two. Hmm, what's with those guys? They look kind of weird. Like they're more powerful than they should be. So the World Tournament was finally underway. Most of the Z Warriors were spread out across the matches. However, Goku and Vegeta were fatefully paired against each other for the sixth match of the first round. Krillin set the tone for the tournament by making short work of his opponent in the first match. In the second match, Piccolo found himself standing before the enigmatic Shin. However... <clears throat> what is this? What is going on? Why am I having such a hard time with this guy? This isn't right. Who the hell is he? You'll find that out soon enough. Let's just enjoy the game for now. <gasps> Count me out. I forfeit. Huh? You forfeit? You're not going to fight anymore? That's right. I see. So he's the former guardian of this planet. Perhaps he's realized who I am then. Well, let's keep things rolling. Time for our third match. Next, it's Videl versus Spopovich. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you're not, uh... Not what exactly? You're not the, uh, the Grand Kai, are you? No, I am not. He's the Supreme Kai. The Supreme Kai? Please keep that to yourself for now. I don't want others to know just yet. So, you're even higher than the Grand Kai, who's above the four Kais. I mean, I'd heard about gods above the Kais before, but... I didn't know they actually existed. Hey, Piccolo. Something wrong? Don't tell me that guy's already talking trash. 
You want me to have a word with him? No, don't! No, keep your mouth shut. Do not say anything, you hear me? Huh? Meanwhile, Videl was trading blows with the muscle-bound Spopovich in the third match. Though Videl was a much more capable fighter, she was quickly overpowered by Spopovich's abnormal strength. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something seriously off about that guy. Like he's not using his own power. That monster! You gave it your best! Tap out! Just throw in the towel, Videl! Uh, no! Wait, I, I'm not giving up! <laughs> That's it. I've had enough. That jerk's going down. Hey, now. Okay, come on, take it easy, Gohan. No! That's enough, Spopovich. You've had your fun. We came here for something far more important than this. Hurry up and win the match. Yeah, okay. Fidel! <clears throat> Spovovich! <sighs> You're not gonna get away with this. You hear me? Should I call for a stretcher? No. I'll carry her myself. It's headed for me. You got it. If I win my next match, I'll be up against him in the fight after that. Go on. I've got some sensu beans. Thank goodness. Fidel, you're gonna have to trust me on this. But could you eat this bean? <sighs> Anything from you. <sighs> Probably has some mysterious power behind it, right? Yeah. You should be fine now. But it'd be best for you to take it easy for a while here. Thank you, Gohan. Gotta go. Everyone's waiting. Gohan found himself facing the mysterious Kabito in the fourth match. Transform into that Super Saiyan form of yours. I want to see if you truly have what it takes to help our cause. Huh? How do you know about Super Saiyans? And what do you mean, help our cause? You will find out soon enough. First, I want to see the power of a Super Saiyan. Uh, are you kidding? I can't just transform into a Super Saiyan in front of everyone. 
Hmm. I can't hear what they're talking about. He told Gohan to transform into a Super Saiyan. Gohan! Piccolo! Uh, what's up, Piccolo? You know what's going on? Uh, I'm not sure, but... Our apologies, but Gohan will be assisting us with something for the time being. All of you must promise that you will not get involved, no matter what happens. I trust I can count on you. It, what? Wait, what do you mean? You honestly think we're just going to do whatever you say? Tell us who you are! Uh, he's, uh, the Supreme Kai. He rules over all the Kais. He's a god. Uh, hmm? Oh yeah, that's right. King Kai told me about you. So you're the Supreme Kai. Huh. All right, I'll transform into a Super Saiyan. Not sure why you'd want me to, though. Why don't I take it one step further and transform into something beyond a Super Saiyan? Take it to the next level. What? Beyond the Super Saiyan? This energy's incredible. That's our guy. He... he transformed! Gohan transformed! You gotta be kidding me! We're taking that energy. Make sure he doesn't try to escape, Spopovich. Right! There! Ha. Who are you? That's it! We've got enough energy now. Let's do it! Wait! Don't move! Not yet! He'll be fine. Kabito will restore his strength shortly. I intend to follow those two and learn where they're taking Gohan's energy. If you wish to join me, you are more than welcome to do so. I could use your help. So, what are you gonna do, Goku? I'm gonna go with him. You heard him, didn't you, Krillin? He could really use our help in this. Besides, I have to know what this is all about. Uh, then I, I guess I'll go too. I don't think so, Kakarot. Did you forget about your match with me? Uh, come on! This isn't the time for that, okay, Vegeta? Don't blow me off! The actions of that supreme whatever aren't my concern in the slightest. All I care about is settling the score with you once and for all! That's the whole reason I joined this stupid tournament in the first place! I hear ya, I hear ya. It doesn't have to be here, but we'll fight later, I promise, alright? Idiot! You're only back from Otherworld for one day, remember? Hey, you should come to Otherworld with me. We can fight there. <laughs> Let's go. Tell me, can I really trust you with Gohan? It'll be fine. After I finish healing him, I will be joining you. I'm sure he'll follow soon thereafter. Damn it. Wait up! So you've decided to come then. Thank you. I don't think we have much of a chance without your help. Much of a chance? You mean against those two guys? No, not those two. 
They're merely pawns. At the beck and call of an evil wizard. A wizard? Yes. Right around the time mankind began to walk upright here on Earth, an evil wizard named Bibbity lived in a distant corner of the universe. One day, Bibbity happened to create a terrifyingly powerful monster. That monster was Boo, an untenable and fearsome Majin. In a few short years, hundreds of once vibrant planets were reduced to nothing but ashes. Majin Buu's power was so great that even his creator struggled to control him. Bibbidi had no other recourse but to temporarily seal Majin Buu away. I was able to use that chance to defeat Bibbidi. However, I failed to realize that Bibbidi had a child. His son Bobbidi, who was filled with just as much evil as his father. There. You're healed, Gohan. <laughs> wow. I feel great. Come with me. I will tell you everything. Can I come too? There's so much I want to know. Please? <sighs> Can you just... Promise me, you'll run if things get dangerous? Sure. All right then, let's go. Majin Buu, huh? Wow, okay. So then what were those Spopovich and Yamu guys doing at the tournament? In order to break the long-held seal on Majin Buu, a large, pure energy source is needed. Those two were sent to the tournament to gather that energy. We won't be able to reach the others at this rate. We need to increase our speed. I can't fly any faster than this! Okay. You'd better head back then. Things are far worse than I feared. Guess I'm gonna have to, huh? That's too bad. But I think I finally learned something. It wasn't my dad that beat Cell back then. It was you guys, right? Well, uh... I knew it. I thought something was off when I heard my dad beat him. That clears things up. Good luck, Gohan. Pulverize that wizard Bobbity and save the world. Right. Don't die on me, Gohan. I want to go on a date with you when you get back. Are you done? We need to hurry after the Supreme Kai. Right. Sorry about that. All right. This will be a cinch. Someone's down there. Do you think it might be that Bobbity guy? No, that's not Bobbity. Someone's coming out. Dabura, curse that Bobbity. He's made the king of the demon realm nothing but his servant. Huh? Dabura? Which one's that? The big guy? Yes. Wait, so that means the, the, the little one over there is the wizard Bobbity? Correct. What he lacks in physical strength, he more than makes up for with his terrifying magic. 
Babadi's greatest technique is his ability to latch on to the evil in one's heart and use it to bend the victim to his will. For this reason, only those such as ourselves, free from evil in our hearts, will be able to fight him. Oh my, this is completely full of energy. Well done, you two. This brings us closer to reviving Margin Boo. And it also means I have no more use for you. Pui Pui. Yes, sir. Well, my dear Deborah, it seems that Yamu and his friends have brought us some visitors, <laughs> just as I calculated. And with them, that infernal Supreme Kai who murdered my father long ago. Assuming we can't make use of the energy from the Supreme Kai and Kabito, three of the others appear to have more than enough energy for our needs. Once you eradicate the others, Deborah, I want you to then lure those three into the ship. That will afford us a much greater chance of absorbing their energy. Indeed. One more thing. Do not kill the Supreme Kai. I will personally see to it he receives a slow and painful death later. As you wish, Lord Bobbidi. Do not let me down. Sir, now then, it's time. <gasps> Kibito! No! <laughs> what the? <laughs> uh, oh no! <laughs> Piccolo! Don't touch them! They've both been turned to stone. They can't be restored unless Tabura is killed. Oh, is that all we have to do? Well, that seems simple enough. Leave this place! You will never be able to stop Lord Bobbidi. Let's go! Where are you going? Yeah! Come on, Dad. Let's make short work of this guy and save Piccolo and Krillin. Now you're talking! Whoa, what is this place? Well, this is an awfully plain room. Be on your guard. We don't know what kind of traps they have in store for us. Now that I think about it, it's rather strange that you three weren't attacked at all. My apologies, but we're not the sit around and do nothing types. Lord Barbady is on the lowermost floor of this ship. Unfortunately, if you want to go down any further, you're going to have to go through me. So, in other words, this is where you all die! <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be so sure of that. So, who goes first? I think rock, paper, scissors would be fair. Huh, fine. All right, guys, here goes! Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors! scissors. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors! scissors. Uh, man... Good! Looks like I'm up first. Uh, 
Are you really going to fight him alone? Of course. I'm more than enough for this worm. <laughs> You're dumber than you look, you know that? Like I said before, you guys aren't getting past this floor. Any damage you take here will be converted into energy and absorbed by this room. And then sent directly to the ball that Majin Vu sealed inside. That's good to hear. Does that mean if I blow you to pieces right now, no energy will be absorbed? That's right. But unfortunately for you, that's not gonna happen. Enough talking. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Come at me! Oh dear, I can't have you damaging my ship. <laughs> hey, what the... Well, what just happened? Where are we? Babita used his magic to change the room. Most likely to a place that benefits his henchmen. So what? I was just about to say that myself! Big Bang! Believe it! Big Bang! Attack! Big Bang! Attack! Big Bang! Attack! Big Bang! Attack! The gravity here is ten times stronger than Earth! This is where I was born and raised! Yeah, what's your point? Gravity ten times stronger than Earth is nothing! <laughs> Big Bang! Attack! <laughs> Big Bang! <laughs> Big Bang! Attack! Big Bang, attack! Ha! Ha! Big Bang, attack! Big Bang, attack! Big Bang, attack! Believe it! Ha! 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 Big Bang, attack! 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 Gave us the easy one first. Big Bang, attack! Big Bang, attack! Big Bang, attack! I can't believe it! I miss Doesn't he have goons stronger than this? Huh? Hey, check it out! A hole opened up in the floor! It looks like some sort of elevator. Uh, how... how did you do... that?
Hey, what gives? This room looks just like the last one. Whoa! This guy looks pretty slow. Th that's that's Yakon! Demon Beast Yakon! In the interest of time, I'll transport you to your beloved home world of Darkstar and its pitch black environment. Make sure to retrieve plenty of energy for me. <laughs> <laughs> now which one of you should I eat first? You're up against me! My first course! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
discuss a little more seriously. This is what they're throwing at us. Then this Majin Buu creature must be a real weakling. What in the world are these people? I know what to do now. I shall handle these intruders myself. And in doing so, I should be able to retrieve more than enough energy for Majin Buu. But, Dabura, if I lose you, then I'll have no further defense against them! Do you actually stand a chance? Stand a chance? <laughs> I am Dabura, king of the demon realm. No one in this universe has the power to defeat me. I must admit, I'm impressed. Mortals like you were able to defeat Yakan. I must commend you for such an achievement. But this is as far as you will go. I will be your next opponent. Margin Revival imminent. <laughs> If Bobbity is already resorting to dispatching his right-hand man, he must be getting quite desperate. Hmm. <laughs> That's quite enough of your useless chatter. Now, come at me, all of you! Wait a second. It's my turn to fight next. Come at me. What did you say? How dare you mock me? Lord Bobbity, please transport us to a more suitable location. I must show this mortal my power. Very well. Pa -pa 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 -pa!
All right. Time to make short work of this guy and save Piccolo and Krillin. Prepare to witness the power of the King of the Demon Realm.
Surprisingly strong. Crap! Mm. This guy's a lot tougher than I originally thought. Still, Gohan shouldn't be having this much trouble. He's gotten weak. He was much stronger than this when he was a child. Yeah, I guess he really has been slacking off on his training. <laughs> I'm starting to get pissed. Hmm? As Gohan continued his fierce battle with Deborah, Fidel made her way back to the World Tournament Arena. Fidel! Oh, Goten! What are you doing here? Oh, Chunk said we should try to go find the others. My dad and everyone else are off doing something cool. That's not fair. You know, it's not like they went off to have fun. Okay, fine. I guess I'll clue you both in on what's happening. So, that's what's going on. Ugh. Wizard? Majin? Whoa! D did you hear that, Goten? Yeah! That's so cool! Right, right, right? Uh-huh. They're over that way, right? Wait a second! You two aren't actually going to... Hurry! If we aren't quick, our dads are gonna beat all the bad guys! No way, no way, no way! I wanna see that Majin Boo guy! Let's go! Come on! Meanwhile, the violent confrontation between Gohan and Deborah raged on. <sighs> Damn, this is taking too long! I'm going to end this right here, right now! Hang on a second, Vegeta. Give Gohan a chance. It's not like he's getting his butt kicked or anything. I've had more than enough of these games. I want to get this done and over with so I can finally settle things with you. That's the whole reason I joined that stupid tournament to begin with. Lord Babidi, I've just made the most amazing discovery. Majin Buu will be revived in no time at all. Uh, hey! You're not running away, are you? Running away? <laughs> no. I no longer have a need to fight, for I've found a much more suitable opponent. What did you say? What is this discovery of yours, Deborah? Among those four, one of them possesses a great deal of evil in his heart. With a heart that evil, we can most certainly turn him to our side. Oh, I see. We can cause them to fight among themselves and reap the resulting energy. That should be more than enough to revive Margin Boo. What? what did he just say? 
I'm not entirely sure. But it sounds like he's found someone better to fight me. Found someone? I wonder, what do you mean by found? Uh. <laughs> Your body and mind are mine now. He's actually doing it! Vegeta! Bobbit is using the evil in your heart to control you! Clear your mind! Remove all evil thoughts from your head! Shut the hell up! I don't need you to tell me what to do! Yes, yes! That's it! You belong to me now! <laughs> While I have control of you, allow me to push your power past its limits! Vegeta! No! Don't let that monster take control of you! Vegeta! Uh, it's too late! <laughs> yes, yes, very good. Let's give you a more interesting place to fight. Pa -pa 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 -pa! This is the World Tournament Arena. Uh, who are those guys? They... they just appeared out of nowhere! Right then. Now, what was your name again? Ah, yes, Vegeta! Fight all of those Cretans with everything you have! I want their energy! Shut up! I only want to fight Kakarot! I don't care about anyone or anything else! What's going on here? How is this buffoon still not completely under my control? This is a first. Um, oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter. N no! What are you doing? Vegeta! Now, fight me, Kakarot! That is, unless you want me to add more bodies to the growing pile! No! Goku, don't do it! If you fight here, you'll be playing right into Babidi's hands. Your energy will be absorbed, and Majin Buu will be revived! Vegeta, I can't believe this. You let Bobbity take control of your mind on purpose just so I'd fight you with everything I got. That right? Are you serious? This is the only way I could get you to fight me. You're only here in this world for a single day. And now, 
Now we're being dragged into this waste of time and energy! You mean... You're doing all of this for such a petty reason? A petty reason? How dare you! This means everything to me! I don't give a damn about Majin Buu! This bastard continues to leave me in the dust every single opportunity! He has surpassed me, a fellow Saiyan! Me! The once mighty, the once proud Prince of the Saiyans! I've even had my life saved by this buffoon! You will never forgive him for that! Not ever! Bamidi! Take us somewhere with no other people around! I'm about to go head to head with Vegeta! Don't do it! If you absolutely must fight him, then you will have to go through me first! <sighs> Dad! I understand. Have it your way. I'm sorry. As you wish, I'll transport you somewhere else. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba! You two fight to your heart's content. Gohan and I will break through this entrance and confront Babidi and Dabura head on. We may risk causing Majin Buu to be revived in the process. But anything's better than him absorbing energy from you two and reaching full power. With any luck, we may be able to prevent Majin Buu from being revived at all. <laughs> I don't think so. Vegeta, stop them! Eradicate all those that stand in my way! Do it! Obey your master! I refuse! The Supreme Kai can do whatever the hell he wants, as long as I get to fight Kakarot! What? I, I command you one more time! Oh, baby! Kill the Supreme Kai! Do it, Vegeta! I've already told you! All I care about is settling the score with Kakarot! Who do you think you're talking to? I am the proud Prince of Saiyans! I absolutely refuse to take orders from a little worm like you! You may have taken my mind and my body, but there's one thing a Saiyan always keeps, his pride! Unbelievable! I didn't think there were any mortals that could resist Babidi's mind control. I see. So that's how badly you wanted to fight me. Vegeta! This has never happened before. His pride is unlike anything I've ever seen. His disobedience is of no concern to us, Lord Bobbity. After all, his sole purpose is merely to steal the energy we require. It may be prudent to allow the Supreme Kai and the other to come to us. It would be most unfortunate if their attacks to the ship were to revive Majin Buu before he's attained his ultimate power. I see, indeed. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba! Yes. Welcome. Vegeta. Let's do this, Vegeta. This is the perfect location. Wouldn't you agree, Kakarot? I don't want to take damage and give Majin Buu more energy. 
So I'm going full force and ending this right away. Very good. I'm quite eager to see just how hard you've been training in other world. <laughs> Impressive. You're even more powerful than Gohan was back then. This might take longer than I thought. Yeah! 
Yeah! 
Try this! <laughs> Here goes! <laughs> My power! Attack! <laughs> actually felt good. I'd also grown comfortable living here on Earth and all that it included. Then, then that's why, that's why I needed to return to my villainous self. And now that I have, I feel absolutely wonderful. Do you really?
Deborah. Are you confident you have what it takes to defeat that Earthling? Of course. I will have no trouble at all exterminating that trash. Hmm? Huh? that energy come from? That's right. Vegeta and my dad are both fighting at a level beyond Super Saiyan. Oh, the damage they're each taking must be massive. He, he's coming out! Martin Buu's coming out! Well, with him at full power now, then... Might as well try to do what I can to stop him. Ha! Majin Buu met his end with that last attack. I'll hold Bobbity at bay. Gohan, you take care of Dabura. Once we've done that, we'll have finally put an end to Bobbity's evil plan. I... I can feel an incredible key. It, it's swelling up. It's... Huh? The smoke that came out of the ball earlier. <clears throat> A cloud? No! It's the smoke from before! What is that? Wait, is that thing Majin Buu? Yes, I could never forget that, that menacing face. <laughs> so it is Majin Buu then. That's Majin Buu? <laughs> Majin Buu, I'm Bobbity, the son of your creator, Bibbidi. You've been sealed in that ball for a very long time, but I've gotten you out. I am your new master. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I'm your master. Don't you ignore me. What a buffoon. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it seems we have failed. After all that trouble, we have nothing but this powerless sack of fat to show for it. <laughs> you want to challenge me, the great Deborah? The dreaded demon of destruction, Majin Buu. That's a 
That was incredible! Very good, Margin Boo! His key... Margin Boo's key just skyrocketed. It's huge! He's too... He's too powerful. I don't believe this. This wasn't how things were supposed to go. I was confident we could defeat Bobbity and prevent Majin Buu's revival. If only... If only I had known from the beginning that you mortals could have achieved so much more power far beyond that of my own. We could have made use of that method. Huh? That, that method? What do you mean? Margin Boo! Listen to me, Margin Boo! Are you really sure you want to ignore me? I've read my father's notes. I know how to seal you back in that ball. <laughs> yes, yes, good. That's right. Listen, Martin Boo, here is your first order. I want you to kill those two over there. I don't know if I can win, but one thing's for sure. He can't be left alone. If he gets out of here... The body count could reach catastrophic level. It's now or never. I don't know if we can handle this guy.
Is this guy invincible or something? Unbelievable! Nothing's hurting him! You would lose weight! You go bye-bye! The margin. Beats me. I don't know any of these guys. Uh, uh. Oh, and Margin Boo, 
feel free to finish the Supreme Kai off. Ooh, hungry! Go eat this guy! Oh, Debora, you're still alive! Lord Bobbity, this creature, Majin Buu, is not like the others. He will not serve you as your loyal servant. He must be eliminated immediately. Who gotta eat you? You insolent little. Turn into cookie! Yeah! Um. Magnificent! Very good, Martin Poo! <laughs> oh. Piccolo, what's going on? Uh, the spell's broken. Huh? Uh. Uh, what? Uh, what are you two doing here? Ah! W what about you guys? What are you doing here? Well, we were statues until just now. But it looks like that creep who spit on us died, and everyone's back to normal. <gasps> what is this unbelievable energy? No, no it, it can't be. Is that Majin Buu? Majin Buu, devour this fool as well. Okay, okay! Uh Vegeta was empowered by Babidi's spell and more determined than ever, remained locked in fierce combat with Goku. In the midst of the battle, the two Saiyans began to sense a massive energy that suddenly appeared in the distance. Realizing the energy must belong to Majin Buu, Goku pleaded with Vegeta to stop the fight so they could focus on defeating the new threat. Vegeta knew Goku would no longer be able to concentrate on their battle, so he agreed, or so it seemed. It was just a lie to make Goku lower his guard. With Goku distracted, Vegeta knocked him unconscious. He then made his way to Majin Buu's location, ready to fight the menace he helped bring back into existence. Majin Buu's free because of me, so I'll be the one to get rid of him. I'll settle the score with you after that. That is, if I make it back alive. Right. Time to go meet this Majin Buu face to face. <laughs> Gohan's energy's already gone. Forgive me. This is my fault. This one might provide a challenge. How that sound? Easy prey. is nothing but a waste of time.
Easy prey. That's it, huh? I might as well destroy it while I can. Telling you to destroy my ship! So that fat bastard with the ugly mug is Majin Buu, huh? You. You killed Gohan, didn't you? <gasps> Gohan! Ugly mug? What's that? It means he thinks you have a strange face. I'm not going to hell on my own. I'm taking you all with me! Don't underestimate me! Oh. Huh? Ah. 
You're the real cause behind all this, Bobbity. This... this can't be! your mom for me what are you talking about dad what do you mean take good care of mom you need to get as far away from here as you can i'm going to fight majin buu on my own no way we're gonna fight too the three of us can take him down for sure trunks i haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born have i huh Come here, son. Uh... Dad? Uh... Uh... uh what are you doing, Dad? Cut it out! You're embarrassing me!
Take these two as far away from here as you can. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. You're prepared to die, aren't you? Just tell me one thing. If I die, will I be able to see Kakarot in the other world? I'm afraid not. You've killed too many innocent people. When you die, you'll lose your body, and your soul will be carried off to a different world. I see. That's too bad. Now, get out of here. Hurry! No! Boo no! Let you go! Wait, Majin Boo! You're going to have to defeat me first! You got that? Fight me, you brain-dead balloon! Uh, you say mean things, even though you're weak! I finally know how to get rid of you. Once and for all. Hey! What in the world is Vegeta doing? He's gonna get himself killed! For the first time ever. He's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. To make sure you can't put yourself back together, I'm going to blow you into microscopic pieces! Here, take these two. I'm going to see what happened. Uh, okay. I see. So if Majin Buu only takes a small amount of damage, his cells can regenerate. To prevent that, Vegeta sacrificed himself to blow Majin Buu into a trillion pieces. We were saved by him, of all people. <laughs> Bobbity, you're still alive. Guess I'll have to fix that. Tell me, Majin Buu's fragments, they're... Majin Buu is still alive! Boo. That green fool at the 
those two runs have messed with me for the last time. They will learn to fear the great Barbity and Martin Boo! Reduce this planet to a desolate hellscape, Margin Boo! Kill as many of the Earthlings as it takes to flush those Cretans out of hiding! He's not dead? Margin Boo's not dead? Uh, no way! Vegeta sacrificed himself for nothing? It's not safe here on the surface. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout, right now! These two are the planet's last chance, as slim as it may be. I can sense Majin Buu's energy, but I can't sense Vegeta's anywhere. Uh, don't tell me. Vegeta couldn't have gotten himself killed. Oh no. I don't sense Gohan's energy either. What's going on? Hmm? Piccolo and Krillin are both alive. They aren't stone anymore. Okay. They should know what's going on. I'd bet on that. Where would they be? Akami's lookout, maybe? Majin Buu. I wonder what kind of monster he is. I hope everyone's okay. I was hoping you could tell me what's going on. Unbelievable. Gohan and the Supreme Kai? This is too much. Even Vegeta was taken down. Majin Buu's power. It's far greater than the Supreme Kai initially feared it would be. If we don't act fast, all life in the universe, let alone here on Earth, will be completely wiped out of existence. Well, not all hope is lost. We've still got you, Goku. If anyone can beat Majin Buu, then it's you. I'll be honest. That's not gonna happen. I can't beat him. Uh? Me and Vegeta were pretty much matched as far as power goes. And Majin Buu? 
He had no problem taking everything Vegeta threw his way. There's no way around it. I don't stand a chance. Really? Wow. Man, this stinks! If either Gohan or Vegeta were still alive, we might have had a real chance to do something. I don't think so. No, we're gonna need more than just numbers against this guy. He really is that strong. Nah, that's not what I meant. I'm talking about fusion. Huh? Fusion? What's that? Fusion? Where two people merge, right? That's a special technique used by the Metamorans. You know about that? And you're right. I learned the technique from a Metamoran I met in Otherworld. If two people are about the same size and roughly equal in strength, they can combine with each other. Do you understand what this means? Two people can form one person with way more power than either of the original two are capable of by themselves. There is one thing you really need to keep in mind. Apparently, you can only stay combined for 30 minutes. Now it makes sense. I think I understand. You were hoping to fuse with either Gohan or Vegeta if one of them was alive. You'd form the ultimate warrior and be able to fight Majin Buu. But fortunately, Gohan and Vegeta, they're both gone. Uh, so, this is the worst case scenario, isn't it? Goten and Trunks are sleeping inside, and they are about the same size and strength. Perhaps they could fuse. Hey, that's a great idea, Mr. Popo! Yeah, we could do that. That'll work. Piccolo, I'm gonna do whatever I possibly can to teach the fusion technique to the kids. But it's gonna take some time. At some point in all of this, I'll need you to take over for me. Fine. I got it. This is good. There's hope for us yet? Those kids might be able to pull this off! Right. But understand, it's going to take quite a while before Goten and Trunks are able to perform the technique. The time this will take is something others don't have. A lot of people could die before that happens. Everyone on the planet, even the planet itself, might be wiped out before then. This is a long shot, but we've got no other choice. You're right about that. Even if all of humanity gets wiped out, we've still got the Dragon Balls to bring everyone back. What's going on? It got dark all of a sudden. Wait, is that... Did someone summon Shenron? Wait, but who? Bulma had all of the Dragon Balls last, right? But she doesn't know the situation. What's she doing? Of course! Yeah, that's right. Vegeta killed a bunch of people at the World Tournament. Bulma's gonna ask Shenron to bring them all back. Oh, no! If she makes all three wishes now, we'll have to wait another year. I'll go try to stop her. Just as Goku had predicted, Bulma and the others had summoned Shenron to bring back all those killed by Vegeta. The first wish had already been granted, but Goku was able to prevent the last two wishes from being used. Shenron disappeared and the Dragon Balls scattered, inert for the next four months. Goku then warped the confused group to Kami's lookout, where they would then all be safe from Majin Buu's onslaught.
Here we have an individual brought back to life with the Dragon Balls. I... I'm certain I was killed by Dabara. But was I brought back to life? How can that be? What's going on? Where is the Supreme Kai? Oh, good. He's still alive. Supreme Kai! Supreme Kai! Thank goodness, I wasn't too late! Uh, uh, Kibito, wh what are you doing here? Uh, I saw you die! You were blown to pieces! Indeed. I too am uncertain how I was able to come back. That's right! Kibito, we have to hurry! Gohan's in danger! Huh? We have to prevent Gohan from dying at all costs! Hmm. <laughs> it looks like we've come to his aid without a moment to spare. Thank goodness. Kibito, we should restore Gohan's strength once we're back in the land of the Kais. Huh? D do you mean to tell me we are going to allow a mortal to step foot in our holy land? Yes, now we need to hurry. He doesn't have much longer. R right Kai Kai. <laughs> what? What the? Huh? Uh, where am I? This is the land of the Kais, our home world. Wait, what? Your home world? Yes, this is a holy land that even the gods and Kais, let alone mortals, were not to enter. Wait! I thought you died. Do you have the ability to revive yourself? Unfortunately, no. My revival is just as much a mystery to me as it is to you. Uh, uh, why am I here? We hope you'll be able to use the Z-Sword to defeat Majin Buu. You should have what it takes to utilize that sword and its power. Huh? The Z-Sword? Are you sure about this, Supreme Kai? The Z-Sword is not a weapon that a mere mortal could ever wield. Not possible. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could ever make use of the legendary sword. As you were dead, Kibito, you haven't seen how truly remarkable Gohan's power is. At any rate, we should at least try. Come with me. <clears throat> You'll need some more suitable clothes. Whoa. Huh. Kabito and I are wearing matching outfits. That's kind of embarrassing. Whoa. That's the Z-Sword? This is the Z-Sword. Huh. Now please try to remove it. To the best of my knowledge, no one has been able to remove this blade. So... I just need to pull it out, huh? Sounds like something out of a storybook. So, uh, I'm supposed to pull out this Z-Sword, but then what happens? Legends say you will be imbued with immense power. Perhaps even enough power to destroy Majin Buu. What? <laughs> really? I guess that means this thing's pretty sharp. I'm kind of scared now. You can't remove the sword, so you have nothing to fear. 
Kibito, please be quiet. Gohan must concentrate. Please, Gohan. Try to remove the sword. Huh. All right, here goes. It's no use. It won't budge. Alright, let's try this then. Super Saiyan? Well, I doubt that'll change anything. It's no use. Several Supreme Kais before you have tried and also failed to remove the blade. Why would a mere mortal succeed? Ah! Mm. Look, he did it! I... I can't believe it! I'm just going to cut straight to the chase, okay? Goten and Trunks are both fine. But Gohan and Vegeta? They were killed by Majin Buu. Huh? <laughs> Gigi! Vegeta! No! He can't! Listen to me, people of Earth! I am using magic to speak to all of you telepathically. Now close your eyes. I have something I'd like to show you. My name is Bobbity, and I am a terrified and powerful wizard. And this here is my loyal servant, the even more frightening Margin Boo. What is this? Are, are, are you seeing this too? Hey, what kind of freaky crap is this? I've run into a bit of trouble today, you see. And now I'm looking for three troublemakers. This one. This one. And this one. If I cannot find these three fools, <laughs> well, allow me to show you what will happen. All right, Margin Boo, do it! Hey! That monster! What has he done? I will warn you one more time. You must tell me where those three are. If you do not, we will exterminate every last one of you five days from now. I eagerly await your reports. Damn that bug-eyed bastard. So those are the guys that killed Vegeta and Gohan. We can't let there be any more casualties. I'm going to confront them. No! Think about it. If you die on us, there won't be anyone to teach Goten and Trunks how to fuse. We have the Dragon Balls. We can use them to repair any damage done and bring back anybody that's been killed. You get it? 
fine. For tears. If you want to avenge them, focus on learning this new technique. You got it? Let's get started. Everybody pay close attention. All right. Time to learn how to fuse. People of Earth. I've just received some very interesting information. One of the three troublemakers I'm searching for, Trunks, supposedly lives at a place called Capsule Corporation in West City. I think we might head there next. For everyone's sake, he had better be there. I would show myself if I were you, Trunks. Your home won't be around much longer if you don't. Oh no! My grandpa and grandma are still at the house! Goku! Did you hear that just now? My mom and dad are done for! And so is West City, for that matter! It'll be fine, Bulma. We'll bring them back with the Dragon Balls. Oh, you don't get it! If my lab gets destroyed, so does the Dragon Radar! The radar requires special parts that you can't just get anywhere! Which means we won't be able to summon Shenron! What? That is a problem. Alright, Trunks, hurry back home and try to find the Dragon Radar. Okay, I'll try to stall Bobbity and Majin Buu as long as I can. Are you sure? Aren't you just gonna get your butt kicked? Hmm, I can distract them for at least a little bit. Anyway, hurry before they get to West City! to find those guys, and fast! I hope I can buy Trunks enough time. Yeah! Found them! Yeah! Yo! It's you! Yeah, and I'm here to deliver a message. Listen up. The three people you're looking for are gonna show up sooner than you think. I can promise you that. Just wait a little longer. Don't destroy anything else or harm any more innocent people. Now why should we wait? Oh, you're up to something, aren't you? You bet we are. We're training to beat you guys. <laughs> beat us, you say? No amount of training could ever make that possible. We're not going to just sit here and wait. You will bring them to us now! You know, I kind of had a feeling you were gonna say something like that, which means I don't really have a choice. Guess I'm gonna have to make you wait then. <laughs> Fascinating. Very well then, show us what you can do. 
Hey, Martin Boo! What are you doing? Hurry up and obliterate this fool! Okie dokie, Pokey! Come on! What's with that? Why is a strong guy like you taking orders from Bobbity? Hmm? Shut your mouth! I don't recall asking for your opinion! Martin Boo is my loyal servant. He obeys my every command. What is your problem? Do you want me to seal you up again? If you seal Boo, you did! That guy kill you! <sighs> Curse this creature! When did he start to think for himself? But don't worry! Boo kill him! Boo don't like goody goodies like him! <sighs> Looks like it's do or die. That won't work! Vegeta tried the same thing, and look what happened to him! Good point. Then I guess I'd better kick it up a notch and go one step further. What do you think? What? This is a Super Saiyan. And this is a Super Saiyan level beyond that of Super Saiyan. Let's just call this... Super Saiyan 2. What a pathetic transformation! Nothing's different from the previous form! And this... This... is going even further! This... It's Super Saiyan 3! Sorry it took me so long. I'm still not used to this form just yet. You have scary face now! But Voodoo scared! Uh, yes, yes, precisely, you fool. Now march and Boo destroy this ruffian! I don't have much of a choice. I want to keep him busy a bit longer. 
Dragon Radar, and is leaving West City. Hey, why you leave? Who like fighting you? Who want to fight more? I'm glad to hear that. Shame I don't have the time. I'm gonna be heading back now. Oh, we're not going to just let you get away. Crush him, Majin Buu! Don't forget what I said. The three you're looking for will show up soon, Bobbity, in two days. Do yourself a favor. Stay out of trouble and just wait a little longer. Hey, Strong? Those guys? <laughs> do you really think I'm going to do as you say? <sighs> this kind of stinks. I mean, I was really just beginning to enjoy my fight with Majin Buu. He disappeared! Hey, he got away! This is your fault! You wasted too much time! Now go find him, you fool! Lord Bobbity! Who have good idea? Uh, what? A good idea? You can't speak now, can you? Now you know cast spell to seal Boo! <laughs> Boo learn a lot from you! But Boo no need you now! Here we go. Now that Bobbity's gone, nothing's preventing Majin Buu from going on a rampage. What's wrong, Goku? 
What's wrong is that I'm officially beat. Won't be long now. I don't have much time left here. So until then, we have to make sure the kids perfect that fusion technique. Those two are the last chance this planet has. I... I got it! This is the Dragon Radar, right? All right. Look, we really don't have much time left. So do yourselves a favor and get ready, you two. Yes, yes sir. sir! You're gonna need to be able to match one another's energy, but you can practice that later. First, we'll start with the hard part, so pay attention. For the fusion pose, you both have to mirror each other exactly. I'm gonna show you the pose now. So don't take your eyes off me, okay? First, you stand a little bit away from each other. Then, do this. Now, watch the angle of your arms. Phew! With your arms in opposite directions, you take three steps to get closer to each other. Jun? Then, you make fists with your hands. Watch the angle of your legs. Then, you bring your fingers together like this. And don't forget to extend your legs out really far like this, too. We have to do that? It's so lame. Yeah. To make things a little easier to follow, me and Piccolo are gonna model it for you, okay? What? Wait. We are? Just like this. You both have to move like you're each other's reflection in a mirror. Phew! Jean? Ha! All right, your turn. One, two. One, two. Goku, it's about time we take you back to the other world. Yeah, I know. Piccolo, it's up to you. Right. Goku, see you around. Well, uh, not really, but you know what I mean. Goodbye, Goku! Come on, Chi-Chi, don't look so sad. You still got Goten, right? But, but what if he's killed by Majin Buu too? Don't worry. Once he masters this technique, Majin Buu won't stand a chance against him. If I see Gohan on the other side, I'll be sure to tell him you said hi. Okay. I... I get the feeling that Gohan is still alive. I hope you're right. I really do. Yeah. Goku, we really must be going now. Right. <laughs> what is it, Goten? Uh, oh, I know. You want to give your dad a hug, don't you? Oh, is that what you want? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Goten, take good care of your mom. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 oh. All right, everyone, I'm off. Look me up when you die. Man, I don't know how Goku can have such a carefree attitude, even about death.
I trust that you can handle things on your own from here, yes? Right. Thanks, Granny. I wonder if Gohan's already made his way to Otherworld. Hmm? Huh? I don't believe it! Gohan! Yeah, that's his energy, all right. Uh, but how? Hmm. Where is he? Wait. It's not King Kai's place. No. There! What the hell is this place? He's here. Gohan's here! I can sense his energy! Where could he be? Dad, what are you doing here? About that. I see. So Majin Buu's already caused that much damage. So, that's the legendary sword you were talking about, I take it. That thing looks crazy sharp! You said it's the Z-Sword? Indeed. Let's test it out with some catch and tight. The hardest metal in the universe. Haha! <laughs> I bet this thing will cut through that stuff like a hot knife through butter! It's a legendary sword, right? Here goes! Yeah! It broke! This can't be! The, the Z-Sword! It... But it's... the ultimate sword! Well, Supreme Kai, you're the one who wanted to test it out on the hardest stuff around. But... but it was supposed to give its wielder the strongest power in the universe! <laughs> that shows how little you know, doesn't it? Huh? Wait, who's the old guy? Who are you calling an old guy? I'm the Supreme Kai from 15 generations before you! 15 generations before me? The... the Supreme Kai? Many ages ago, a truly evil individual feared my special ability so much that he sealed me in that sword that you just broke. He doesn't look like he's got any special abilities. Just looks like an old geezer to me. Uh, yeah. Well, I never. I guess I won't tell you what my special ability is then. What? Come on! I, I was just kidding! I'm still not telling you. I'll get a real woman to kiss you if you promise to tell us. 
Doesn't that sound nice? Are you serious? You're not pulling my leg? Yeah, I'm totally serious. I knew it. He's the same type as Master Roshi. So then, would this power of yours be enough to defeat Majin Buu? Well, I can't say for certain, but yes, it should be. Listen up, Gohan. I can't go back to Earth anymore. I need you to get Bulma up to speed and ask her to cooperate. Uh... Wait... You want me to ask Bulma that? Look, we're saving the whole universe here. It's a good deal if you ask me. <sighs> Even if we do save the universe, Bulma's gonna kill us. Okay, wait. What kind of abilities are we talking about here? Right then. As for my special ability, I can release one's true power and raise it beyond its limits. <laughs> Never heard of an ability like that, have you? What? Seriously? That sounds like a pretty common ability, actually. Ah, how dare you! I said beyond one's limits! Far beyond! You there. You're the one who pulled the sword out, yes? Come here. Right then. Now just stand there and don't move a muscle. Uh, okay. And here we go. For the destruction of Majin Buu. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! Ahem! <laughs> go! Go! <laughs> yay! Yay! Um, how long is this gonna take? The ritual takes five hours, but the power increase takes twenty! Huh? Uh, I'm gonna take a nap then. Hang in there, Gohan! Oh, man. A day was about to elapse since training began. Very good, you two. You've more or less perfected it. Think it might be time to see if you can actually pull it off. All right. First, match each other's energy. Uh, okay. Good. Now begin. did it at least this time. In at least 30 minutes, we'll have you try it again as Super Saiyans. <laughs> Don't you think you're underestimating me? I've got what it takes to beat Majin Buu right now. You don't know the first thing about how strong Majin Buu is. There's absolutely no way you can beat him. Not just yet, anyway. 
so can we trust a little punk like this? In just one single day, the feared Majin Buu easily laid waste to roughly 80% of the planet's population. After turning some of his victims into clay, he constructed a house to come back to after his daily destruction. The people of Earth continued their fight for survival against the Majin menace and deployed their military forces. But that ultimately proved futile, with each force being completely decimated. Soon thereafter, humanity stopped trying. But hope was not completely lost among those remaining. They knew their savior was still alive somewhere and ready to spring into action. The man who overpowered Cell and became the world's, no, the universe's greatest warrior. That savior is none other than the legendary undefeated warrior, world martial arts champion, Mr. Satan. So that's Majin Buu's house, huh? Well, uh, I wonder if he's home. Uh, I hope he isn't. Oh, oh he's not here. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Mozzie Boo? You chicken? Well, uh, that's that then. Uh, he's not here, uh, so I can't fight him. Uh, time to head back now. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hello, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm, why'd we turn you into this time? <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second, uh, uh, Mr. Mazian Boo. You see, I've come to see if there's anything I could do for you. <laughs> you want to be Boo's servant? Uh, yeah, of course I do. I've actually uh, uh, brought you a present, Mr. Mazia Boo. Here, it's some premium chocolate. Take it. Chocolate! What? It means it's very expensive and super delicious. Hmm? Please work. <laughs> he ate it. He actually ate it. What an idiot. I put enough poison in that chocolate to kill an elephant. Thank you very much. Why, you don't get too cocky, Fatso. I'm gonna pound you into big putty for this. And so began a strange friendship between Majin Buu and Mr. Satan, with Mr. Satan working tirelessly to keep Majin Buu's mood under control. Several days later, well, welcome back. I'm still in the middle of preparing our meal. Hey, uh, wh what's that dog doing here? This guy no scared of Boo. He no run away. Boo no understand what he say. Do you know what he say? Oh, uh, well, I don't speak dog, but it looks like his leg's in real bad shape. That's why he didn't run away. Huh? Really? Well, okay. Who heal you now? Then get scared and run away! Uh. Now run away! Huh? Why he no run away? Who heal him? 
Well, look at that. He's just happy that you made him feel better. I think he likes you now, Mr. Boo. Like Boo? He like Boo? That's right. He likes you. Hmm? He like you? You like Boo? Huh? Well, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boo kind of happy. Well, uh, he, he actually does seem happy. Um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Boo, sir, uh, may I ask you something? Well, uh, why are you uh, killing people and, uh, and destroying their homes? Because Bibbity and Bobbity told Boo to do that! And, uh, who are they again? You know, there, uh, Boo, uh, you shouldn't listen to bad guys like them. Y you see, uh, it's not good to, to kill people and break things. You think Boo should not do that? Well, uh, yeah, uh, yes. Okay, Boo, stop! Huh? You, uh, won't kill people anymore? Yeah. And no more destruction? I did it! I actually did it! I really am a hero, aren't I? This is it, boss! This has got to be Majin Boo's house! What the hell are you shaking for? I told you, this is gonna be a piece of cake! After all, we've killed a whole bunch of people. What's one more? Well, yeah, but this guy's a margin. Listen up. Boo's killed so many people around the world that people will think anyone we've killed was killed by him. Let's do this! Why do you think Mr. Satan is hanging out with Martin Boo like that? <laughs> Who gives a crap? We'll just kill them both! Then we'll be the heroes! We miss Boo! What the? I don't believe it! You, you saved me! Thank you! <laughs> what, what's wrong? Run away! Hey, Doc! Boss of here! You gotta die! What? Die? What are you talking about? You run away now! No! Oh, okay! What's going on? Unable to be contained any longer, the evil within Majin Buu came bellowing out and formed into another Majin Buu. The one singular Majin Buu now stood divided, split between his innocent side and his evil side.
rendered weaker from the split, the original Majin Buu stood no chance against his evil counterpart and was ultimately absorbed by him. He still remembers me! While Goten and Trunks entered the final stages of their fusion training, Piccolo and Dende kept a watchful eye over Majin Buu and Mr. Satan. Unbelievable! Hey, uh, what's going on, Piccolo? Don't you feel the change in Majin Buu's energy? That monster's changed. It's all because of that brain-dead Earthling. Now Boo's pure evil, not to mention even stronger than before. Huh? Huh? No, we aren't safe here. Majin Boo now has the power to sense our energies. Want us to show you? Show me the kind of fight. You promised me a fight. You must be here. I could feel a very large power. Uh, we do have people here to fight you, but they're sleeping right now. They're gearing up for their fight with you. Wake them up! I hate waiting. <sighs> Damn it! We're out of options. We have to sacrifice the remaining survivors. Wish them back with the Dragon Balls. It's the only way we can stall Majin Buu. Th that's right. You did say you were going to kill everyone on Earth, right? There are still plenty of people left to kill. Take care of them first, then you can fight. <sighs> Going to have to wait. 
They've been sleeping, and they need to get ready. No! Mr. Satan's daughter here wants you to wait as well. <laughs> <sighs> really? You're right. She smells like Satan. Okay, I'll wait. But only a little. Go wake up Trunks and Goten and get them into the hyperbolic time chamber. Now! Might not be much. But they could still get a few days of training in. Uh, right. Piccolo was able to buy Goten and Trunks time to train, but Majin Buu's patience was finally wearing thin. Piccolo had no choice but to escort the irritated Majin Buu to the hyperbolic time chamber. Here it is. You took a long time getting here! Hopefully I stalled him long enough. One minute out here is six hours in there. They should have been able to get a week's training done. Hope. Ta da! Boom! Oh. We've been waiting for ya! ya. Imagine, Bill! Mm. Is that them? Yes! Please, let this work. Right now, we need a miracle. Let's do it! Okay! Fusion! Ha! Hmm? Ta-da! Gotenks is here! Super Saiyan, even after fusing! Who are you to use first? No! Is it my turn to attack? Super Ghost Kamikaze attack! Yeah. That's it! I'm ending this game right now!
Hey! You all right? You got any more powerful attacks? <laughs> you bet I do. You just wait. But I kind of want to scare Piccolo a bit. That'd be more exciting. It's no use! I, I don't have enough energy to pull off any more of my awesome moves! It's all over now! This world is as good as gone! <laughs> what? It's the end of the line for you, Majin Buu! Because I just completely destroyed the only thing connecting this place to the world outside of it. All of us are now trapped in here for the rest of our lives. What? <clears throat> the only thing you can do is kill us and spend an eternity all by yourself. In this vast and empty space. Why? What about my... <clears throat> favorite sweets? No sweets here. None. What gives, Piccolo? Why didn't you tell me you were gonna do that? I was planning on using my super awesome move and stuff. What? Hey! You said you didn't have any of your power left. I was acting, you know, to make things a little more dramatic. Idiot! Why make things more dramatic at a time like this? Hurry up and fix the entrance, you stupid green party pooper! I can't fix it! You cocky little spoiled brat! I hate this place! Huh? Piccolo, what's that? Uh, I don't believe it! How did he... He used his massive energy to rip a hole between dimensions. No! It's gone! What, what was that noise just now? Lucky! Oh! Majin Buu! This is perfect. I was just getting hungry. What should I turn you into? I know chocolate! It's no use. We can't even open a tiny hole. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to use it after all. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Take a guess. you just do? Beats the hell out of me. But I do know I'm super duper strong now. Anyway, we got more important things to do now, right? I'm 
to close. <gasps> yo, 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 Majin Boo! Look who's back and ready to party. Huh? You look different. You moron! It's not just my looks that are different. I'm also way, 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 way stronger than before. You tell me what you did to everyone here right now. <laughs> They're here. You, you, you ate them? Turned them into chocolate. I am so pissed off now! Yeah! yeah! Here comes the pain! You're gonna pay for watching all my people! Ow, ow, ow! I'm going to turn you into candy too! Fun fighting you. Time, you know. You're gonna have to wait an hour to see this awesome hair again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh. Interesting. He's getting weaker. Maybe not physically, but mentally, he's suffering. <laughs> Say goodbye. You are not gonna be able to come back after this. I'm gonna vaporize every last bit of you! What? Meanwhile, in the land of the Kais, Gohan continued to undergo the ritual to unleash even more of his latent power. Goku and the others kept their eyes glued to Elder Kai's crystal ball as they followed Gotenks' battle with Majin Buu. Uh, no way! They're back to normal now! Hey! Can you pick up the pace, Gramps? I don't know about you, but the kids are running out of power over here. Are you serious, Dad? Yeah, 
At this rate, they're goners. All right, off you go. I actually finished about five minutes ago. <sighs> You're finished? Five minutes? <sighs> Why didn't you tell me sooner? You fool! Sending you off when the situation is dire is much more dramatic. Oh no, I'd better hurry or I'm not gonna make it. Okay, so how am I supposed to become this ultimate warrior? What do you mean? You turn into that super whatever all the time. It's like that. Just fire yourself up and you'll see. It's like turning into a super saiyan, huh? Uh, okay. Yeah. This is incredible. Do you see this, Dad? What? Yeah. It really is incredible. To Earth, before things go so far that they can't be undone. Allow me to send our new hero to his destination. Sorry I can't join you, Gohan. I wish I could. I gotta stay here. I wish for a lot of things. I wish I could have seen you grow up. Dad. This is probably the last time I'll see you, Gohan. At least until you die. Good luck, son. Show Majin Buu what you can do. I will. I'll take my leave now. We're counting on you. Right. Uh... I've got a small request, Kibito. Could I ask for a change of clothes? I'd like an outfit just like my dad's. I want to honor him when I fight. Hmm, yes, I see. Consider it done. Well, let me see. It was the color of the excrement produced by the frogs on Popol, yes? Um, it's orange, actually. This is perfect. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm going now. We will be praying for your success as we watch from the land of the Kais. Goodbye. Give my regards to the others. Don't worry, I've got this. All right, time to go. Go, Ten. Trunks. Piccolo. Hang in there. I hope I can make it. There they are. We're really screwed now. Our fusion time ran out. We're gonna get killed, aren't we? Might not be able to do much, but I'll join in as well. We'll go down fighting, giving it our all. <laughs> This 
energy. Someone's coming. Gohan's triumphant return. It's my brother! My brother's here! Thank goodness. I made it. Gohan! My brother's here! Hooray! He wasn't dead after all! Whoa, that's Gohan? There's something different about his energy. He seems more confident. Maybe that could be why I didn't recognize him. Where's everyone else? They're gone. Majin Buu killed them all. Even Mom? And Dende? Yeah. We're the only ones left. <laughs> they were yummy. I ate every last one of them. They make good chocolate. No, he's wrong. It's faint, but I can sense some key. <sighs> <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to fight me. No, I'm going to kill you. Yeah! 
So it was you. I knew it. That's right. I felt it. A strong power. Somewhere very, very, very far away. I don't like it when people are stronger than me! Well, that's too bad, Majin Buu. I will not! I... I will not let you do this! I will not! I will not! I will not! <laughs> Quick thinking, Gohan. Thanks. Sure. I can't believe he blew himself up! So is Boo... dead? No. Then what happened? Did he run away? I can't feel his energy anymore. He has the power to mask his key. He's hiding and waiting for his chance to attack! <sighs> I'm not sure about that. But it did seem like he was up to something. If he is alive, he's not gonna be for much longer. <laughs> that guy could barely lay a finger on Gohan. I'd say he was about as strong as our Super Gotenks. He was stronger! Oh yeah? Hmm. Maybe a little bit. That reminds me, Gohan. Where the hell did you get all this power? Whoa, that old man sounds pretty cool. What about the Dragon Radar? Who has it? Oh, right. I have it with me. But with Dende gone, the Dragon Balls, they're pretty useless. No, they're not. Dende's still alive. His key's faint, but you can still feel it, right? What? Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's go and meet up with him. I'm picking up a small amount of key from someone else. What? We're close. We can barely feel his key. Person? Yeah, that's... Hey, it's Mr. Satan! You mean he wasn't killed with everyone else? There's no killing that guy, huh? Let's just leave him here. No, I think we better take him with us. I've been watching him from Kami's lookout. He's a good person deep down. In his own clumsy way, he actually tried to save everyone. Dende, you're alive. So glad to see you. M Mr. Popo, he threw me down here before Majin Buu could kill me. We owe Mr. Popo a lot. Thanks to his quick thinking, we have a chance. Hey, uh, what's wrong with the kid? His face is all green. Kid? What do you mean, kid? He's the guardian of Earth! Huh? The, the guardian? Huh? huh? It's Majin Buu! Something's not right. What is he up to? Hey, you little runts! Come over here! I want us to finish our fight! Huh? What did he say? Oh, no, you don't, Boo. You're still fighting me. <laughs> First, I want to finish the fight with them. 
Then you and me can fight. Why? Why do you want to fight them first? What happened to all that talk about you wanting to kill me? What's wrong, Thomas? Are you scared of me? What? We're not scared of you. Let's mess this guy up for good, Trunks. Now you're talking. Wait, something isn't right here. Don't you find all of this kind of strange? could just get that kid's power and that piccolo guy's brains <laughs> what the <laughs> no What do you think, Gohan? Looks like my plan was a huge success. You have just witnessed the birth of the ultimate Marjan! Oh, you dirty slimy. I can't believe you actually absorbed them. You have only yourself to blame. After all, you made the mistake of surpassing me. I've been planning this from the very first time I felt your power, from far away. I knew what I had to do. As I fought that Super Gotenks brat, I figured out that absorbing him would make me completely untouchable. But that kid's power had a time limit. He told me so himself. I couldn't have him returning to normal on me, so I bided my time. Gotink said it would take another hour to fuse again, so I lied in wait until then. <laughs> so that's what you were up to. <sighs> you know, if you really wanted to obtain the ultimate power, you should have absorbed me. <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? What's the point if I have no one to rifle me? Didn't you hear me when we fought before? I am going to kill you. That's my ultimate goal! Huh, I see. So that's your angle. Makes sense. This Super Gotenks brat inside me is running on borrowed time! That's surprisingly rational of you. Yet, serving Piccolo has made you a lot smarter. Yeah! <laughs> 
I'm starting to get bored. Time to finish this! What? No way! Oh, he can't beat him. He's not strong enough. Hmm, I certainly did not see this coming. Well then, that settles it. Goku, you're going to go help him. Huh? Uh, but I can't. That's right, Elder Kai. Goku is no longer able to return to the world of the living. I'm fully aware of that. That's why I'm going to offer him my life. He can then make his way to Gohan. But you're gonna give me your life? Are you serious? I can't allow that. If you don't let me, the entire universe is history. Then I'll offer him my life. It's the least I can do to help. That's enough of that. You're still young. Me, on the other hand, I've only got another thousand or so years left. But, Gramps... Farewell, and good luck. <clears throat> Thanks, Gramps. I promise. I'll try not to waste the life you've given me. Then get a move on! Hey, now! Don't let my sacrifice be in vain! Right. Okay, I'm out of here. Wait just a second. I forgot something. Take my patara. Wear one on your left ear when you get there. Wait a sec. So wearing this will make me stronger? In a sense, yes. If Gohan wears the other on his right ear, you two will combine into one warrior! What? What? what Are you serious? Yes! And the effect is far stronger than that other fusion technique! Those Patara earrings are considered a sacred treasure among the Supreme Kais. Uh, I never knew about that. Hm. You younger generations are truly hopeless. Go on, try it for yourselves. You and Kabito use your own Patara earrings. What? Uh, wow, this power, it's incredible. <laughs> With this power, I can join the fight too. Don't get carried away, you dolt. Neither of you were much on your own, and fusing isn't going to change that. I... see. Wow! You weren't kidding, Gramps! That's awesome! 
Oh, yeah. By the way, how long does the fusion last? The Patara don't have a weakness like that. The fusion lasts forever. It's permanent. Huh? Well, as far as I know. <sighs> There's a shock. I'd be fused with Gohan forever? Well, I guess I can live with that. Quit your incessant babbling and get out of here! Do you want Gohan to die? Uh, uh, right! All right, I'm off. Oh, and thanks for everything! I will destroy everyone and everything! Dad, is that you? What are you doing here? Gohan! Take this! Huh? Uh... <sighs> Pick it up! Hurry! Put it on your right ear! The two of us are gonna fuse and take Boo down! What? Fuse? Huh? Found it! Uh, what was I supposed to do with it again? Not gonna happen! with Gohan, but it looks like I beat you to it! There's no one left for you to fuse with. Come on, man! Think you're tricky, huh? Absorbing everyone like that? I can't believe this! <laughs> this energy, it's... it's... What's wrong? Giving up already? And it's time for you to die! <laughs> Instant transmission! This is as far as I can go! King Yama was kind enough to return your body, but only so you can be here to fight that monster. You do understand that, right? I'll be fine. Whether I'm dead or alive, it makes no difference to me. I'll do what I can. Vegeta! I knew it was you! K Kakarot? Listen up, Vegeta. I need you to wear this on your right ear. We're gonna fuse! No, we aren't. Why the hell would I do that? Because! This is our only shot at beating Majin Buu! I'd rather be erased from existence than become one with the likes of you! Vegeta, forget your pride just this once! The whole universe is done for if we don't do this! You've got some nerve. 
You hid a great deal of your power from me when we last fought, didn't you, Kakarot? What is this Super Saiyan 3? You never cease to piss me off, you know that? I will not fuse with a bastard like you! <sighs> I'm sorry, Vegeta. I can't stay in that form very long. I was saving it for when I really needed it. I don't want to hear your excuses! You disrespected me by holding back. I've never been so humiliated. Maybe this will change your mind then. Everyone's been eaten by Boo! Even Bulma and Trunks! <gasps> Boo's on his way here! Please! You want to save them, right? Uh, give it to me, now! There you are! Vegeta, just a heads up. This fusion's permanent. There's no going back after this. Got it? What did you say? D damn you! Why would you wait until now to tell me that? This is what I'm supposed to do, right? Yep. Thanks, Vegeta. <laughs> What just happened? All right now! Rivals unite against Majin Buu. Since I'm the fusion of Vegeta and Kakarot, I guess that makes me Vegeta. And this is Super Vegito! Ooh, impressive! Come at me! How dare you taunt me! I wish you'd take this seriously. You've got no hope of beating me!
just getting started. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to take this seriously. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to get bored, so let's go ahead and end this. I'll give you until the count of ten. Say your prayers if you've got any. One. Two. Three! Four! <sighs> what are you doing? Now's your chance! Come on! You've only got one move left when you're in this kind of position. At this rate, my only option is to absorb him. But how? <gasps> Wait! That's it! I can use the part of me that he cut off earlier! Seven. Eight. So he finally figured it out. It's about time. This is the whole reason I cut off that ridiculous tail thing on his head. Very good. He's not paying attention. Nine. All right. Time to see if this is going to work. Ten! Now! There he is! I... I did it! I did it! This can't be happening! He was absorbed! It's over now! No, it might not be. Huh? Doesn't something seem a little odd to you? When he absorbed someone before, not only did his power increase, but his appearance changed. And now, something's different. He hasn't changed at all! What does this mean? It's possible Vegeta was absorbed by Majin Buu on purpose. Well, isn't he a crafty one? To commemorate my newfound dominance, I'll destroy this planet! Uh, look, something's happening! I knew it! I knew it! He went into Boo to find a way to save his friends! What? This can't be happening! There he is! What are you doing? He's returning to his previous forms. What? What in the world? We did it! Everyone's back to normal! 
We need to hide them. Boo still hasn't noticed us yet. <sighs> All right, I'm heading back to where Boo is. Right. Is it just me, or is his energy increasing? <laughs> it's not possible. He's reverting back. Reverting back? What do you mean? The Majin Buu that Bibidi created was evil incarnate, something even he himself couldn't control. It wasn't until the mild-mannered Grand Supreme Kai was absorbed that Bibidi could finally control him. So, what you're saying is, this little Buu now, is even more of a handful than what we've been dealing with? Yes. Absorbing others had a dampening effect on him, but now, now his evil is unrestrained. He's lost all self-control and is again pure evil. <laughs> what? What is that? What's he doing? Whoa, unbelievable! That was close. He tried to blow the whole planet to pieces. Dang that little bastard! Hey, Boo! Go ahead and destroy the planet if you want! But you'll have to go through us first! No way we can knock that thing back! The others! Petita, over here! I'm gonna get us all out of here! Yeah. Grab onto me! It's no use! We're not gonna make it! I can't use instant transmission fast enough! Hey! Well done! You made it! Yeah, we did. But Gohan and the others... and Earth... Kakarot! What the hell have you done? Why did you bring these fools instead? <laughs> what about Earth? It's gone, I'm afraid. Nothing but space debris now. 
Earth g gone? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're standing on it. Wait. <laughs> yeah. I know what's going on. This is all a dream. <laughs> yeah, it's just a dream. Damn it, Kakarot. Gohan and the others are all dead because you decided to save this dumbass instead. And now Earth and everyone on it can't be brought back. The Dragon Balls, the only safety net we had, are gone. What? Dragon Balls? Why in the world were there Dragon Balls on Earth? Those are forbidden, powerful objects entrusted to only the Namekians. No one else should possess them. Th that's right. If we head to New Namek, the new Grand Elder should be able to give us access to the new Dragon Balls there. We can't do it! We could bring back Earth and all those killed by Boo! With Planet Namek back, I should be able to teleport between here and other planets with no problem. <laughs> all right! Now we're talking! <gasps> Take a look! Majin Buu's returning to his original shape! Here, give your Patara to Goku and Vegeta. They should be able to beat him if they fuse again. Uh, uh, right. Nah, we don't need those. Huh? huh? Yeah. That type of fusion technique really isn't for us. I want to fight him on my own anyway. Besides, he's not relying on anyone else's power anymore. That's what I like to hear, Kakarot. You're finally talking like a Saiyan. Uh? instant transmission before and copied it. Well, whatever. That saves us some trouble. We'll just end this here, then. Get out of here. Find some faraway planet and take everyone with you. Uh, okay. Oh, right, then. I guess we don't have much of a choice. Pay no mind to this world of ours. Go all out and show that monster what for. Good luck. Uh, oh no! I forgot to bring that Satan fellow with us. Forget about him for now. All right. Who's going first? Let's find out. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors! scissors. Yes, I win! Woohoo! <laughs> At least I'll finally be able to see this Super Saiyan 3 of yours. Yeah! Let's do this, Boo! Hmm? Hey! He's sleeping! Are you little... Are you messing with me? that will decide the fate of the universe. Here goes. <laughs> Yeah! 
from. It's not over yet. finally figured it out. I think I know why a genius like me can't keep up with you. I thought it was because you had people you wanted to protect. It was as if having a strong desire to save others gave you some mysterious power. And maybe it does in some way. I too have those I care about now. But you are always different. You don't fight to win. You fight to continue pushing yourself past your own limits. That's why you never took the lives of your opponents. You... You even had the opportunity to kill me. But you didn't. You didn't. Damn you, Kakarot. I can't believe a battle-loving, kind-hearted saint like you even exists. You're in trouble now, Boo. Here comes my full power, Kamehameha! <laughs> Only you can do this. You are number one. Give me a break already. This guy never gets tired, does he? Kakarot! Forget about me and just finish him off! Yeah, I'm trying, but I can't. I'm gonna need another minute to charge up my energy if I'm gonna beat him. One minute, huh? I'll hold him off for one minute. You hurry up and charge your power! I'm gonna need that whole minute, you know. Just hurry up and do it! Yeah, I got it. Supersized Spirit Bomb. Are you sure, though? You're already dead. 
You do know what happens when a dead person dies again, don't you? They disappear. From this world and other world. You cease to exist! Don't die on me, Vegeta. <laughs> Mind your own business. All right, let's go! Need more to beat Boo! Boo! I can no longer stand idly by and let this continue. The great Mr. Satan, world's martial arts champion, will put you in your place. Yeah, that's the stuff. It's a shame this isn't real, but man, I nailed it. I know it's a dream, but it sure doesn't feel like one. and Boo developed a strong friendship with Mr. Satan. That Boo must have objected to harming Mr. Satan and prevented the attack. Well, that explains why he spit him out then. But to be honest, losing that Satan fellow in this fight wouldn't really change things. 
Indeed. Super Saiyan 3 really drains all your strength when you're alive. It looks like we're completely screwed. There's nothing else I can do here. <laughs> Supreme Kai's, Dende, you can see what's going on here, can't you? Can you hear me? If you can, then answer me already. What's that now? Oh, yes, we can hear you. Good. I need you to go to the new planet Namek immediately and gather the Dragon Balls. Uh, oh, but, but why do you... Quit your stammering and just do it. We don't have much time. Okay. Vegeta, what are you up to? It's a little early for us to use the Dragon Balls. Kakarot, how many times have you saved Earth and its people? Uh, why are you asking me that? Uh, quite a few times, I guess. I think it's about time the people of Earth save themselves for once. We've been waiting for you, Dende. Huh? Oh my, you grace us with your presence, Supreme Kai. Everyone! We are fully aware of the situation. Come, let us hurry. Thank you! Vegeta, we've collected all seven of the Dragon Balls, just like you asked. Good. Now hurry up and summon the Namekian Dragon. I've got two wishes for you to make. First, ask to have the Earth return to the way it was. Then, ask to bring back everybody that's died since the day of the World Tournament, excluding, of course, anyone that's evil. Those are the two wishes. Uh, should I make the wishes now? Uh, what about the third wish? The third wish doesn't matter! You've got to hurry! Vegeta, about that second wish... It'd probably be easier to just bring back everyone killed by Boo, don't you think? If we ask for that, Babidi and Dabura will be brought back too! Plus, all the people I killed at the World Tournament Arena wouldn't be brought back. Oh, yeah. Man, you really thought this through. Uh, we have a problem. I just remembered that Barunga can only bring back one person from the dead at a time. <laughs> that is no longer a concern. After the incident with Frieza, I took the liberty of powering up Barunga's whiskratting abilities. Really, so we can bring back as many people as we want. N never mind, everything's okay. Good. Now, make the wishes. Kakarapato poporunga pupirito paro. Now, 
state your wishes. I shall grant any three wishes that you desire. Takrapto, Paprunga, Paprito Paro! A faraway planet called Earth was recently destroyed. Please bring it back! Okay, consider it done. Your first wish has been granted. Uh, yeah! Now then, state your second wish. Uh, um, how should I phrase this? Pipotara Sariman Popo Toterapo! Um, please bring back all those killed after the wizard Bobbity arrived on Earth. Oh, except anyone evil. Understood. However, it will take some time. That is a lot of people to revive. Right. What? What's wrong, Dende? Have you made the wishes yet? Hey now, quit your yammering, would you? This Parunga fellow is doing what he can. <gasps> Thank you for your patience. Your second wish has been granted. Vegeta, we did it! Everyone should be back now! Look! Your halo's gone, Vegeta! You're alive now! <laughs> That's great! I guess that means you're not a bad guy, after all. <laughs> what, what the...? W wait a sec. W wasn't I... killed by Boo? Uh, huh? What's going on? Huh? Oh, I think I get it now. You're thinking of having Gohan and Gotenks join us in the fight! No! You're going to prepare that attack of yours! The Spirit Bomb! A Spirit Bomb? Really? You're kidding me, right? Boo's totally not gonna let me gather energy little by little from people on Earth. Didn't I tell you that the people of Earth need to save themselves for once? It's not going to be little by little. They're going to give every ounce of energy they've got. Hey, Supreme Kai, listen up! Get me in touch with the people of Earth, right away! Leave that to me! That's my specialty! Who's that? I know that voice! It's King Kai! Bingo! You know, Vegeta, I'm quite touched you thought of my technique. <laughs> now then, speak! Not just the Earth, but the entire universe is listening! Good, thanks. People of Earth, listen here! I'm communicating with you from a faraway place! Every one of you was killed by Majin Buu, but we used a strange power to bring you all back to life! Everything should be back to the way it was before. And no, this is not some kind of dream you're having! As I speak, Right at this very second, there's a warrior here fighting Majin Buu on your behalf. But the truth of the matter is, he's run out of energy and can't fight anymore. That's why we need your help. Raise your hands into the air. We're going to use your energy to defeat Majin Buu. You'll feel tired afterward, but no more tired than after a good workout. Now, 
Raise your hands! All right, Kakarot, begin. You bet. Everyone, lend me as much of your energy as you can, please. He's forming a spirit bomb. You got it, Dad! Huh. That didn't sound like Vegeta in the slightest. You heard the man! Hands up! Hands up! Huh? What? Whoa! Here it is! This thing's huge! I can feel energy from Gohan and the others! It's still not enough! Why? Watch out, everyone! Sounds like your energy could really be drained! That sounds painful! It's gotta be a trap! Yeah, I'm not gonna listen to some mysterious voice in the sky. I bet it's that vomity guy trying to trick us again! Damn those bastards! Not a single one of them are listening to a word I said! Uh, hey, uh, wh where are these voices coming from? Things are looking grim. The fat one's hanging on by only a thread. What are you doing? Cut it out! Stop it right now! Eh? D damn it! He spotted it! Kakarot! I'm going to try and buy us some more time! You try and convince the imbeciles of Earth to give you more energy! Hurry, Kakarot! Buy us some time? Wait a second, you just came back to life. There's no way you have enough energy to fight. We won't be able to hold him off for very long! Big Bang! Attack! Big Bang! Attack! 
Father! This voice! Right. I finally know who this voice belongs to. It belongs to Goku. He and the others are fighting Majin Buu. Hurry, Upa! Raise your hands to the heavens! I get it. So that's who it is. Hmm. It's been a while since I've heard that voice. It's Goku. It's Goku, Sudo. Right! I knew it was him! <sighs> it's no good! I've only received a tiny bit more! What's going on? Why aren't people lending me their energy? <laughs> Everyone! Hurry up! I thought you guys cared about Earth! How about the universe? Come on, you morons! What? Did he call us morons? Wow, he's got some nerve, doesn't he? You know what? Just ignore him. I bet all of this is just a lie. That Majin Buu probably isn't real either. Yeah, we're all probably just being tricked by some hypnotist. That, that's enough, all of you. Why the hell won't you cooperate? Do you intend to ignore a request from the great Mr. Satan as well? What? M Mr. Satan? Huh? W what's he doing there? It's really him. It's Mr. Satan. Wait, so it's Mr. Satan who's fighting Majin Buu right now? Yeah, that's right. I am going to pulverize Majin Buu, but I need everyone's help to do it. Uh. Uh, sorry, uh, I figured they wouldn't believe me unless I said I was fighting him. The, the important thing is, is that uh, Boo's defeated, uh, right? Here, Dad. Go, Dad, go! <laughs> Is it done yet? What's taking so long? Come on, Vegeta! Hang in there! <laughs> it's it's no good! <laughs> Vegeta! You're gonna get caught in the blast! For, forget about me, you idiot! Just just throw the damn thing already!
before. Finally over. Jeez, it's about damn time. <laughs> what the hell is he smiling about? 
He never ceases to piss me off. <laughs> Did you do it? You, you did it, right? <laughs> People of Earth, this is the World Martial Arts Champion, Mr. Satan! Thanks to your efforts, the terrifying Majin Buu has finally been defeated! You can rest easy now! His reign of terror has come to an end! Vegeta first. He's in a lot worse shape than me. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, where are you going there, boy? Huh? Hey, it's Boo! He's he's still alive! Oh please, please, you gotta heal him! You could do that, right? With that weird power of yours? Don't be ridiculous, you moron! Get out of the way! I'm going to finish him off! Oh, stop! No! Don't kill him! He's he's not a bad guy! I swear! Look, please! I'm begging you! I promise! I promise I'll keep an eye on him! Keep an eye on him? Don't make me laugh! What can a powerless fool like you do? Go ahead and heal Boo, Dende. What? Are you out of your mind? Come on, Vegeta. It'll be fine. If it weren't for these two here, all of us would be dead. Isn't that right? Do whatever you want, I don't give a damn. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, once Boo's healed, let's head back to Earth. I'm dying for a bite to eat and a good long nap. And so, Goku and the others finally return to Earth. Hey, everyone! Yo! It was a long overdue reunion with friends and family. With one less than welcome addition, for being away for so long, everybody. That old Supreme Kai gave his life to me so I could come back. 
So you mean we can finally be a family again? All four of us, you, me, Gohan, and Goten? Yep, let's head back to Mount Pauzu. I've really been craving your cooking, Chi-Chi. Uh -huh. <laughs> In this world, there exist seven mystical wish-granting orbs known as the Dragon Balls. Goku and his friends' adventures surrounding these magical orbs are far, far from over. Although there are many more surprises and hardships that lie in store for them, they'll take each one head on. Don't worry, the Earth will always be safe as long as Goku and his friends are around. Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, and Boo. I fought all types of fighters in my time. But who knows what other crazy strong guys are still out there? <laughs> I can't wait to find out. Okay, now to get stronger than ever before. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Later. Hi there. Yo. Hey. Huh? <sighs> bye bye. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 